Hello guys, hello. Yeah, apologies I started to stream a bit late, like half an hour late because I was planning to stream for, I mean, start around 8.30pm but <laughs> I actually went out today uh, with my sister so mm, yeah, to be honest, a bit tired but but I swear to you guys, I'm gonna be out of the EP mode uh, when I start this quest because honestly, as I said before, I mean yesterday basically, I'm so excited to continue on with the Narcissus and Furious quest line. So I'm really looking forward to how are we gonna fare well with Mamir. <laughs> See what I did there? So yeah, we're gonna continue on with the. What's that called again? The Seafoam and Crimson, if I remember correctly, quest line. So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick mic check before we start. So be right back. Okay, alrighty, everything is good. And then I'm actually at the Meru... The Melu, Meru Sea Village right now. Because I really love the <laughs> the theme here. So I'm just gonna let it sit, let it cook. While... Uh, yeah, let's just enjoy like... Three minutes left. So I'm gonna hydrate myself. <laughs> Speaking of... Ofantine. because i have like so many giga brain moments oh my god our cat our cat e e you're you're always popping on the most unexpected of times especially whenever <laughs> whenever i want to stream <laughs> darn it oi now now go chill someplace else now don't try to be dramatic beside me please oh uh, okay Go meow someplace else. Oh my god, dear lord. This cat. I don't get it. Why do you always like to go out at night? Okay. I guess you're like the weird type who's very active at night. Yes, go to... Go to... Go to our parents' room. Go. Get! Okay, where was I? Yes, got distracted by my cat. So yeah, ooh. Okay, at least I... Yeah, last week, at least there were like those shortcuts. I was so surprised seeing the map. Uh, got updated with that cute uh, doodle drawing. From a mare. Uh, and yeah, ooh. Looking forward to see uh, what's gonna ensue. Okay, two more minutes. Might as well enjoy drinking my water right now. And yes, again, happy Ramadan Mubarak. To all my Malaysian peeps, happy fasting month, um, I think, Tuesday. Yeah, our fifth day right now. Happy to be a little over, like, uh, without us realizing it. Usually it's like that. And then, boop, it's the holidays again. Aid Mubarak, <laughs> coming in hot. Ah, okay. And I think, oh yeah, March has, like, Good Friday for us. So, Friday is going to be an off day. Which I really love, to be honest. So, I can stream more. <laughs> okay, one more minute. Although, yeah, low-key, low-key. Oh, God. I do feel like I want to stream other games, though. I mean, even Ghost of Tsushima, I feel like I want to restart that game again. Because I completely don't remember where I was. And then, uh, oh yeah, even Bayonetta. I was planning to stream Bayonetta. But I guess it depends because Bayonetta is like a short game. Even Kingdom Hearts 3, man. I have like... There's like so many games I want to play, to be honest. Because it would be... Re uh, I mean, it would be like a bit boring uh, if my content was only like uh, circulating around uh, Genshin and Honkai Star Rail. So yeah, I need to go back to how I started off. Which like playing whatever games that I wanted. Even recently, I started to... Oh, okay, we're already starting on the South East one. Let's go! Say hello, guys, and welcome back to my Genshin Impact stream. And yes, apologies. Uh, continuing where I uh, said before. Yeah, I really feel like I want to do more other... Uh, I mean, stream other game genres. Because, yeah, I need to, like, make my... Uh, I mean, I just want, like, uh, a variety of content, to be honest. I mean, yeah, planning, planning is one thing. But then executing it is like, oh... I need to like, uh, I need to think a lot though. But yeah, so yeah, going, uh, I mean, our planning right now for today, as I said, gonna continue with the Narcissus and Cruise uh, questline. Don't know what to expect. 
So yeah, let's just go. So let me just lower my uh, game audio for a bit because I wasn't sure if yeah usually for yeah I I always set it set it a little bit lower because I am wearing earbuds so I don't want my I don't want to like uh, damage my uh, my freaking earbuds I mean my ears okay so yeah before we start though I'm just like. I am honestly surprised seeing this. I, as I said before, Jacob, the name Jacob, like really threw me off somehow. And then when I check back, uh, the previous notes uh, that we found back in Sumeria, where was it? Was it like an exploration? Uh, okay, enigmatic pages. But I know enigmatic pages also plays a role in this. And what were those notes again? Oh yeah, this one. Renee's investigation notes. Renee is one thing. But then, there is Jacob. I know, I know. I know somewhere there mentions like Jacob in this. And then even the Narcissan Cruise. Which I somehow did not realize. But I remember Jacob. Which is <laughs> an audacity for me. But yeah, they were like, yeah, Jake, Jacob forgot, so Mr. Carl became suspicious. And then they were studying about Kenrian still, and I'm like, oh, oh, I really need to do this Nurses and Crews quest line now. Yeah, because we found this when we were, like, uh, exploring Sumeru. Jacob also saw similar scenes, should be away. Yeah, journey back to Fontaine. Like, how? Wait, what did I mention about the nurses and crews? Wait, was it the Ordo or if I remember Shamia? Or was it that other note? As a site, block off energy, hydro slime. Like the difference between the director and the hydro slime. Uh yeah, after all the nurses and crews institute lost consciousness, but I do not think power can be classified as right or wrong. Like, yo, I have so many questions. Like this one, and then what's the other one? Was it this? This schematic? Oh yeah, this is about the Kavrena in the ruins of uh, Kenrayans. Like, oh, I need to go down and investigate all of this. So, okay, last time, I'm sorry, my mare. I mean, like, uh, yeah, I left you hanging for so long. So yeah, a brush of sea foam and crimson. Collect the paint. And then, it really does remind me of the of Durian's place in Dragon Spine. I mean, they really up, they really are researching some shady stuff right now. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to vibe with the uh, Meru, uh, Melusine, Merusi, was it Merusi Village? Yeah. But okay, let's see what's gonna happen. We need to grab crystal flies for a bit. Okay. Hello, I mean, hello. Feel free to chill. I'm just gonna continue with the Nurses and Crew storyline right now. Oh, no. I remember I got yeeted off by those guys. No, no, no. Not this time. I'm running away. Yeah, so go to this. It's not a saucy portal or, or anything. A very warm place. Teleport. Uh. I watched Hitchers are to play one stream. 3D pools. Oh, I see. Yeah, I know. I know the announcement is happening right now, but yeah, I'm just like, as I said, I never watch Hitchers are announcement. I only ask my friends what's the lowdown. Okay, Paimon. Whoa, Paimon feels nauseous. This shortcut really was something. Was that a part of Melusine culture too? Oh yeah, this thing! Okay, Paimon. On closer inspection, it seems like we did pass this place by when we came down. To think that there was such a large stone over there. I mean, who could not see that? Okay, Mamir. That's right, and this place feels warm and safe, doesn't it? Father told me about it, and it contains high purity ores. I'll take care of the, of the ones here, so just wait for me. Okay, Paimon. Uh, these don't look all that different from the ordinary sort, but it's like it's covered, I guess. Mamir. Huh? The colors are are totally different. Oh, because Melusins can see things differently. I wonder, really? Aren't they all red anyway? No mirror. Uh, well, yes, but there are pretty obvious differences between different shades of red, right? Couldn't tell. 
it's it's got such a rich uh, texture. That's certainly different. Came in mirror. Hmm. Uh, you're really sensitive to colors. Would you like to paint someday? We can paint together. We'll put your paintings and mine together around the house. Oh, that would be nice, though. That's nice. Hey, Paimon. Um, you can tell the difference at all. Could you? <laughs> I just... I know there's like different shades of red. Okay, Paimon. Okay. Okay. Don't you dare. <laughs> How dare you? Okay, I mean Paimon. Still, you probably know a lot more about painting than we do. Mamir, and about ores and paints too. Hey, Paimon. Either way, Paimon didn't know that painting was such tough work. Mining, gathering different ores to make paints. It depends though. I mean... This is her material uh, that she wants to use. Okay, Paimon used to think that it was just about putting paint on canvas. This thing again. Okay, Paimon. Huh? Are you alright? I mean, are you feeling alright, Sub? How was that sound? Paimon. Hey, Sub. Don't you worry about me. Okay, Paimon. And that's exactly how you get Paimon worried. Okay, Paimon. Could this have something to do with the red ores? Some ores do contain toxins that can affect people's minds. I mean, they're dragons, fine. Ooh, play on mobile, nice. Okay, Paimon. Uh, but Mamir's been working with these ores all this time, so they should be fine. By the way, what are they exactly? Paimon wonders if they'd fetch a good price. Okay, Paimon. Okay, maybe we collect some extra and sell it to merchants outside. We might be able to... Ores that are even higher in purity. Okay, Paimon. Oh, Paimon gets it. You mean to say that the high purity ores needed for Mamir's paintings as paints are the truly invaluable treasures uh, uh, instead, right? In that case, let's help gather those ores. <laughs> Paimon's looking forward to this. 20 gigabytes. <laughs> the pain. Okay, certain prisms can be picked up and redeployed at certain locations. Oh, this is new. Yeah, for real, for real. I can move! I can move! Wait. Ah, okay, so... Where's the other one? No wonder, I was like... Huh, okay. So, portal over here... I... Uh, wait, is it not this one? Oh, wait, oh, it, it's... It needs to be within its vicinity. Adjust the position of the or Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Oh, I... Oh, yeah, okay. I guess we need to redirect it. But we can't bring it too far. So, I guess here... Ah, there we go. Wait, wait, how could I pass it way over there? Can I? Oh! Oh, right, because it's already here, the energy, the aura, so I can just move it here. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Wait, cannot interact, hello. Oh, wait, oh my god, oh, this one. <laughs> I mean, it's the aggro, it's the same size. Okay, within its vicinity. So I guess somewhere here. Can it reach? Too high? Um, hello? But if I put it here, it's blocked. Wait, how do I do this then? Is there another one? Oh wait! Ow! Oh! Ah! Uh. Okay, please be kind to me. This is new mechanic. Because before, I only know how to hit it. So, okay. Okay. Pra what? Um, Ashkush me? Ashkush me? Was that point blank? Was that not close enough? Hello? The game making me look like an idiot right now. Are you kidding me? What? So I guess... What about here then? You 
picky little shit. Come on. Oh my god, Lumine. Oh, embarrassing me. What? What up? I do you want to be put on a rock? Bro, this is so particular. I hate this. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Really? Like what? 10 minutes into the stream and now, now I'm looking like a freaking idiot. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Two point one events are looking great. Oh. Cool. As long as I get Archeron, I won't get adventure. I'm gonna get Archeron. Average doing puzzle moment, of course. Mm, I'll pick this up later. But okay, let's just meet up back to the mirror. Hello. Here's your paint material. Mimir. Sup, Paimon. Sorry for the wait. Mimir. Eh? That's... Paimon. Hm. We weren't just watching, you know. We also collected lots of pure ore. Awesome, right? Mimir. Alright, thank you. Hey, Paimon. Nice. Beautiful paints. Here we come. Let's head back, shall we? Yeah, you seem rather pleased, Mimir. I mean, she is excited for her new artwork. Hey, Mimir. Huh? Is it that obvious? Hey, Paimon, your tail's practically wagging. <laughs> I just finished watching 2.1 update. Nice. Adventure has interesting mechanics though. The only thing that inter that's interesting to me is waifus. Okay. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, good luck for those who want to pull it. 30 free pulls for uh for SHSR anniversary. Oh, that's what you mean by 30 pulls. I mean, I see. Man, that's cool. So I can go go crazy with Archeron. Okay, Mimir. But you're right. I'm very happy. Okay, we can make lots of paint now. Mimir. Well, yes. That is a part of it. Okay, Paimon. Oh, what about the other reasons too? The other reasons then? Mimir. Well, let's just head back first. And I do remember... I do remember that Mr. Jacob is her client. And then Jacob... As we know from that document we found in Sumeru, they're doing some pretty shady shit. And then even their... Yeah, even Mamir here is like collecting these suspiciously uh, sus sussy ores. Like, remember what happened with Durin back, back in Dragonspine? The thing? Okay, Paimon. Hey, Paimon's talking to you, you know. Let's go, Paimon. I mean, yeah, their materials like... They're dangerous, basically. Okay, Paimon. Ugh, whatever. We'll need to get back to that painting anyway, so let's just do that. Sup? Okay, let's go. Go to the mirror's house. I do want to use the portal. I mean, I'm having fun traversing around with this. And I love it because it's reddish. 33 pulls. Oh yeah, Jing Liu Riven is a Ventrian banner. <laughs> Thank god I have Jing Liu. He's not getting his pulls. Uh, literally me crying. Uh, oh, I see. Damn. But yeah, thanks for the heads up though. So I know who I want. 25 days like 2.0. I mean... From what I've seen, like a... Uh, for HSR at least, they always do like this one major event, permanent event. Okay, some of it are permanent but most of it is like 20 days plus. And then even the banner, yeah, I was so shook seeing like Sparkle's banner was like, what, 25 days? That's crazy. Compared to like Genshin, they only, uh... Lasted for like, uh, yeah, 20-ish days. Yeah, again, I play HSR casually. <laughs> oh yeah, the doggo. Seymour, was it? <laughs> Excuse me, Jacob? A Lindsay didn't mention, might as well have been yesterday since I last saw it. Is it you? I mean, he is the client. Iris. Huh? Boss? We searched her place, but we couldn't find the paints you wanted. Because she couldn't... She wasn't able to get it back then. Because you guys were bothering her. You couldn't? I mean, it feels like him. I mean, yeah, client, boss. Okay, it, yes, we did find some bottles at that one contained I mean that once contained paints though they gave off a very pungent smell that made us feel all queasy yeah because medicines have different uh, perception of things I see so the paints have been used up well that's an unfortunate coincidence well coincidentally we found some fresh 
fresh batch of paints right now. Well then, Miss Iris, please take your people and clean this place up. As things stand, this would make for too shocking a sight, I think. Hello. As for the paints, I'll figure something out later. Iris, understood. I'm sorry, sir. We couldn't complete your commission. Before you could personally come to that little squirt's aid, those two strangers came and stole the moment. Mmm. It's fine. I'm not bothered by this. Well, it's not too much about that, but don't you think that this could would count as a case of force uh, majeure as such. So, um, about the remuneration uh, we discussed previously. Dot, dot, dot. Don't worry, you will be paid as per usual. I mean, yeah, it, it was an, it was an unexpected... I, I, I cannot... I cannot talk for my life! Unexpected, uh, circumstances. Really? Thank you, sir. Uh, if only all our employers were as good-hearted as you. What if it's just a facade? Whatever the case, I shan't keep take up any more of your time. Just clean this sim uh, shambolic doodles up. Oh no. <gasps> Slandering her artwork, no. <gasps> yes, we meet again. And... Um... What are you doing here? Hey, Paimon. Hey, purple guy. Aren't you in cahoots with those thieves who wanted to steal Mamir's paintings? Oh, Paimon knows what you're up to, all right. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Paimon, you hired these people to steal Mamir's artwork to create opportunity for you to rescue her, win her trust, and then achieve some unspeakable aims. Well, not that Paimon thinks getting paints counts as anything unspeakable, but. If dropping is a bad habit, good ladies, then what are you doing here? Isn't it bad habits you're like sneaking around at someone's place, plotting something? Paimon, and you want to talk? Exactly. Coming here on the sly and ransacking someone's house when they're not in, you've got some cheek to call others out. Yeah, he's ass cheeks. Okay, who are you? Jacob. Oh, it is him! Me, you can call me Jacob. I am a traveling collector of art. No, 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 no. From the good document, you're up You're up to some shady shit. Okay, Jacob. Good to see you again as well, Miss Mamir. Your client. Mr. Jacob. Mamir. So, were all the things you told me lies? Unfortunately, yes, this bastard. Okay, Mamir. That, that you've never seen paintings like these before. That, that, you, that you'd like to collect them. That you could understand them. Okay, you did all that for things that have nothing to do with the paintings themselves, right? You misunderstand, Miss Mamir. I have never intended to deceive you. Even now, I have nothing to uh, but admiration for your. Ah! See, lies. But you called them shambolic doodles. And apologize for my imprecise use of words. Oh, it's too late, bitch. It's too late. I was truly mesmerized by their unpredictable, chaotic nature, and I can. Appreciate the beauty in them, so incomprehensible to the rest of the world. Wow, this silver tongue bastard. Mamir, really? Uh, Mamir, what's with the whiplash? Remember what he said before? Shambolic doodles. Of course I mean it. Oh god, this guy is shady as hell. Your skills are most enchanting, air quotes, and your use of colors and persistence in making your own paints truly make me... What? Paimon. Hey, don't be taken in my... I mean, don't be taken in by him so easily. Mamir, wait. Uh, so this is a trick to... Oh my god. This pure girl. How dare you? What do you want these the paints for? He doesn't want the paintings. He wants the, the materials. The suspicious materials. So I bet... It was from that... Uh, that skeleton. That big dragon skeleton. Is it a dragon or a serpent? I don't know. What an interesting question. And a fine question indeed, miss. Let me ask you this instead. What else do you think these paints can be used for? For evil! For evil! Paimon. Hmm. Paimon doesn't know what you want to do with them, but you can't be up to anything good. You tried to buy her paintings for a high price and you also hired people to trouble her and ransack her house. You didn't have to go this far for your own drawings, did you? Jacob. Yes, why indeed. Consider that a question for further exploration after this, uh, after this discussion. For now, let me venture a guess. You have just collected the raw materials for the paints, am I correct? Oh. In that case, ma'am, allow me to ask you a question. Could you give those materials to me? Nah, uh bish. Nah, uh After you slandering Mamir's hard work? Manipulating her? 
Jacob. I have no quarrel with you. As such, we need not be. Look at this. Look at the dirty smirk. We need not be enemies. Oh, okay. Sorry, <laughs> I was like so invested with this story. So okay, uh, let's go. Was like the free like cone. Oh, it's fine. At least there's like more pools or like customer like means that Jade is permanent. Thankfully, yeah, it's being engaged in uncontrolled. You're comfortable. Oh yeah, it is comfortable for, to me. But sometimes, sometimes like the mini games or like other different gimmicks, it can work a bit differently. See why most fighting is better with controller. Yeah, it is, especially for like a active battle like this. Jacob, in return, I can give you any amount of mora as long as it is within reason, of course. Within reason. And why are you asking me? Okay, Paimon. Exactly. These pins aren't ours. You should be asking Mamiru, shouldn't you? Jacob, are you really hoping for an answer, or 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 are you simply probing about my attitude? Regardless, I will answer honestly. You and I both know that Miss Mamir cannot, will not stop me from obtaining her paints. But that's the same. Can, uh, but that same cannot be said for you. Yeah, because you're manipulative. Oh yeah, <gasps> yes, Mamir. Yes, I, I never said anything like that. I'm not listening to you, you liar. Jacob, hush now. Say no more, Miss Mamir. I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. I swear. Because it is awkward on Hunkai Impact 3. Ah, I see. Maybe just me. Yeah, it depends on the game though. But for Genshin, uh, especially with battling, it is comfortable to me. Look at Jacob. Will you give me the correct answer? Won't you, ma'am? Paimon. Of course we will. And that's a big, fat no. Maybe you put in so much effort to create something so beautiful and yet you're treating her like... like this. Yes, you're a bastard, Jacob. This is the answer the two of you have agreed on. Well then, understood. Okay, you guys. Allow me to thank you for helping me collect these pins. So, yeah, it's gonna be like, okay. Okay, you guys. Let's fight, Jacob. And well, though it disappoints me to say this, that will be all. Paimon, that will be all? First you ransack someone's house, and then you say all that stuff, and you, now you wanna run off? Okay, him, but the others. The Eremites are gonna stay. His mercenaries. You, you misunderstand. I said that will be all, not goodbye. Miss Iris, I'd like to change the original terms of our commission. Oh, shit. Yeah. But we beat you once though. Do you guys really want to try and... <laughs> I mean, emphasis on try to beat us again? Uh, of course. Get rid of these people. As for your pay, will seven times the original amount do? Oh, is that your term of, like, within reason? Paimon, huh? You don't think you can take sub out with just these few people, do you? C uh, cake house. Y you know, boss, she's right. We won't be able to take that person out by ourselves. Jacob, you're mercenaries, aren't you? You should know more about combat than I do. Bro, he only sees the them like, uh, yeah, expendables. Since you have the numbers, why are you fixated on your strongest foe? Is there not someone there who cannot fight? Bro... Huh? No! No way in hell! You mean you want us to? What do you think you're doing? Jacob... Taking sensible, necessary action toward achieving a future far beyond our imaginations. Oh god, I hate this guy. Sevenfold pay. There's no arguing then. Sorry, buddy. What? Seymour. <gasps> Seymour! Seymour! Please do not mind my... Please do not mind my appearance, my lady. My prime directive is to... Blah, 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 be more busy. To protect you. Jacob. What? What, you never... Namir. Seymour? <gasps> Doggo! Affirmative. I am here, my lady. You are as gentle, lovely, and radiant as ever. Please, step back. Yeah, let's go! You, you a-holes. Oh! Don't go! Don't go buddy with me! Okay, hold up, hold up. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Do I have my, uh, do I have my camera ready? Yes! Yes! I mean, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. They will come soft. Yeah, I just want to commemorate this moment. Yes, Farina, help! Help them! 
Oh, Seymour! Okay, well, hold up. Because this is Lumine's... Uh, I need to have Lumine in the shot, too. Oh, wait! You blocked the doggo! You dumbass lady! Man, I'm so unhinged right now. <laughs> I keep cussing left and right. But they treated Mamir like that. I would be so pissed. I mean, because I also love to draw stuff. And then getting slandered like that. Ow. Dad, you're gonna pass by me. No siree. Yes, die. Die. Oh god, they keep blocking the doggo, I swear. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Slaying. Yeah, I'm just like... I'm just taking my time. I just want to enjoy this. Okay, Iris. Ugh. Ugh. What is this? Jacob. Oh no. Do you see that this doggo is valuable to... Outdated junk. That's all. If it's outdated, why does it have like a AI sentience and knows how to do its job compared to the mercenaries that you... That you hired? Wait, Elaine? Elaine's own little invention. You've been slumbering for years, haven't you? Still wanna go at it? Are you talking about the dog? Wait, Elaine? Was there in the records? Hi, Mom. Yeah, just stop putting all this bad stuff. Why are you so obsessed with these paints? Anyway, are they really worth you resorting to such despicable actions? Okay, Jacob. Please, I've already told you why we are doing this. As for you, Miss Mamir, if we should meet again, I look forward to your future drawings. Why would she... Why would she want to... Continue having business with you? No. No, just no, Mamir. Paima, you. Jacob. Well then, I'll take my leave, good ladies. Ah, uh, yes, and you, thinking machine. Let's go, Miss Iris. We have other things to do. Come on. Hey, step right there, purple guy. Mamir... Please wait, you two. There's something wrong with Seymour. Oh, no, go. No! Can we fix him? All oh, because he protected you. My, my apologies, Matt. And then it poof. Amir, Seymour? Did he take damage during the battle? He, he was doing his best. He might be out of energy. Amir, out of energy? So, so you mean. Oh no, this... this can't be... My mom... Ah, uh, Mamir, are you alright? Okay, Mamir. Oh, Seymour. Mr. Jacob, he... he always intended to trick me by saying those things like, I love your paintings. I can't understand your paintings. It was all a facade. And even worse, he damaged you this... badly. I won't forgive him. I... I won't! <gasps> Come on, uh, Mamir, let's go look for an engineer in the Court of Fontaine. They should be able to fix or even improve upon him. And we can also help you find more paints along the way. Okay, but let's back things up a bit first. Oh, Paimon hopes your paintings weren't damaged during the fight. No, 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 because good doggo... Good doggo protects? Okay, Mamir, thank you, Sab. And you too, Paimon. It's just... What's the point of all my old work? If... If Seymour can't be cured... If Seymour can't appraise these works like he... Oh yeah, because he was the one who keeps complimenting, giving feedbacks... ...on your artwork. Artwork that no one understands. Yeah, because... Right, because she's like a... She's like a shut-in, and then the only one that understands her is Seymour. Artworks that no one understands. Those aren't really artworks, are they? They're just what a person called them. Shambolic doodles. <gasps> no, baby girl, no! Don't think that way! Hey, mom. Don't say that. Even the purple purple guy said that there was something magical and inscru inscrutably disordered about your work. Paimon loves your work too. Also, Paimon uh, wanted to ask about this since before. What do you mean by everyone in the village not understanding art? I guess Melusines have... I mean, yeah, because she also see, sees things differently. Do they also see each other differently or what? Exactly that. No one understands the paintings. Hey, Paimon. Bah! They only don't get it because they don't have your artistic background. So they can't get the uh, hidden meanings. Yeah, abstract meanings. Well, everything's about context anyway, right? That means you'll need societal knowledge and an understanding of its history. Um, what Paimon wants to say is... Can we see the paintings? Oh, let's see it! I want to see it! Sure. 
You pick up a painting up from the ground. Uh, this is w what? What? Is it because of the... Of the red material, the the ores that was used, maybe that's why we're having these red flashbacks. Paimon, Paimon doesn't really understand its contents either, but it looks really awesome. And this might sound unsuitable, but it looks like it might be super valuable right off the bat. Paimon, it's so beautiful. Um, for example, uh, these details here, they've really got that immersive feeling. Don't you think so too? The other Melusines probably don't understand it because... They don't even show it to us, how dare, Mimir. You don't have to force yourself to say something nice, Paimon. Uh, I can see right through you. Still, I know you're doing this out of the goodness of your heart, so thank you. Paimon, um, sorry. Paimon couldn't tell what you painted, but it really is very beautiful. Paimon only understands in... Oh, oh god, I don't like this. Paimon, sab, let's have pack this stuff up. So that's how it was, I see. What? What do you see? Amir, you don't need to comfort me with these white lies. I'll pull myself together, don't worry. This painting depicts what? Show it to me! Two bears clapping their hands together a drowned throne. <gasps> what? A burning snow field. What if I pick the middle one? Because like, Fontaine, you know? Huh? Paimon, huh? Now that you mention it... I guess all three options are just like, uh... All the same, basically. No illusion of choice. I guess. Lumir, wait. You... You really got it? I just feel like the second one, like, because of the Fontaine story. Lumir, and um, what did you think of this painting? It's very beautiful. No, no, no. It's worth savoring. Lumir, yes, yes, you really do get it. There's so many things I want to express via my paintings, and I want to make the audience feel something new each time. Paimon. So Paimon was right then. They, they are priceless masterpieces. Kimamir. Still, this is really is the first time someone has understood my paintings. <laughs> yeah, let's be friends! The other villagers think they're very beautiful, but that's all they can tell me. Yeah, they cannot like delve any deeper than that, than the basic understanding of what they see. Kimamir. Then slowly, I began to understand. Even though they don't get my paintings, they were still trying to be nice to me by saying they look beautiful. It's really kind of them, but I don't think that's good. Oh my god, the struggles of artists. Mood. Mamir. So I was really happy when Mr. Jacob... Jacob said that he understood what I was trying to convey through my paintings. I thought, finally, someone can see what I want to show. Paimon. Ugh. That purple hair. I mean, that purple guy. He's just awful. Mimir, right. But none of that matters now. Hey, Mimir, father told me of many beautiful sights. I feel that the world is a lovely place and it makes me happy. However, I'm not a good speaker, so I want to make others happy through my paintings. Oh. But most medicines only know how to encourage me by saying that my paintings are beautiful. I like them too. But I still want to have someone around who gets my painting, you know? That's why Seymour is such an important friend to me. Unlike the others, he pays attention to my paintings and critiques them. That's why I was also so ha I mean, I was so happy when I met when I met Jacob. It wasn't your fault though. Jacob has a silver tongue. Okay, after I first read what Jacob had said, I thought to myself, in the future, I should only show my paintings to Seymour. Others don't understand my work, so they only try not to hurt my feelings. But since you and Sub can understand them, that means they're not entirely beyond comprehension. It means that they are people who can really see the beautiful things that I wanted to show. So like Seymour, you're now my best friends too. Oh, adorable. Okay, Paimon. Um, well, uh, Paimon is happy about that, but it does feel weird to be compared to a robot dog. <laughs> but hey, at least, at least we can be friends with Mamir. Okay, Paimon. Regardless, let's continue cleaning up, shall we? Ugh, seriously, those bad guys really made a mess of this place, huh? Yeah, let's go help. Help Mamir. Mamir, thank you. Sorry I made you clean up after me again. You know, just like when we met for the first time. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, Paimon, it's fine. We're friends after all. Mamir, yep. Okay, Paimon, uh, looks like you're in a good mood again. That's great. Okay, Mamir, yeah, I feel so happy when I'm with you guys. Just like how I feel when I'm on a roll with my paintings. 
Lucky Paimon. Oh, still looking at your packing... I mean, still looking at how you're packing things up. Paimon can't help but think that you Millicent's really ha do <laughs> really have short hands. Hey, what about you? You have even shorter hands, Paimon. Come on, come on. Keep him here. <laughs> yeah, you go, Mamir. You go. You go. Okay, Mamir. Hmm. Your hands are even shorter, Paimon. <laughs> Paimon, no way. Short hands, Mamir. Aw, oh, this is cute, the banter. Okay, Mamir. Yes, they are. Baby hands, Paimon. Okay, Paimon. <laughs> all right, all right. Paimon takes it back, but really, don't those hands make painting inconvenient? Your canvas does sit on a high stand. Hello, I mean, hello, welcome back. Kimamir. It's alright, since my hands aren't short at all, but speaking of painting, I really am sorry that I won't be able to paint for you at the moment. It's fine, we need to help. We need to help Good Doggo. I just can't leave Seymour like this. I must fix him first. He is my best friend after all. How could have it became? We, we became friends! I came Amir. Sorry, Paimon, but I'll paint for you once Seymour's all fixed up. Yeah, we have other priorities. Paimon, right. Let's go to the Court of Fontaine together and seek out a reliable engineer to help. Came Amir. An engineer? No. That's not it. I want I want to fix Seymour. Wait, can you? I want to fix Seymour myself. Wait, in that case, we need parts. Huh? Wait. You know how to fix Clockwork Mecha too? <laughs> Stretchy, you wouldn't even ask my one, of course not, but... Oh man, but I love the dedication! Hey mom, huh? Mm hmm? Demir, eh? <laughs> A strings of hmms, um, oh? Hey mom, but how are you gonna fix him then? Mamir, father said he's seen a lot of machines, both intact and dismantled, so he can teach me how to fix Seymour. Father? Don't you mean Arleshino? Okay, no, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, but... But still though, oh god, oh god, Arl, oh god, oh god! I'm saving up for her, saving up for her for real, for real. Okay, I'm on. Hmm, you mentioned this father a few times previously. What's he like? A master medicine engineer with a long mustache? A medicine with a wrench? Mamir, dot dot dot. I'm on. Huh? Uh, d did Paimon say something bad? Why'd you stop talking? Wait, what? <gasps> Wait. Wait. Does she have... Does she see something we don't? Every time we have those weird uh, red... uh, Not like visions, like the, re the red frames. And she's like, yes, yes, I can, I see. Is she, like, talking to someone else? And then we're the ones who are experiencing it. Wait, here we go again. <laughs> the archery when he were famous now. But hello. But yeah, I knew it, dear. Jacob is a... Jacob, man, I, I just rechecked those notes back in Sumeru. And then I forgot somehow. They mentioned about Nars Narzissan Cruise, but... Somehow, I only remembered the name Jacob, but I don't remember them mentioning... I mean, the note mentioning about Narzissan Cruise. What the hell? But yeah, here we go again. Now I just realized, Paimon. Wait a moment. Who are you talking to? Mamir, are the ones I have at home not enough? Then... Paimon, hey! Mamir, hello! Yes, I'll try. Thanks. So sub, Paimon. Okay, you're scaring me, Mamir. Paimon, whoa! Wait, you're talking to us again. Father has told me... Yo, I thought, like, father, she means, like, her, literally her father, like, somehow living in, in the house or something. Father has told me how to cure Seymour. We just need to collect enough components and... Okay, yes, ex expected. Parts. Come on, don't worry. I'll pin for you once Seymour is all fixed up. Who are you seeing right now, Paimon? No, we're not worried about the painting. Ugh, who are you talking to just now? She, she said father. Father, of course. And who's that? Yo, Melusines, man, they're so interesting. So she just assumed before this we can see him. Father, oh no, dear. Oh no. Oh no, what does this mean? Um, father is father. Oh, wait. 
Can the two of you not hear father's voice? No, but we experienced some weird... ...presence. I'm on the voice, you say? Oh yeah, uh, of course we did. Has he... Uh... Has Seymour's breakdown hit her too hard or something? Anyway, let's just go along with this for now. We can comfort her later. But I still feel bad though. We should be honest with her. Paimon, um, we heard you too, but we don't know anything about Clockwork Mecha, so what should we do exactly? Mimir, right, so we need some components. Okay, Paimon, sure, but what kind? I mean, gears, screws, whichever. This is what I'm talking about. Pretty, isn't it? Oh yeah, screws expected. Paimon, this is a scrap mechanical part? Mimir, are they really scrap though? They're so shiny and pretty and they're everywhere here. Everyone in the, village, in the village really likes them, so they all have some. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. I was about to say, is this the part? Because I remember, I remember that Claymore because you can help the power of friendship. The power of friendship. Oh, but that means we have like sub objectives to do now. Okay, Mamir, when we help each other out, we give the other components as tokens of gratitude. Oh, and Zana likes them more than most, so she often exchanges a lot of things for them. Oh, but she doesn't seem to be in the village. Yeah, but there's like other world quests in the village. So they're, cur uh, so they're currency specific to Mercy Village? Oh. Currency? Oh, I get it. Like Mora. Well, I guess you can say that. Mm, even if Jacob were to give me a lot of compo components in exchange for my paintings, I wouldn't, I wouldn't accept. Unless it would help me fix Seymour. Oh my god. <laughs> let's, let's fix Doggo. Okay, Paimon. Alright, sure. We just need to collect components, right? We'll help. Yay, let's go. Let's help more Melusines. No way. They're like Mora. You know, getting parts for me would be like me asking you to, um, earn Mora for me? That sounds like something a villain would do. No, 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 no. No, no, but we can fix Seymour faster this way. Mimir. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're, you're nice people. I'll also go hunt them down myself. I really can't ask you to find them for me while I just sit around doing nothing. Oh, it's okay though. It's okay. Act 2, a great in uh, dreams and ogre. <gasps> oh, oh, Seymour. I still want to take a pic though. I mean before and after, before and after. Can we to see the after pic? Yeah, I just want to take his picture. Good doggo, protecting. Protecting Mamir. But yeah, let me check those notes again. Hello. Are these like the only particular notes that mention Jacob and then Renee's notes too? But I wait, and the Mythic Pages also has like uh oh wait, I can't check those. We need to collect all of them, right? Yeah, these ones. What the hell? They were studying about this. Yeah, Mr. Carl. And then mentions of Elaine. I think I remember I've seen Elaine. <gasps> Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, the power of Cabrera is actually more similar. It simulates whatever materials and energies come to. So they were, yeah, they're like really doing some illegal stuff for, uh, right now. Composed energy of redacted form of self recognition. Mm, years of being projected into this world uh, precisely because thinking that this pity Shamia came up with the notion of conflict. Can we have records to reduce your world formula based on this? I decided to eat a couple more sweets, okay? Sometimes cries in secret. So I'm an adult now, but he's only just had his third tooth come in. I don't know what Elaine. Okay, I don't know the director that she would definitely return. She's amazing. Always keeps her word. Seeing all this, I'm starting to think that she will be unable to return. Yeah, Jacob has certainly thought this too. Split the last of the gem between myself and Jacob. As a side. Uh, though the results are nothing impressive, this is because the object they choose was pure elemental force, which lacks any will whatsoever. If if we don't take any measures, it's unlike that we will endure long enough to return to Fontaine. Should we be able to do, to use this power, Furious? But it's understandable given that uh, even homes this far apart have been flooded, an attitude of resistance to this kind of power is normal. We must preserve Jacob's life. So yeah, yeah there's like something going on. After all, the Narcissus and Cruz Institute lost consciousness. Power can be classified as right or wrong. Oh, in your mind, that is. Okay, we gained consciousness. Jacob forgot, so Mr. Carl became suspicious. But the fake journal should still be effective for now. 
Ka, what is this? Supplement. Okay, and help Jacob supplement his nutritional intake. We must keep up the ruse. Forage some nuts. Yo, is Jacob not like a... Uh, not like a human or something? Second floor periods. I've decided to call the previous instance that flooded the courtyard. It's so crazy that this like goes back to Sumeru. Though I do not want to admit, but no matter so many times, calculation is all the same. I crushed it with Jacob. Unbelievable destruction. Did I miss a variable? Bottom of the fountain of Lucie. Jacob also saw similar scenes. There should be a way. No, there must be a way. Although, I mean, I actually thought of a possible breakthrough during the process. Extract the will within. Wait, if the power of, then maybe we can extract. Resist the impact. A larger catastrophe must be avoided. The plan should be fine. Nothing more than a question of what Jacob and I can do. Jacob is scared because he is still a child. But he has already, uh, he already has strength greater than most. With us and Elaine, we can surely stop the disaster. We must speak with Elaine. And then he said like, Seymour's like a, an Elaine's invention before. Hello? And then the schematics. And then it's so sussy too, because like, yeah, like everyone noticed like this area here is like... Oh wait, no, 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 not here, sorry. This area right here is like blank. And then Celestia is like somewhere around here. And then where was that area where we found that hidden Kenrayan uh, door? I think it was around like Gate of Zul... Wait, was it like way below Z Gate of Zulkarnine? It's been a while. It's like so crazy. That's why I really wanted to do this event. I mean, this well, event. This story, this quest line. It ties back to when the excavation... Wait, wait, wait. The... Uh, not excavation. Oh, what's that called? Expedition. Okay, ask about the parts. Okay, let's go. Are you there, tall stranger? <gasps> I am here to help. I am here to help. I am the servant of the people. But also, most importantly, want to help Seymour. Okay, Serene. Oh, you finally looked over. Hello there, tall stranger, and... Paimon. Paimon's Paimon, and she's Sub. <laughs> hey, Serene. Alright, I got it. Miss Sub and Miss Paimon. Welcome to Megacy Village. Miss Serene. Ah, uh, sorry. So sorry. I missed the showing consideration to people in the village. So I just called you both Miss without thinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we were like asking your name, but okay, yeah. No need to apologize. Hey, Paimon. Um, yeah, you don't need to be so nervous. You can call us whatever you want. As long as it's not like... <laughs> I don't know, silly nicknames or... Yeah. Hey, Paimon. Still, what's your name? Serene. I'm Serene. Just call me Serene. I heard you were trying to collect opponents. Did something happen? Yeah, something unfortunate happened. Yeah, doggo. Okay, Serene, I didn't, I didn't think something like that would occur. This must be reported to <gasps> Miss uh, Novelette immediately. Yes. Okay, thank you, Miss Sab and Miss Paimon. If it weren't for you, something worse would have definitely followed. Hey, Paimon, but Seymour still broke, still broke down. Serene, hmm. So that's why you were collecting uh components, yes. Paimon, yeah, though we're not really sure how to fix him right now, but we were thinking that after getting the components, we could go somewhere like the Fontaine Research Institute and find someone to help us. Tsurin, if that's the case, then please take this. <gasps> Wait, are you gonna give me a component? Uh, are these components? Are you just giving them to us? But yeah, do you need to, do you need us to help you with anything? That would be... Uh, oh. Huh? Oh no, I didn't mean to use this to get your help or anything. Well, either Sub or Mimir are going to need his components, right? So just accept them. <gasps> oh, kind-hearted! Thank you so much! I should be the one thanking you. Thank you for taking care of Mimir. Oh, oh yeah, because they, they care for her even though they don't understand her artworks. That child's always alone and never tells me about anything. No! Oh god, the awkward introvert who, and then there's like these extroverts who wanted to just like, yeah, just like don't know how to take care of an introvert, I guess. So seeing her joyously talking with someone and that someone being an outsider human friend as well makes me happy. Oh, makes me happy too! Though if I had more components, maybe that could solve the problem immediately, right? 
it's as I expected. It will take more hard work on my part to better assist everyone. Oh, so cute. Okay, Paimon. Come on, you've already helped us anyway. Okay, we'll be taking these components. Thanks a lot, Serene. Right, where we can find more components. But yeah, let's just help the other Melu Melusines. Uh, let me think. You can check the areas around the village. If you're lucky, you might be able to pick up some scattered components. Wait, they're scattered ones? <gasps> but I want to do more. I want to contribute more. I mean, at the same time, killing two birds with one stone so I can like, uh, check out. I mean, cross out all of my completed world quests in Fontaine. Okay, Serene, but this method alone isn't that efficient. So why don't you ask the villagers if they need help with anything? I'm sure they'll give you components in exchange for that help. But yeah, so far we met all the medicines. They're so sweet. Sweet little... Sweet little beans! Let's go back and meet up with Mimir. Okay, Dia, what say you? Do we... Are we recording? But yeah, we, we can return to Mimir right now. Wait, how many? I saw like one. But I don't think that's enough. Wait, where's the thing? No, wait, what? What? Where's the... Was it like a screwdriver icon or am I missing it? Or is it this? Oh wait, no, this is different. Hmm... Oh, this one! F five? A strange mechanical part obtained near Mercy Village. It looks a little different from common mechanical parts. You have no idea why it ended up here, but beautiful metal products like this are loved by medicines. Wait! Did I found this along the way? Wait, how many does she need? Suddenly crying while well, the only resource was. Well. Ah, oh, the pain. Just go around and help them. Uh, the ones you need uh, will be short anyway. Yeah, let's just help them out. I mean, the longer I chill in Merisi uh, village, the more happy I get because I really love the theme. It's okay, there's like two, I guess. Ah. Uh, Okay, I guess we can start with this one. We Hello, who are you? Verenata. Verenata. Ooh. Hello. Need help? Verenata. Hmm. A tidaga slurry. <gasps> are you a chef? Okay, the crushed innards of lumi toil and a little... Wait. How much is a little exactly? Oh, but I can just imagine though. Maybe... Wait, lumi toil? What if it's like a different one? Okay, Paimon. Uh, are you making some soup? Ugh. That smells really... Paimon! That's rude! It smells really weird. Hmm? It smells weird? That can't be. I followed the formula Carabos gave me exactly, so it should be... It should smell normal. It smells like someone fermented a sea bass. Oh my god, you two! No class! It smells like someone fermented a sea bass for three years in a vat of dead frogs. If you calm down a bit, you can smell the fragrance of sea... Yeah, exactly. Let's not be rude. Hello. Hey, that's not right either. I mean, better than you, Paimon. But anyway, what are you doing? Do you uh, need help? Man, I guess it's it's not that weird because I was thinking we only okay for me at least because I I was doing the Fontaine Archon Quest and then especially the Meropide Meropede uh, section and then we we know about how Melusines like see things differently. So I guess if you like uh, the type to like do all the world quests first and then do the Archon quest first and then you're like, oh yeah, so Melusine's like see things differently. Okay, it's a potion. It's for I'm formulating a potion. One that'll help lots of people. Hey on, so you're a potioner then? Veranata. Not yet. I'm just an assistant to a master potioner. Her name is Karabos and I, Veranata, still have much to learn from her. Paimon. <laughs> well, an assistant to a great doctor must be a great assistant, right? <laughs> Veranata. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, wait, wait. No, not at all. I'm. There's so many things I still don't know. I'm just working as hard as I can to help her make potions. Aww. Also, um, I've told you my name, but I don't know yours yet. Oh, yeah. oh my god, the medicines. Uh. Hey, Paimon. Paimon's Paimon, and she's sub. Veranata. Paimon, that's a nice name. Reminds me of a noisy white jellyfish. <laughs> uh, okay. Sub. Oh! Wait, what? That's a slightly strange name and it gleams like gold, but it's very friendly. Please, nice to meet you. Whoa, she can interpret an. Okay. Okay, okay, never mind. I'm just like, whoa, she just like went 
really deep with that. Okay, and well, you just asked if I need help, and I do. But I don't know if you'd be willing to help. Ask anyway. Hey, Paimon. Exactly. If you need help, you, sh you should just say so. Renata, I'd like you to try my new... Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Sure. Paimon. Uh, what? Try, try your potions. We're gonna be guinea pigs. Okay, for another. I know potions smell and taste. Uh, I know potions smell and taste bad, but they can help lots of people and cure many illnesses. They're very useful things. Well, yeah, exact medicines exactly are not like uh, sweet or anything. They're always bitter. Okay, some some of them though, like cough syrup is sweet. I like that. Okay. But we can't get sick, and we don't like drinking strange things. Over time, people stop helping me taste my potions, and that's been a big problem for me. Aww. She just wanted to help. Paimon, ugh, you're the one who said this stuff is weird. It isn't dangerous, is it? Okay, I understand your concerns, Paimon. I will vouch you for that. And then Veganata, it's fine. We don't get poisoned by them. Mm, so you shouldn't either. Well, at least in theory, anyway. <laughs> How does that make a 100% guaranteed? Okay, there are a total of three potions that need testing. One will help people fight better. The other will keep people feeling warm. Oh, that one. The one in Dragon Spine. <laughs> we have that formula. Oh, excuse me. And that the last one. Why am I hiccuping right now? I'm not sure how I put this, but Karabos says that it can help people understand the truth. The truth. That seems important. That's what she said anyway. I'm still not sure what it means. Hey mom, that does sound dangerous. Like a truth potion or something? Truth serum? No, 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 no. It's not dangerous. Anyway, would you like to help? If you would, I'll take you to the test site now. Okay, yeah, let's go. I'll help you. Hey mom, just don't go drinking yourself into danger. Yay, helping out. You're right at the beach. Oh, we're outside. Okay, thank you. Let's say the first type then. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate the fact they just teleported us out here. Hey, Paimon, don't drink too much of it, Sap. Just spit it out if something feels off, okay? But yeah, don't worry, Paimon. I'll be fine. I've done worse. I've done worse things. Paimon. Hmm. I mean, Paimon's just worried, you know? But yeah, I'm ready. Pass me the potion. Renata. This one's called the Super Duper Potion and it'll make you super strong. Well, in theory at least. You take the potion from Veronata and drink it in one go. It has a pungent odor that, that's hard to bear, but it tastes sweet and sticky and isn't hard to swallow. Otherwise, however, your body has no reaction to it. I'm sorry, like the, the second paragraph, the second paragraph though. Like, if you put it out of context, it would sound weird. Just saying. Okay, at her direction, you then wait until some breacher premises become active. Oh. Are those the... Oh god, I hate this, guys. Uh. Hey, this isn't pumpkin soup. Okay. I have Verena. Super duper potion coming after I'll use that Sabi's service for Capacity Powerful. <laughs> oh wow. I do feel powerful, not gonna lie. Careful, careful. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm used to this. <laughs> oh, is this the potion's effect? Oh, where are you? So many things on the screen I cannot see. Okay. <laughs> Wait, where are we exactly? Let me check. Oh, oh yeah, just outside. Not that really far. I want to take a picture of you. Can I? I don't want to get too close though. Uh. Oh, this is like too far, but okay. It's fine. Because I know we're just gonna get sucked in into the conversation. Oh, can I? Can I still take you? I mean, take a pic. Without any abstraction. I mean, because she's cute! I really love her color palettes. <laughs> ah, wait! I can take a pic next to you! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm being March right now. Channeling March. I just love to take pics to make the memories last longer. 
Oh, wait, I can't look at the camera like this. Okay, I guess... Uh, yeah, just stand by. Okay, look at the camera. Yeah, ha, ha, so cute. Oh, wait, Lumine, why? Why? Why now? There we go. Oh! <gasps> I didn't mean to run out Renata, um, so you did, uh, did you defeat those creatures so easily because of the super duper potion? Exactly, you could even say it gave me super duper powers. I'm just gonna pick the first one. Paimon. What kind of awful advertising slogan is that? Ew! Renata, thank you, thank you, so it was due to the potion's effects. Then I guess that's a master pa uh, potioner's, uh, potioner's recipe for you. Alright then, let's bring the super duper potion, uh, potion testing to a uh, close first. Let's test this coasty toasty potion. Paimon, did you uh, come up with these names yourself? Why? Are you judging her? Are you judging her because you're the master of nicknames, Paimon? Okay, no, I'm not good at making up names, so I just let others help me come up with much better ones. Oh, Paimon, are you gonna pitch in? Are you gonna pitch in some ideas? Okay, well, don't say that. Really? And for something like potions, the name should let you know what it does right away anyway, right? Yeah, Bernata. Oh, uh, I've never heard that before, but you're right. That's what a master potioner should be like. Yeah, just like give direct instructions, direct uh, item names. Okay, Bernata. <coughs> anyway, are you ready to test this potion sub? Yeah, sure. Let's start. Toasty Coasty. Let's go. I'm on. Oh boy, this one smells like a disaster too. Hey, at least you're not the, the one who's drinking, Paimon. I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> I just love the fact she always like being like, Oh, theoretically, um, in theory, that is very not, uh, okay, okay. Theoretically, this ghosty toasty potion will spare you from the effects of the cold and keep you warm. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's not 100% or anything. You take the potion from Veronata. It smells like dusty, musty old leather. You hesitate for a moment before you drinking it all in one gulp. Uh, it's not a bad tasting drink, being spicy with hints of cinnamon and ginger. It reminds you of a crackling fireplace on a rainy day. Otherwise, however, your body has no reaction to it. Afterwards, you rest for a while at, at her instruction. Toasty Coasty. <laughs> I guess all of her potions are just like basically attracting enemies, huh? Adorable. Must protect. Okay, any more? God bless I bring Purina into this. Because I still feel like if I'm doing Fontaine's work quest, Purina would be so gung-ho in helping the citizens out. Huh, oh, this isn't quite the... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So what say you, Veronata? Hey, Veronata, are you alright, sub? Uh, are you okay? Sorry, sorry, I didn't know that the medicine would attract strange things like that. That happened because the potion made me all coasty toasty, you know? <sighs> yeah, I just want to lighten the mood. Paimon, uh, is that even how things work? Can you be coasty? <laughs> oh my god, Paimon, that's so cute. Brunata. Wow, right. Aquatic animals do mistake warm things for the sun, which really attract them. Oh yeah. Theoretically, that is, yes. <laughs> that piece the potion work. Thank you both, truly. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Paimon, he really doesn't think that's how it works. <laughs> Not for this, Melusine. Aquatic animals? Weren't those pyro slimes? And he's gonna be like, no, 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 no. Just ignore the finer details, okay? <laughs> Renata, I see. Hmm. Hallucin uh, hallucinogenic if uh, side effects. Alright, I've written it down. Well, at least it wasn't completely ineffective, but... Paimon. But its effects were terrible! It made huge crabs look like pyro slimes this time! But what is... What if a more dangerous monster comes along next time? What then? Why worry so much, Paimon? I mean... We managed to defeat Apep. We managed to humble Scaramouche. We managed to humble a dragon. Uh, Asda, whoever's Ignora, Raiden. We've faced worse things. Okay, Vernata. True. I've already bothered you so much already. 
But there's one kind of potion that needs testing. Are you still okay with that? Uh, as long as it's not poisonous, let's do this. Let's do it. Paimon. Don't we only find out if it's poisonous when we test it? I mean, yeah, Paimon. I get your point, but... <laughs> I get your point. Give her another. <gasps> yes, thank you so much. Well, next up is the True Sight Potion. Oh yeah, the truth! The truth! Oh wait, hold up. Is it going to be... Is it going to be like the... Venti story quest where we get to see the... Where we get to see the... Ruin Guard. And then there's that other... Oh god, what was that other quest line that also like... Uh, if only... We had those binoculars. God, which... Which story was that? Which quest was that? I remember Dia mentioning about it. I mean, prior to mentioning about the Venti story quest. Wait just a minute. The first one was the super duper potion, the next one is the Coasty Toasty potion, and this one's called, yeah, the truth serum, I guess. But yeah, this is true sight potion, which means it can let people see the truth. Can we... Can we see father? Paimon, um, it's nothing. Paimon just thinks that this one's name is completely different compared to the others. It's like a 360 degree turn. Binoculars, yeah. But I forgot which which quest was that, the story. I remember you mentioning like if only uh they they used the binoculars and then finally we can see the truth or something. But man, I can't I can't put my finger on it. I remember you mentioning I remember you mentioning in the stream. It's just that I forgot like which quest was that. Okay, I don't want to be like I don't want to like sit here and just like trying to <laughs> trying to like uh, and bury my all of my uh, memories. Okay, doesn't that mean it's no different? You mean 180 degrees, right? The whiplash. Huh? Uh. Paimon doesn't have that many fingers. You know what Paimon meant anyway. Renata, that's because the master of Pushinir named the first two for me, and I named this one. See the people's imaginary things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing, but I forgot you also mentioned that during like one quest or story quest or... I don't remember though. Okay, I'm not good at names though, so it's definitely not as good as the names she came up with. Venti's work quest, yeah. Yeah, I, I know it's Venti's work quest, but I remember... I don't remember which part during the stream, what we did. And then you mentioned about like, if only... If only we had like, uh, the binoculars, all of this like, wouldn't be, uh, so... Not tedious, but just like, uh, it would be like a straightforward reveal, I guess. Okay, Paimon. Really? Paimon thought it was the other way around. Either way, have some more confidence. In fact, that's a proper name for a potion. Yeah, for real though. True sight, that sounds awesome. Sorry about your potion here though. <laughs> she did just like an okay job, I guess. Okay, thanks anyway. Uh, okay. Oh, I mean, mm, thanks. Anyway, this potion is different from the previous two, so it might be very dangerous. So please, come to my workshop. I am interested though, like... What if we can... Ugh, what if we can see... <clears throat> um, Mamir's father. If we're in the sea, the environment should help moderate the potion's effects, and my workshop has tools to deal with the dangers, so... Yeah, Paimon. Wow, this, so this one sounds like a real doozy. Yeah, let's get it started though. Alright, follow me. God, I'm trying to wreck my brain. It's so funny, my memory, my brain works this weird. This weirdly. Like some things, some simple things I can't forget, but if it's like a very, uh, how to say... What's that word? Like out of the norm stuff, I remember. It's just so weird. Like not the common stuff. Random facts of the day, I guess. Oh! So this is your workshop. I was like wondering, wait, was it here before? But I do remember like whenever I was uh, exploring Fontaine, getting all the chests. I do remember seeing these cute kiosks. Wait, are you kidding me? Do you guys want to die? I mean, sure, I do want your uh, drops. I'm the master of countering now, thanks to my friends. I know how to work with the mechanic, the, this mechanic, but I'm too lazy. Okay, come at me, bro. 
Oh, I think I was too early. Yeah, I was too early. I guess I don't want to waste time. Yeah, it was too early. Too late. It's so hard to like... I don't know, man. This is like the Ronin uh, drops all over again. Just to get this trans-oceanic pearls. It's a pain. Oh, wait. I missed one. Uh, g -g okay. Bloop. Okay, workshop. Workshop. Let's go. Okay, Vernata. Here, this is my workshop where I conduct my experiments. Okay, for now, I mean, okay, now for the next experiment. We'll be testing the true side potion. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready as I'll ever be. Paimon. Oh, please be careful. Oh, it's okay, Paimon. You take the potion from Veganata and the rank odor of masses of dead seagrass left to rot under the tropical sun assaults your nostrils. That's super specific. Causing you to gag involuntarily. You hesitate for a moment and then drain it in a single gulp. The taste of the potion itself isn't nearly so awful, and in fact, it really lacks any kind of distinct taste. However, your body has no reaction to it. Or otherwise, okay. Afterwards, you rest for a while at her instruction. Absolutely nothing changes during that time. But not long after. What? Ship? What? Paimon, it's the, it looks like nothing has changed. Phew, Paimon can stop worrying now, uh, Paimon. Piranata. Yes, but Sub, you look like you were stunned for a moment. What's wrong? Did you see something? I saw half of a semi-transparent boat. Piranata. Really? Fascinating. But, um, can you provide a more detailed prescription? I mean, description? It was too far away, I couldn't see it clearly. Yeah, it's like, it was like a half boat. It looked like it had been cut in half by something huge. Oh god, is this like connected to the others? Dot dot dot. Are there like ghosts in the sea? Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, I must have drifted, drifted off for a second there. But I've already written it all down. Thank you so much. Thanks to you both. I've collected great many awesome notes this time. I'll definitely be able to use them for the next batch of potions. Uh, though I've heard something very familiar. Yes, but there's still so much to observe to see if others can see the same phenomenon. Okay, Paimon. Uh, does that mean that you still need to find other people to help you test your potions? Renata. Yes, that's correct. Because um, I must have two or more reliable witnesses to see the same thing in order to prove that the potion really can allow people to see the truth, right? Oh, true. The truth will not be limited to uh, or constrained by the eyes and perspectives of the viewers and won't be distorted by what's in their heart. It objectively exists there and it just is. Odia, who isn't sure if this whole segment gave us the gear or not because the village has their own mini world quest. Oh, but it still counts as Nara's related history. Really? Like, like, like gods that live for thousands of years? <gasps> no, like the white sand. Like the bones of sea stars. Like the waves that crashed at Pound. Those are the truth. But the Master Potioner has also said that the truth can also be created through dreams and memories. I don't quite get it, and it seems like a contradiction to me, but I'm trying to best... My best to understand... Oh, this is going so deep now. I'm gonna lock this in my brain. Yeah, exactly. Topic got so deep. Man, me and Paimon today are vibing! Okay, Veronata. Oh, I mean like, uh... <laughs> because, oh yeah, remember earlier, like, says like, uh... Oh, Paimon was calling her having short arms and I'm like wait Paimon you have even shorter arms and then Mamir just said that and I just like laugh out loud but yeah I am vibing today okay Vernata. <laughs> then let's not talk about such things for now anyway I'd like to thank you for your help please take these um also be sure to come back again next time I make a new potion thank you and that was interesting strange part one okay we got one nice Gave us the gear. Oh, uh, okay. So, okay, let's go back. Again, I am so excited to know everything. Like, all these breadcrumbs, man. They're connected. Okay, let's go back. Okay, I haven't tried this portal here, is there? Yeah! Really appreciate the shortcuts. So, yeah, let me just check. So, okay, this one is like... 
immediately popping up but are there like hidden ones that you need to come close and then there's like boop boop notification this it's a deal oh okay there's no more so i guess let's do the other one rufina Wait. Why do you have question marks? Don't do this to me. If I see something like this, I do want to check. Okay, I think... Okay, for you, I feel like I want to... Okay, let me do this world quest first. But the others, they have names. Why are... Why is this the one like so off-putting to me? So weird. Yeah, the others like... Rufina... And it is so sassy too because she's, she's like down there. Okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, let's just do uh, let's just do this one first. <laughs> let's just help. Let's help as much friends as possible. Let me check my uh, claymore first because it does say like uh, super probably means you help. Yeah. If only it does tell. Oh wait, I I should have checked the stickers, right? Oh wait, does the amount of stickers also like uh, influence this or? after enhancing it i mean after ascending it we are so cute though i want the power of friendship okay so oh kosan zina oh spicy name oh purple pink cute kosan zina ah it's seven paimon the bringers of exotic flowers oh you right have the flowers we brought been growing well Kosanzina, um, about that, I haven't gone to look at them for a uh, for a whole day. Paimon, eh? Didn't you like the flowers? Why aren't you looking after them? Kosanzina, oh, they were so hard to get, so I don't, uh, so I don't want to take care of them, uh, so so much. But when I think that they might wither before my eyes, I, I'm scared to go. Oh, Paimon, oh wow, you really are very concerned about them. Why don't we go have a look together? If anything bad happens, we'll help you out. Yeah, there's no point... Excuse me, there's no point in worrying too much. Uh, Kosanzina, you're right. Let's go together. With the two of you uh, helping me, I feel like we can handle this. Yes, the more the merrier. Less burden. Yeah, go to the flower again. I mean, flower garden. La la la. Oh, I missed the lizard. Oof. Well, objective is here. Hey, you baddie! Shoo! Get away from my flowers! Hey, get away! Na 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 na, not on my watch. Okay, a cousin Zina. <gasps> no! My precious flowers, they, they've been ruined. Paimon, oh no, what a pity. So the reason your flower couldn't grow is because of the damage done by the breacher, Primus? Okay, Kosanzina, I'm going to keep watch next to my flowers from now on. I'm never leaving again, but can you fight? Paimon, wait, calm down for a second, Kosanzina. Let's think of another solution together. First off, why would the breacher, Primus, damage your flower garden, right? Exactly. When you brought other flowers back before, did any breacher, Primus, come after you? Hey, Kosanzina. No, never. Hm, that bad guy would only dare do such things behind my back. Oh, now I'm really mad. Okay, Paimon. Uh, well, uh, Paimon didn't expect Kosanzina could also get so angry. Guess she really does care a lot about these flowers. Okay, Paimon. But thinking back for a moment, it's not like the Primuses ran away once she got close. Okay, perhaps it's not the flowers that are attracting them. Okay, Paimon. Yeah, that's possible. Let's check the area around the garden and see what we can find. Oh, Kosanzina, let me take a picture. Let's take a picture together. Oh, I really love this ominous music too, outside of Mercy Village. There's something so mystique about it. My garden. Why did that bad guy want to destroy my garden? There is something that's like uh, luring it here. Look for clues in the area. Nothing special. Um, doesn't seem like there's anything here. Oh, back there. 
Aww. Nice surprise, hello. I didn't even see it coming. Oh. Kasanzina. Awesome sub. You turned that ugly machine into beautiful components. Kabab. Just like that. Well, it won't be troubling this garden ever again. Hey, Paimon. Some of the flowers have been damaged, but the rest still looks like they're in good shape. There shouldn't be any breach of premises coming around to trouble your garden again, so your flowers can now grow strong and healthy. Kiko Sanzina. This is great. Still, I've learned my lesson. Such precious flowers require attentive care and diligent protection. Yeah. Sab, Paimon, you've brought me such exotic flowers and you've even helped me defend my garden. How can I ever repay you? I mean, we got the part from the mech, so I guess that's okay. Oh uh, yeah, no need to be so polite about it. Kasanzina. Ah uh, yes, I know. I picked these flowers myself. Uh, they're very precious to me. Can I give them to you? Oh, thank you! Paimon. Huh, mm, if these flowers really are that precious, then you should probably start your own garden to plant them in, sub. <gasps> Is it a furniture for a pot? For the pot, I mean? Paimon. Speaking of which, uh, aren't these Tidalga? Do they really count as flowers? Keiko Sanzina. Tidalga are, are plants and they're very beautiful. So of course they're flowers. This is what humans call biology. I've spent some time studying uh, studying it so I can become a great florist in the future. Hehe. <laughs> Man, I guess you can be friends with the girl in the desert in Sumeru. Aru village. Uh, wait, no. Not Aru village. Wait, is it Aru village? No, no, no. Uh, was it Saba, her name? Okay, Paimon. Paimon feels like there's something kind of off about this. But it's not like Paimon knows uh, too much about plant taxonomy either. Kusanzina. I'll continue to work hard towards my goal. I've heard humans say that excellent florists are able to breed new types of flowers, which they then bring to horticultural fairs. I want to do that too, and I want to win awards there. Oh, I hope your dreams come true. Okay, Paimon. Well, that's very commendable and everything, but Paimon feels like that there are still some misunderstandings here that will be hard to explain. Your purpose too for taking part in a hor horticultural fair is to show off the new varieties of plants she's made and let humans appreciate them, right? Paimon. The thing is, her senses and aesthetics might be a bit too different from those of human. Do you think he, they might find the flower she breeds weird? You're rather invested in her hor horticultural career, I see. I mean, all in good, uh, all in good faith. Hey, Paimon. Of course, Paimon's her teacher, you know. If she wins, Paimon look, <laughs> Paimon will look good, really. But okay, there's no need to be so obsessed with winning awards. The most important thing is to be happy with your work. You've taken your first step towards success. Oh god. For me, happiness. Paimon. That's true. The only person who needs to find the flowers you raise beautiful is you. You don't have to worry too much about what other people think. Wise words. This is what Alhatham says too, I remember in the story. In his story quest. Okay, you just need to take care of your garden. Watch the lovely flowers and be happy every day. Kasanzina. Yes, I make sure they grow up healthy and strong. Oh, thank you. Oh, she just like zooped a bit up there. Tidalga. Oh, it's so easy. Are you to see my flower garden? How are your exotic flowers? I'm just gonna ask this. After the ugly machine got dug out, no bad creature premises returned to make a mess of things. Oh, maybe I should talk. I mean, pick the other option too. As such, my precious flowers uh, are growing healthily. But it's so weird, right? Was there ever a mech enemy in here? And then Seymour is here too. But Seymour is a different case. It's an invention. But the... I'm just like, yeah, I'm just like scrutinizing every detail right now. Oh my god, Ayaka no. Oh, so cute. Okay, um, how's your cultivation of new flowers proceeding? Oh my god, Dia. <laughs> There's just like, that's why I'm keeping my eyes open wide during this Narcissan questline right now. To be honest, I don't know where to start just yet. But if I can make the leaves of these flowers grow into the shape of Tidalga, I might be able to shock the world at the next hort horticultural affair. Okay, what's the other one? I'm just passing through. Okay, I mean, cheering people up is one of the reasons for which flower gardens exist. I hope to be able to raise your- <gasps> Oh, yeah, they are! Yeah, the Sumeru flowers. Right, like the, the breaches primus here. Like even the... Even when we were doing the quest before, they were here. I mean, they're still hanging it, hanging around here. But I don't remember 
prior to this world quest that they were like legit hanging out around this area. I don't remember because last time when I was treasure hunting, I don't remember seeing them basically. So many questions. Which your Primus are good boys, don't hate them too much. I mean, how can I? I still don't have the deeper context, so I'm just assuming. I can only assume for now with my supposed air quotes theories. Okay, yeah, because there were like a... Uh, what do I call this thing? Elinas? This, this dragon looking thing, serpent thing? I mean, it's encasing this place, their place. Are they attracted to the corrupted power? Okay, where's that? Where's that weird? Yeah, you. Why? Why are you weird? You have you, you have nothing. You have no name. Who are you? Maybe I should take a pic. What if she's suddenly gone? Uh, hide. Wait, she. Oh, there's a book. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh wait, what? It's a. Is it a world quest? Paimon. Hey, what are you doing under a waterfall? Are you going to take a bath or something? Paimon, um, if that's the case, we won't disturb you. What bath? I am pondering some profound questions. If I must say, I suppose I am meditating. What's your name though? If you hadn't come thundering along and interrupted my train of thought, perhaps I would have already come up with the answers. Meditating. Yeah, we're sorry then. Let's see, a human most strange in a rainbow balloon. You two must be from outside the village. Human most strange in rainbow balloon. Paimon. Right! Paimon's Paimon and she's sub. Wait a sec. No, you're not. You're right to say that we're not from here. What do you mean rainbow bo- Do you see things differently, way differently than any Melusine? She says we're strange, and then Paimon Rainbow Balloon, what do you mean? What do you mean? God, my brain is like super alert right now. I'm just like scrutinizing everything. Alright, you might not see it that way. I almost forgot about that again. What are these cryptic messages? Rainbow Balloon? I'm just like... Okay, I don't know. I'm crazy or what? Even Lene, like the rule, like floating balloon. What are they hinting at Paimon? Didn't they say it when, I mean, like the first part of the Fonte in our conquest because we were like, uh, we were breaking one law and then Lene is like, oh, actually Paimon is just like a floating balloon or something? What? Let me think. Right, Sab, what does Paimon look like to you? <gasps> Why is this so super specific? She looks like a white specter. Like, no, 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 no. If I say like a bas basic thing like Pem Paimon is Paimon, she looks like a white specter. What if I say the first one though? Oh, this is intriguing me. Wait, don't use people, don't people use specter as an insult? I'm not trying to insult you, Paimon. I'm just trying to get questions from this. She doesn't even tell her, us her name. What? To my eyes, Paimon is just like a little rainbow balloon floating in the air and her string seems to extend upward. Are you the unknown god to somewhere above the sky itself? <gasps> what the? Seriously? It's going to be bravely default. Yes, and that... I mean, yeah, the theories were like jumping around like saying, Oh, Paimon is like the unknown god. Okay, yes. And just what does sub look like to your eyes, Paimo? Oh god, what are you gonna say about me? I'm a descender! Paimon, uh, of course. Paimon's golden hair traveling companion. Don't tell Paimon you see something else. What I see, if I really must say... Then I see a monster that looks like it could swallow the whole world in a single bite. What? It's way too scary. Are you serious? Of 
course I'm serious. Do you think she's playing around, Paimon? Perhaps you've heard that the, that we Millicent can see things that humans cannot see. Yes, but you are above and beyond the others, I think. But for some reason, I can see I see things differently, even when compared to other Melusines. Yo, we just did that true sight thing, and then talking to this Melusine. What is going on, man? With Fontaine, this is crazy. Even when compared to other Melusines, I can always find things that I have that have been hidden. Can you draw it for us? Oh, but I guess... Oh. Is she able to draw, though? A puppet? The trap is a powerhouse for sure. Yeah, we can... Yeah, we can wield elements. I have read that the nature of things is hidden beneath them, and this nature decides their future. Not that I know what that means. Oh god, Fontaine is filled with lore. No wonder it... It was flooding before. Okay, if that's the case, how did you know that we're outside this? She can't see! Paimon! Well, though what we see is different, we can still find ideas that we have in common. Just like how you can tell a flower is still a flower, no matter how strange the color, right? Oh god, this is so scary. I just finished... I just finished helping like... Konzenzina before. As long as I spend enough time with everyone, I can grasp the concepts that everyone talks about and then pretend to fit it. What? If you hadn't looked special in my eyes at all, I would have struggled to find the right concept to describe you. God. I am having goosebumps right now. I haven't even done finishing uh, Mamir's quest right now. As I thought, it seems that I still have lots to learn. Uh, that's a whole bunch of stuff that Paimon didn't really get. On that note, we've been talking for ages, but we don't even know your name. And then she's gonna be like, no, my name is of no importance. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, Kanotilla. What is a name but an artificial code that confers false uniformity on different perceptions? Oh my god. You should speak to Dr. Ratio. Still, everyone calls me Kanotilla, and you may do so as well. Do you have a quest for me? Paimon. Wow, you're talking such a roundabout way. Just like a scholar. Yeah, for real. You should go to Sumeru. Roundabout. Is that how you see it? Oh my god, she she also scrutinizes everything we do. I don't usually talk with humans from outside, so I don't quite understand your methods of communication. I merely talk by making deductions and inferences based on what I've read in books. Yeah, that book. You keep talking about what you've read in books. Uh, do Melusins read too? It must be really inconvenient for you to turn the pages, right? I wasn't expecting there to be books here. Why do I want to say something stupid? Okay, like, oh, I mean, because your heads are short. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't expecting there to be books here. Yes, an amazing scholar left them behind. Wait! Is it the narcissist? Yes, an amazing scholar left them behind, all hidden inside a secret base. All of what I just said, I, I learned from those books. There's even a book there that I just couldn't understand. Meditation has allowed me to comprehend it, ever so little of it. But lately, I've been making no progress no matter how, how I rack my brain. That's why I came here to meditate and try to find a way forward. Yo, this is like... Ah, hell no. Ah, oh, hell no. I feel like... I feel like I have a certain responsibility to see all of these quests through. To see through all of the Narcissus and Cruz... Uh... Entire quest line. Crazy. A book that can be understood. Uh, aren't arcane secrets never meant to be known by anyone? Usually encrypted in books like that. The genius society would talk with this dude for eternity. Mm -hmm. Speaking of pages, I hope you've been collecting some for this lady. Oh, she wants... She's the one who wants the enigmatic pages. Speaking of secrets, uh, that usually means treasure. Now that Paimon thinks about it, she's getting curiouser and curiouser. Okay, Natila, if you're interested, why don't I take you there to have a look? Oh, yes, for sure. Okay, at least... Okay, I know in my spare time, I, I am gonna... If, if it's those enigmatic pages, I will find them. The, that book is important to me, and I must find a way to understand it. So missing pages makes sense. You appear to be knowledgeable. Well informed outsiders. Perhaps you'll be able to understand that book quite easily. Yeah, I've, I've seen this solve a puzzle or two, but yeah, our, our experience tends to be more on the practical side. 
I'm on. That's right. We're like super professionals at this. Come on, Kanatilla, show us the way. Okay, the police for a side excursion, but yeah, that medicine just like set off alarms to me. That's why I feel like I need to talk to her. I mean, Dia also says like there's hidden quest, so I'm just like, okay, this girl probably has a quest for me, but. The commentary of like Paimon is like a floating rainbow and then we're the ones who's gonna swallow the world whole. What is this? Man, I swear sometimes like the fandom. I'm just gonna say this. Sometimes the fandom just like overreacts whenever like, Oh Genshin doesn't do this or doesn't do that. But I don't know man. I feel like they should be commented in terms of like making the lore for this game. If you don't like, like really invest in it. You really don't care, you just want to play just for the sake of playing a game and then just like pulling characters, haha, all that. But then, if you're like playing this, but also at the same time appreciating like how they uh, string up the stories and stuff, especially with the lore, it's so crazy. Yeah, it's like the RNR, but RNR is more like straightforward and then there's like a long uh, quest line to it. But I really do enjoy the RNR quest line. The Sumeru lore. But then for this one, it's like there's so many breadcrumbs scattered around. And then I just love the fact that like even before I was so like shell-shocked realizing there was like a connection. Like, yo. Oh god, but then there's like also active events right now. 15 days. I know the pushing event is active right now. And we're here! If we dive be uh, down below this entrance, we'll find the place where that scholar once hid the books. Okay, Paimon. Huh, but it looks like an ordinary pond. What sort of entrance are you talking about? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about because I remember using Elemental Sight. This thing glows and then there's like a... Like a hidden wall here. Kanotila. Ah, right. It is being hidden after all, so you won't be able to see. Huh. Just watch it then. Kanatilla takes out something that looks like a key, tracing the air along some unseen trail. There is a shell. Wait, I can unlock it right now? In the shallow pool before you suddenly becomes unfathom unfathomably deep. Kanatilla, well, here's the entrance now. Okay, Paimon. Paimon couldn't tell how you did that. Okay, Kanatilla, well, I can't quite explain it either, but while others can't see it, there are uh, uh, actually all sorts of fissures here. As long as I use my token to draw a line uh, across those fissures, I can do some incredible things. That said, I don't know why they only they are only present here. As such, I did a lot of research until I found that indecipherable book. It has much to do with me and my token, and I'm also certain that if I figure it out, I'll know why I'm special in this way. There's nothing wrong with being special. Kinatila, well then, that's enough of that. Let's go inside. I must find a way to understand that strange book. Yo, I'm excited for this. Hell yeah. So there's like, yeah, there's a, oh, God bless. Okay, is there, I'm assuming is there a Hydroculus? Yo, oh, wait. It's like those summoning circles around the upper area. I remember, I remember, yeah, because I, I was like, okay, these, this is a very sussy summoning circle. So it's like, it's connected to this. Because I do remember like uh, when I was hunting chests, uh, these ones, of course, also have like a uh, chest if you manage to beat up all the enemies. This part of the island is so lore heavy. Huh, so you can't understand it all either, after all. I reckon we should look more closely, but yeah, I'm, not, I'm just gonna say not a single word. Paimon, maybe there's some kind of cipher. Take a closer look. You stare at the runes on the page for some time. The runes slowly start to disintegrate and they reassemble themselves, becoming new words. At the same time, your surroundings seem to recede and you arrive in a strange new place. Wait, what? Okay, I see. This is a world where even sweet flowers and mint cannot grow. Can you see it too? You turn around to look for the source of the voice, but you are suddenly awakened. Looking back at the book, it looks just like it did originally, as though nothing happened. Paimon, so did you discover anything, Sub? 
It was like I entered a strange place. I think I saw the runes dissolving and then reconstructing themselves. Paimon, that's weird. Did you just stare too intensely or something? Okay, Kanotila. I knew you'd be able to see it too. Okay, Paimon. Huh? Have you had the same experience, Kanotila? Is this what you mean by meditating? Kanotila, yes. Though I cannot understand a single word in the book, I get a strange feeling from looking at it for so I mean for long enough. It feels as though you've been transported to another world and then you can start to understand the book's contents. But as soon as you awake, you're back to being unable to comprehend it. So it's only okay, it's locked like it's only locked within that space. Then what have you seen before? Oh, wait just a moment. Tada! This is my notebook. I've written down everything I saw inside. Um, that said, I wrote it all down while I was meditating, and I was sort of in a trance, so... It might be a bit hard to understand. Paimon. God, why do I- why do I- why do I feel burpy right now? Is it because I'm too excited and then talk too fast? Okay, Paimon. Let Paimon see. Yep, this is really messy. Wow. But it says something about an alienness or something like that! Why is the camera being weird to me? Even when meditating, I can't make heads or tails of what comes before and after. Oh my god, why is wrong my game? As such, though I can understand just a little bit, I still don't know what it really is saying. If I'm not mistaken, however, the book is still missing a lot of content. Mm. The notebook does mention a few locations. Paimon. Ah, so you mean that these locations might be clues? Hikanotila. Locations? Yes. The names of locations are written between important sections. Could it be trying to tell us where critical parts of the texts are hidden? I mean, I've guessed as much in the past, but I've never left Elena, so... <gasps> it's our job to help her. Okay, in that case, uh, why did you stay here, Kanatilla? We'll go investigate the places in the notebook. Maybe we'll find the missing pieces. Wait, are they actually giving us, like, waypoints to, uh, to find those actual said pages? And besides, it's related to Elena, so there's no way we're going to ignore it. Okay, Kanatilla. Alright, in that case, I'm counting on you too. If you find anything, just bring it back. I'll be waiting here for you. <laughs> Mom, maybe it's because your icon itself is shaking and now you're busy on your life. <laughs> Bro, don't. I'm nauseated right now, please. Esoteric revelations. Wait, oh my god, which one should we do? Wait, I don't think I have enough pages. Okay, let me check. Yeah, I only have like one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I don't have seven, nine, eleven. How many? Does it have thirteen or something? Oh, there's a chest. Pick that later on. <gasps> Are you kidding me? God, what do I feel like I just want to do? Okay. Yo, okay. But I don't remember. Where did I find this? Is this different from the ones in Inazuma? Wait, wait. I already did the ones in Inazuma, I think. Uh, yeah, but this... The ones down below, I assume is going to be... Yeah, all of this is like Fontaine stuff. Okay, strange part, I have six. So, I have... I don't have four... Seven, four, seven, ten. I mean, it's like a ominous summoning circle, so I'm assuming we're gonna need like 13 pages. What happens if I decipher the page? But God, what should I? But I feel like okay, I don't know, like the Esso, what's what's this called again? Esoteric revelations. Is this short? I feel like it's short. Oh, but you can get a gear. I mean, you can get a strange part. Oh, if I remember like page 10, you won't get until you're almost done with the entirety of the... Oh, okay. Thank you for that. So, I guess... Where do I find page 5 then? 3, uh, 4... Hey, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, skill issue. Skill issue with controller. I'm sorry. Okay, page 4, 5. Yeah, I don't have... 7... But I'm surprised I've gotten this much though. Not that bad. Okay, let me just talk to her. These two look like the missing pages from the book. Let's try putting one back in, shall we? Can I exit after this? Oh 
Oh God, but I do feel like if I have it in one go, it won't be a hassle and, and, and it won't leave me hanging. What if I... What if I Google the locations real quick? Oh, but you said the entirety... Oh yeah, the entire... Oh God. Because for me, I'm the type of like, I want to collect all the things first and then just like chug it in all at once. So I won't be like a... I won't be like getting blue ball from all the... From all the delicious information we're gonna get. All the delicious lore. So okay, I guess... Uh, I'll have to put a rain check on you, kind of Tila. So I'm gonna continue on with... Uh, Mamir's right now. I think it's only the first three pages will give you the gear. Oh! Wait, how many do you does she need though for the gear? Oh wait, now I'm getting lost. Return to Mimir. I have six. But okay, I guess we can chug more. Okay, never mind. Let's just do this. Okay, but I do want to make a note because I already did. I mean, yeah, I know I'm streaming right now. Wait, where's my pencil? Oh. Yeah, let's just try insert so, uh, a few pages. So, okay, insert page. Because I do want to know what, what are the contents. I mean, we can't decipher it right now. And then we just need to concentrate and meditate on the book like before. The edges of the page gradually blur after a spell of dizziness. Yo, okay, hold up. Let me drink because I know I'm gonna be reading a lot. <sighs> Enigmatic page one. Read countless volumes here. It appears that these books were left behind by an ancient order. Kingdoms rise and fall, and when a civilization is annihilated, a new one will be born after from the ashes, which these books refer to as Fortuna. Hmm. It's somewhat rudimentary, but re uh, theoretically at least, it bears striking resemblance to the computational scheme I have formulated and termed world formula. All the records are blurred with age, but were I able to quantify them to some extent, they could be used uh, in my world formula calculations. Uh, no matter how many times I derive it, the results remain the same, though this result is not expected. Unlike the world depicted in these ancient texts, uh, texts. There will be no more new civilizations born. Unless we consider introducing variables from outside the system. Oh. If it was that sort of power, there might be a chance. I mean, yeah, I gotta try something else. Here I found the magical techniques left behind by the Golden Troop. Wait, as in the Golden Troop artifact? They seem to be referred by referred to by various names. I'll go with this one uh, for now. Based on my interpretation, it appears to be known as the seal of uh, chemical marriage and consists of two parts. However, it has been weathered too much to decipher any more information. Interestingly, I have encountered similar symbols in documents from the Narzissan Cruise Institute archives. They look complicated, yet the underlying principles are quite clear. The records prove accurate, there are some key locations within the realm remaining. Related records may be found uh, elsewhere as well. I should record my findings here for now as they may prove useful in the future. Golden troop, huh? Wow, this time even Paimon could start to understand. Seems like the confusion was all due to the pages that were missing before, huh? Awesome, let's put more. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can we read those notes again? Like the ones we can decipher? Okay, as you start meditating again, you once more attempt to understand the page's contents. The edges of the page blur and the incomprehensible shapes that line it leap forth as if mounted on a pop-up book. Yet before you can make sense of what is happening, there is a rush of noise all around you. And you return to the world as is. Oh, you can. Thank god, I thought it was like a one-time thing. Oh, okay, no, no diagram this time. Okay, number two. The pollution of the land and water wrought by the giant beast Elena seems to have been mostly purified and, and diluted. However, when it comes to Elinas itself, even the adults seem to be at a total loss. They were simply cordon of the surrounding area. Nevertheless, it was quite easy to sneak in. It felt rather strange slipping into the creature's mouth. And it reminded me of events from some of the stories I once read. What? Though I have no substantive evidence, I still sent some sort of will from it. Jacob did too? 
There were no signs of decay in the flesh. Instead, its body was hardening and is forming a protective membrane. Given its current immobilized state, it looked like a self-defense mechanism to safeguard its, its internal organs. But it does make sense. With such a wellspring of vitality, if my deduction is correct, it may also be used to enhance Jacob's strength by following the same principle. Yo, what the hell is Jacob? Is he like an experiment or something? However, at this stage, there's no need to subject Jacob to such risks. Because even before, that, that report from before, like mentioning like Jacob's like a... Like something different happened to him or something? There's a change in him? I should get uh, safe experimental data first through the Institute of Natural Philosophy and then set specific research objectives. Although, as Jacob mentioned, this may waste a lot of precious time. Enhances his strength. After all, the flesh of Elena's remains toxic. What? That's why you want those... Those ores? I mean, uh, what, what should I call them? Not gunk. Uh, what? What? Uh, what should I call them? Jacob has returned. He's quite brave, but also an idiot. He didn't give any thought to the possible consequences. Before, they said like before young Jacob was like weak or something, right? Okay, we have no one else to rely on. If he... The data we've collected is still incomplete. Jacob had minor adverse reactions, primarily, primarily vomiting. He recovered quickly and hasn't shown other symptoms in the short term. His mental status and physical status remain stable. It's only possible because Jacob completely trusts me. Who is this? Okay, but he recovered quickly and has... Okay. Uh... Oh, it's only possible because... Okay. Our lives are limited. I was like, who wrote this? Is it Elaine or something? Okay, our lives are limited. Still, even if it's just for the future, we must find a way to get allies, get stronger, and prevent disaster. Oh, oh. Elaine. Okay, so this is not Elaine. Elaine has enrolled in the Institute of Natural Philosophy. He should fit right with his sharp mind. I brought the pocket watch he gave us and we compared the time only to find there was already a significant discrepancy. We agreed to meet at the Institute. The brightest minds of Fontaine are gathered here and we can expect to make huge progress as much as we needed help. Mary Ann! As for Mary Ann, just the sight of her fills me joy. We had a long discussion about the Narcissan Cruise Institute, but Jacob was crying through most of it. I didn't tell him about Jacob. It's because Uncle Guillotine, who was with them, is part of the Mason Guardianage. Guardianage? Although he seems to be treating Elaine and Mary Ann very well, he still can't be trusted. After all, mother, uh, father and mother, it was all the doing of their lackeys and goons. You can paint. Oh my god, Dio, what the hell is this? Do I wanna- No, I don't wanna call it them- I, Chunks, not chunks. I don't know, I, wa I wanna call them goop, but that sounds stupid. I wanna take this seriously. Aura, I guess, aura. Or life source. Spectres. Whichever. I feel like I wanna read all of the enigmatic pages now. Yeah, but the author's intended meaning is still a total mystery. We'll just have to put this last page in and see what we get. Oh! They just chuck it in? Okay, the tests on Jacob's strength continue. What the hell are they doing with Jacob? As before, the flesh and blood... I know I'm missing something big. As before, the flesh and blood of the great beast Elena's is being used as nutrition! <gasps> They're trying to use like the power of the beyond. Jacob seems to have gotten used to it. Yo, is he not human? So there's nothing to worry about anymore. Thus, the adverse reactions observed before may have just been caused by Jacob's feelings of disgust. Is he not human anymore? It's a relief to know that his physical condition has been harmed. Why is he the one? Jacob still eats, but only out of habit and no longer as necessity for survival. What? Yeah, even like the way he talks to it, it's so weird. I don't know, it's like, yeah, kind of like polite, but it's just like, I don't know, so robotic or something. Are you like Albedo or something? But I suppose it's like a good thing because eating together is nice. It suddenly occurred to me that jam was somewhat familiar, uh, somewhat, uh, it just occurred to me that jam was somewhat similar to the flesh and blood of Elena, so I made a joke about it. Jacob seemed quite uncomfortable. 
is he subjected to like this weird experimentation just like yeah in vo- using blood of Elinas the results have improved significantly in comparison to previous tests perhaps more can be done then the next step would be to attempt the opening of a passage like holy shit if they do this to Fontaine imagine like the the land of the I I don't know would, would, did they call Natalie like the the origins of dragons or such land of the dragons Okay, the passage was opened successfully, though it only lasted a short while. During this time, many black monsters that were shaped like dogs emerged. <gasps> Riff hounds! They were very aggressive. Abyss. Okay, okay, abyss. Aggressive and terrifying, but thank goodness Jacob was there. Though he was so scared, he was crying. He still managed to wipe them out. This is like so weird. He has like a double personality or something. Like his humanity is there, but at the same time, something else. These monsters are identical to those we discovered during our desert expedition. Yeah, the other hounds. That one area that we uh, make make it bloom again. Swift Sorosh. Okay, however, those were salt, gray, stiff, and immobile at the time, so it was relatively safe. Wait, those were salt gray. Is it like the one back in the desert then? Like before we activated the thing? When they were still like frozen solid? Looking gray? I'm certain their properties are nearly identical to those of Elena's. The Canrayans men- records mention passages appearing in large numbers and the numerous dangerous monsters that look like dogs emerging from them. It's very likely that they are the same type. It can be safely pospi- uh, postulated that the location these passages link to is full of these monsters. Oh, beastly riffs. Does these hounds may be called riff hounds? Oh, the name drops. Oh, the name drops. Oh my god. Put into a trance. Oh man. Yeah, for real. I am in a trance right now. No matter how many times I run the calculations, the results are the same. Is this like his uh, recorded monologues? After a few hundred years, or all the breathing waters of the world will dry up. And a few hundred years after that, the world will become as it appears now before us. This is quite the predicament. Hey, come on now. Don't cry. Wait, is he talking to Jacob? There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm here, aren't I? Don't you trust me? Also, Alin and the others will definitely uh, help. Also, I bet you'll definitely be able to survive in this world. You're special. Oh, he is talking to Jacob. This someone is talking to Jacob. I know, I know. You're worried that constitution of others is different from yours. That's reasonable. Well, that's why we need to continue researching the things left behind by the golden troop. I need to read the golden troop artifact. Perhaps we'll discover something new possibilities. We'll go back to the Narcissan Cruise, uh, Narcissan Cruise Institute together and take a look, okay? The voice drifts away again. After what feels like a long time, though, in this world, time seems no longer measure changes in matter. You hear the voice once more. It looks like he won't help us anymore. You're the only one I can rely on now. What, Elaine? Hey, come on. Don't be like that. I'm sad too, but I won't cry after the fat lady sings. Moreover... We still have to find a way to cure him. What? Don't be scared. It, it'll, go, it'll all go smoothly. There are already lots of people willing to listen to us. If we want to persuade them further, besides uh, re- belief, we all, we'll also need ceremony. Uh, okay. As for the name, we'll call it the Book of Revealing and put it in the form of a book. We'll use our secret cipher to write it, but everyone only sees the world that their cognitive framework allows them to see. Yes, but Melusines see different things! Okay, but using this method, we can share the visions we have uh, foreseen with others. Oh, I have been lurking. Oh, I gotta go and see you next time. Oh, yeah, thank you. I mean, thank you for chilling. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. But okay. Just as you begin to listen closely to what the voice is saying, it begins to gradually fade away. Okay, he's still the same. You wake again. Are you okay, sub? Was that an earthquake just now? Earthquake? What earthquake? Nothing happened here. Uh, Pema did get a little dizzy, but you look like you faint. You didn't wind up in some mysterious space again, did you? Oh, Paimon. You would know. Just what's going on with this weird space anyway? And if you think about it, it's pretty dangerous too. What if you go in and can't, back, can't get back out? So, just what did you encounter inside? I seem to have heard a, prof- a prophecy that someone made. Huh? Did someone say anything in there? And, and it was some kind of prophecy? That's real creepy. And interesting. Hi, Mon. Hmm. If you say- if you- if what you say is true... 
then this was actually a book of prophecies, wasn't it? But why did uh oh god I'm sorry I'm just like I feel so brippy right now and I hate it I want is it because I'm too excited as I said reading too much talking too fast But why make the format so complicated if the author didn't want people to understand it would it have been better to not write it at all But I guess he just wants to like uh, yeah I just want to do like uh, personal anecdotes I guess personal records Kanatila actually I've also heard all kinds of sounds while I was meditating but they were just the songs of birds and flowers. I didn't know anything about the prophecy you spoke of. It seems we must enter that space again to understand what is going on. If we meditate together this time, we should be able to enter it. But I don't have the fifth page! Paimon. Paimon's still worried. Wait, Paimon wants to come too. No way she's gonna stay here alone. Oh, man, it just goes on. Okay, once again, you focus upon meditating. And the furrer, uh, furrer sounding, uh, you, uh, I mean furor surrounding you fades the world grows silent then you hear the tiniest of sounds and, and a feeling that is wrath or perhaps grief wells up within your chest your very soul feels drawn to this mysterious sound and as you follow that sound a whole world utterly alien supremely familiar races to meet you what oceanids what Excuse me, what? This looks like some kind of dreamscape. This must be uh, this must be the strange but I'm just like so shook I can't even impersonate Paimon. For real. This must be the strange place you were talking about before. It's much more vivid than before. Paimon, did the author of the book really create this place? And they had such a big space inside it too. Uh, well, Paimon doesn't know how they did it, but this place looks like a ruin. It is. It has that Enkanomiya vibe. The chasm vibe. Okay, Paimon. Also, we meditated with Kanatila to get here, but we're the only two people around right now. She didn't fall somewhere, did she? Oh no. Things could get bad if she winds up in danger. Let's go find her. Hurry! Oh, good luck, Bap. Wolf. Good luck. Giving you all my luck. But, yo, can I not come back to this place? This feels like a one-time thing. <gasps> the tear! This is like... This is like what happened in Burukasha Oasis. That rift. Yo. Yo. Get to Nigi Hollow. Oh, God. Yo, oh god, man. Oh, I'm, I am eating so good right now with the lore, but I feel like... I should take a picture, though. I should. What is this, man? What is this? Can I come back here, Dia? I don't know if you're still watching. This is so cool. Okay, wait, let me go to the side. Oh, congrats! Congrats, Black Wolf! Yeah, sorry. I'm just like so invested by all of this right now. Like, what the hell, Fontaine? What the hell? Oh, wait, no. Not this. Oh, you can? <gasps> Some things do change a bit the more you add the pages, though. Ooh! Oh, I should take, take pics then. For real, for real. Man, I am so excited today when we can finally go to Kenrea or something. Like that door. How dare they tease us. Oh, oh yeah, of course you can come back. There's a chest. You can get stuff from here. Like, I swear to God. If somehow we can enter Kenrea through that, that ominous door in Sumeru. Yo. Man, I still appreciate, like, I don't know, man. Genshin is something else. Genshin is hella something else. Yes, there, there are some flaws, but if it turns off, like, this type of thing that they're doing, really working hard on the world's lore, it's so crazy. But okay, um, is it safe for me to, like, uh... 
There's a there's even a challenge. Wait. Okay, need to find a waypoint then. Which is there? What? Oh wait, oh Mami <laughs> Oh wait, I was confused. Okay. Uh yeah, because I activated this one. Oh I'm I'm stupid. I was like, wait, Mamir. No, we're like with a... Uh... God, it's so hard to say the name. Wait, no, not my mirror. No. Uh, some soft frame potion. Fa, 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 fa. Where's the enigmatic page one? Constant. Oh my god. No, no, that's the flower girl. Guys, I'm so bad with names. I'm sorry. Yeah, Canutila. Yo, do not. Oh god, I see them. I see them. Thank god I have Baiju. Imagine if I don't have Baiju. Maybe she's eager to see like she has answers right now. She's falling. She's just excited. Too excited to see. Uh, want to see the truth. The answers. Oh, thank you for the drops. Thank you, thank you. Where the hell was my... Oh my god, it's at the bottom because for... Yeah, it's so weird that this one is like super important. Uh, the one with Mimir. But then this one is like a sub... Like a sub quest right now. Kanatila. Okay, maybe I should take a pick. Okay, let me remove the, the waypoint. Since Dia says it's gonna change. Yes, I know, Gabe. I know what I'm doing. Oh, this view is so cool. Hell yeah, let's go. Yeah, too bad, like, the, the bottom half is, like, uh... The pavement is like clearly blocking. I can't zoom out that much or else it's gonna look weird. Yeah, like I love fish eye, but if it's like so over the top, uh no thanks. But okay, um hello Esoteric Revelations. Can we Yo Kanatila, no! Come back! Witchy! Please give me a waypoint. Oh, I don't feel like... No, no, no. I don't linger with you guys. No, 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 I'm just gonna yeet by. Oh! Um! Go back to where you came from, hello! Oh, what if I bamboo zoom back? No, 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 I don't wanna. I don't, I don't have time for you. No, thank you, no, thank you. Oh, now you're not following me? Oh, okay, 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 bye. I'm just gonna run immediately. No wanna linger. Bye, bye, bye. <gasps> Oh my god, oh god, I, I hate you, bye. Go back. Go back! Yo, Ankonomia! Building! Kenrya building! Yo, this is so weird. So, I don't know, I guess it's safe to assume this is like Kenrayan remains ruins, right? Oh. Huh? Weird. Where... Uh, I mean, where'd Kanatila go? She was just here moments ago. Wait, there's something on the ground. Pick it up and take a look. 
you picked up a page from a book. Wait, is it? Oh, oh god, I thought it was like, oh, is it an animatic page? Okay, see that? That's the conclusion of the world formula arrived at after countless calculations. The scene we first saw. Wait, does that mean they're like Doctor Strange? They they saw like possible futures? Oh, the destruction after the cataclysm. In this world, we're not even a sweet flower or a mint. That is the end of all things. Do you believe it at last? Whether you have arrived at this place via the Book of Revealing or the Looking Glass? Lend me your strength that we may avoid this future. Just as I said, the only way. What? What? Is this... Is this page the same as the ones we found before? How did it end up here? Let Paimon see. It's easily readable. Is it because we're in this strange space? Cataclysm? Destruction? Some kind of apocalypse? What? Even if Paimon can read the words, it still doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it, this appears to be a prophecy. Huh. So it's as we guessed previously. So does this mean that this is the future the author wants us to see? A world where even sweet flowers and mints won't grow? Ugh, that's a terrible place no matter how you slice it. Uh, yeah, like a void. If that really is the future, shouldn't the author tell everyone about it and find a solution? Why make a place like this? This is also like Kingdom Hearts vibes. Just saying. Just saying. Master of Masters, Lu Shu. This is Kingdom Hearts... Kingdom Hearts vibes for real, for real. What's in the freaking box? Okay, maybe this is the only way everyone will believe it. Or maybe he has his own considerations. He also mentioned some kind of looking glass. Seems like there's like there are other ways to get in there. <gasps> does that mean does that mean Anna Pauses? Mary Ann. Oh my god. Oh my head. Paimon. Still, Paimon doesn't think any of this will be much of help in answering Kanatila's questions. Ah, oh, forget it. Who cares about some dumb prophecy? Paimon. Do you want to live in a world where there's no sweet flowers and mints? Did you say you didn't want to live in that type of world? You better take back your words. Okay, the important thing is uh, to find Kanatila. Let's keep looking. Man, I was hoping there was like an enigmatic page. Wait, hold up. Before we cooking, before we cook any further, let me check. Uh, like, bro, are you kidding me? Where's the golden troop? Wait, did I miss it? Where's the golden troop? Oh, I did miss it. Uh, I guess it's just like... Oh, there you are. Oh, I mean... Oh, square. Oh my god, I was an idiot. I was an idiot. Okay, let's try and read this one first. A small flower-shaped insignia. There seemed to be music coming from it. Among the members of the troop was a charismatic swordsman. Beautiful as the light on water, elegant as the chirping lark. Her every slash hummed a tune of the wind. The end of each song and dance was like the sun after the rain. Wait! There will come soft rains. Oh wait, golden troop, what? <laughs> ah. Oh wait, there's a portal now, oh. Wait, what? I thought it was the artifact, what? Wow, I just like, I, w I got built up over nothing. I was so... <laughs> uh. Wait, which one was it again? Wow, well, I look like an idiot right now. 
corner is true. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I was, I was crazy for no reason. I was crazy for no reason. That was stupid. <laughs> Reading the wonder is true instead of wolf. <laughs> Call the truth. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Uh, okay, my brain was just went overdrive. I guess too excited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was too excited. Although... This one is related to Nars, right? I don't remember... I rem Wait, did you mention about this idea? This one artifact in Sumeru? Yeah, Mauritius Phantom. Mm, it made you read this before, yeah. Hmm. Man, do I want to read it again? Just like a refresher. I mean, since it's related to the Narcissus one. Oh. Okay, but in the end... But in the end... I said, oh yeah, sorry, I was like... Our cats. Our cats are doing something! I was distracted. Okay. Uh... It was not that the dragon defeated the hero, but rather that they both become lost in the world. Does the dragon mean Elena's? Wait, the director and her sisters set out on a journey. Wait, even wasn't there notes saying the director or something as well? The nurses and champions and many knights, evil dragons and virtuous sages were scattered. Many years would pass after death, some would prevent future tales. Okay, uh... Yeah, sorry, I'm just like, uh... Breezing through. Hold up. I'm just like... My brain is like... The structure of the so-called sacred lotus is similar to the composition of mine and Jacob's bodies. No common properties. And where's that one? Oh yeah, I told him that the vice director uh, said she would definitely return. So that artifact is just like a story, like a kid's storybook version of it. Man, my brain right now. Holy shit. Even I was like going De Lulu with that one. <laughs> Wondrous true part of that. <laughs> that was so stupid. But yo, okay, let's just, yeah, let's just move on. I was just like, I was trying to act smart, I guess, but then it backfired in my face. But damn, all these lores, they're feeding me. They're feeding me so well during this Ramadan uh, month. Okay, let's just go. Yeah, why? How is she phasing through all of this? Um, wait, where are we going? Are we going back outside? <gasps> oh, wait, does this have a waypoint? Or I guess we can only enter it through the book. <clears throat> it's because of the pocket watch. Uh, we got during Ans. Uh, uh, yeah, Ans World Quest. Right, they also mentioned that this one it was like pocket watch. That pocket watch. This pocket watch, right? TikTok and Discovery cannot be opened. God, it's so crazy how it's all connected. Damn man, it's so Huh? D doggo? Is it Mori? God, I'm, I'm gonna freeze right now. That feather too, yeah. It's part of the artifact set. Gap infiltrating alien. What? Rina, go help.
Man, my brain is just like going overdrive right now. Hey, man. No sign of Kanatilla or where she's gone. There's only this fellow here. Hey, man. That said, it doesn't seem to want to attack us anymore. That's the first for a riff hound, huh? It looks like it wants to. It wants to say something to us. But we can understand it anyway. We shouldn't get too close, just in case. Wait, is Paimon seeing things? What? What's an ordinary dog, little doggy doing here? Where'd that rip hound go? It shifted. Take a look. Is there something wrong with Paimon's eyes? Anything can happen in a dream. To go to that passage over there? Judging from its reaction, Paimon guessed right. Okay, who knows where that's gonna lead, but we weren't able to find Kanatila anywhere, so maybe they, uh, she did lead via that way. And it looks like there's no other route we can take, so let's just try it out and see what happens. Oh my god. Yeah, she was here. She was chilling with the doggo. Okay, where else? Where do we go? I cannot see... Oh, a different uh, space. Oh, wait, are we outside? Oh, I was about to say. Huh, we came right back. Or maybe we never even left. Oh, you had the same reactions as I did, Paimon. Okay, Kanatilla. Kanatilla, we were looking all over for you. Paimon kept calling you out for you, but you never responded. That place was so dangerous, but you just ran around all over the place. But I bet she sees different things. Dangerous? The place we entered were so serene and peaceful, like a beautiful garden. Paimon. Huh? But all we saw was rubble. Is it the Nicest and Cruise Institute? Okay, Kanatilla. That's odd. I kept looking for you two back in that previous space, but there were big trees and flowers everywhere, so I got lost. <gasps> Is it that place? With Marianne? Fortunately, I followed the sound of a bird, then found a golden butterfly, which brought me up to the top of the garden. Golden butterfly? What about the Rift Hound? We saw you in that. And a Rift Hound! Alright. Oh, that Rift Hound even turned into a dog. Is it Mori? Paimon. Ugh. Now it feels like Paimon is just talking nonsense. Kanatila. I saw a little dog too. On top of the garden, there was a cute little dog that nodded at me and helped open the way up for me. I thought you both had gone somewhere. Oh, that's what she... Oh, so that's why she wasn't there because she was already went... She already went out while we were like, uh... Just on the way to meet up with her. And I didn't... I didn't need to worry, so I just came back here. And you, what did you discover? We found another page. Hey, Paimon. Right, we found this inside, though we don't know if it might be useful. It also looks like a page from this book. Is it page 5? You open the page you find, you show it to Kanatilla. A butterfly. It's a golden butterfly. A butterfly. Huh? What are you talking about? She just said it before, Paimon. I can see golden butterflies flying up from the page. It's like the one I saw in the space before. Paimon. Ugh. Never mind solving anything. We've got even more problems on our hands now. Seems like you really did see something completely different in that space. I mean, yeah, she already established it. Huh. If that space is the future predicted by the author, then why did you see a garden? Just thinking about that makes uh, make Paimon's head hurt. Kanatilla. But I was very happy inside. I didn't even think about those questions. Maybe that's what the book was trying to tell me all along. What? Don't worry. Even if we perceive different, uh, even if we perceive differently, if we can communicate our feelings to one another, maybe the essence of things doesn't matter all that much after all. Paimon. Uh, Paimon wouldn't say that we had a great time in there, but if you figure it out. Uh, things, uh, I mean, if you figure things out for yourself, good on you. Still, that place is pretty sketchy, and we don't have yet any clues at, as to what's up with that prophecy either. Kanatila, speaking of the prophecy, this book makes it sound really scary, sure, but what if the things I saw were the real future? After all, such things are, aren't set in stone, in, uh, are they? But that's the scary part. We don't know the probability if it's like a, if it's like a good future or a bad future. And since the book mentions other ways to enter that space, we may be able to figure this book and this prophecy out if we find them. And then maybe we can meet there again in that space. Okay, Paimon. Uh, it might be better if we just meet in reality. Also, Kanatilla, don't go running around in the space anymore. Oh. 
So we're done with that. Oh yeah, like you said, Dia. Three. So one part. Read. Oh, so meditate, that means we go there, right? I see, okay. Man, oh god, now I have another commitment to find all of the en enigmatic pages. Oh, get out of here, Godwin's letter. I thought it was like the, the new ones, okay. Uh. Oh yeah, I don't have number four. Man, where's number four? And then 13, I guess, assuming. Let me talk to Kanatilla first. Since memories can be made into books, if we reverse the logic, books can also be written directly into memories. Oh. Now, what is it? Is there something you'd like to ask? How about the book of revealing? Hmm, no matter how I think about this, converting memories into books is quite the incredible deed. Hmm. The creator of this book must have only been able to do this because they viewed the emotions in their memories as the most precious thing in the world. That doesn't change how difficult its contents are to parse, though. Okay, what about... Oh yeah, new page. I guess never mind that one. Oh, yeah, not really. Uh -huh, if you ever feel sad, come over here. Let's meditate together. Maybe they'll help cheer you up. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Like, just like cut off from everything. Just like, take a few minutes just to... Yeah, focus on myself and such. But okay, I guess, yeah, for this one, let's just put a pause. I mean, we are technically done with the esoteric one. So yeah, let's just continue on in helping uh, my mayor right now. So yeah, I don't know how much, how many does she wants, but let's just like talk to her since the game is just like... Basically, just like, yeah, go to my mirror right now. Okay, at least I'm satisfied that the other area is already open. Yeah, sorry, Mamir. Getting caught up with some lore feeding, which is very, very fulfilling to me. So now, time to help you and see more. Hey, Paimon. Mamir, we've collected a whole bunch of components. Will these do? Mamir, you've collected so many in such a short time! Amazing! Okay, guess that's what I should have expected from outliners who've experienced lots of things and met, lot, uh, and met lots of people. Paimon, <laughs> we've done this sort of thing lots of time after all. Uh, that said, how are you gonna use these components to fix Seymour? Mamir, don't worry, just leave it to me. I was about to say like, because father told you. Okay, things will be alright, just like father said. What if you use the true sight? Okay, she opens the immobile robot dog uh, up along the slit in his back in a manner it'll be fitting of repairs. Then she stuffs the scattered components on the ground into the dog seemingly without looking, as one might when well practiced at one's job. With that done, she takes out a strange mechanical component from her pocket. It resembles an in intricately packaged candy with some indecipherable runes. Indecipherable runes? She embeds this into the gear on the dog's head, and with a clack, they come together. Components of unknown purpose skitter across the ground. She picks them all up. Uh, they are as valuable as Mora in this place, after all. Yeah, their currency. Paimon, will this really wor work? It might just be Paimon's imagination, but it feels like more components dropped than we collected in the first place. Paimon, on that note, the thing you pulled out a moment ago seems kind of different from those components. Yeah, where did you get that? Mamir, well, uh, this is not a component, it's a token. Paimon, a token? Mamir, that's right, it was something we were all born with. Father said if we put this in it, in it, uh, in as well, we'd be able to cure Seymour. What? You were born with it? Does that mean... Actually, Paimon's not sure how Melisins are born in the first place. Oh, pray tell. I'm not sure either, but now that I'm considering it, but in my first memories, I had the token with me. That's how it is for everyone. Then isn't it something really valuable to you? Yes, tokens are very important to us. They're different from ordinary components. They were the first memento we received when we arrived in this beautiful world. They are proof that we are alive. Then, if you do that, what's gonna happen to you? Paimon. 
If that's the case, why did she just use it like that? Well, I didn't throw it away or anything. Simon will be by my side, right? And he's this way because he tried to save me, so wait! No. A life for a life? No. No. Don't pull this, don't pull this stuff on me. Relay module detected. Environment check. Beep beep. Contamination levels high. Activating in safe mode. Beep beep. Hey, on. <gasps> Whoa! It suddenly, it suddenly moved! Seymour. Unidentified life forms detected. Related information entered. It is a pleasure to meet you, Miss Mamir and... There's Sub and Paimon. Hey, Seymour. You have entered this data previously. It is an honor to meet you, Miss Sub and Paimon. The adorable little one. Oh, I see. It was my honor to witness your elegant swordsmanship during the previous altercation. Miss, I am prototype for a CV07. You may call me Seymour. Set a code. Up till today for... I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Okay, clockwork cycle. Uh, my functions were in hibernation, awaiting their awakening by my master, such that I may continue fulfilling my assignment. I mean, Jacob did say this is Elaine's invention. Huh? Hibernation? Can you talk normally before though? Seymour. By air quotes normal speech, you refer to my pre-configured automated responses, yes? Amir. Huh? Oh no. Your observation is most sharp, almost comparable to that of my master. Previously, when you would bring my arti artificed clockwork relay module nearby, Miss Mamir, my main voice unit would be automatically triggered. An artificed clockwork relay module. Are you referring to her token? I apologize, but I cannot answer your question. I do not understand the meaning of its of this token you refer to. As such, I can make no judgment as to any relationship between this token and said arti artifice relay module. Regardless, while hibernating, I would automatically play preset responses to specific situations to ensure that my voice over units would work properly once energy supply was restored. So, the things you said to... Mamir? Paimon, huh? In other words, you were just playing fixed lines before? Is that what you mean? Affirmative. Your understanding is completely correct. Paimon as befits your elegance and wisdom. A large amount of energy is required to operate my natural language processing unit. My logic unit actively shuts it off when power supply cannot be guaranteed so as to prevent complete loss of my functionality. But that means... Ooh, oh no! I was in denial, okay, so... Preset dialogues. Betrayal. Betrayed. So... Those weren't genuine? So all the things you said to me before were just pre-written? Seymour, affirmative. Your understanding is correct, Miss Mamir. During my previous hibernation, our interactions were all performed through the playback of pre-recorded voice assets. What? Mamir! Mamir! She doesn't... Why did she show this over? I... Oh no... However, my visual information processing modules were not shut off. So I do have the paintings you displayed in my memory unit. I can recognize more than 103,905 different styles of art, but your work does not match any of them. What? What? As such, I can reasonably infer that your art has unprecedented artistic value. I did not mention this before using my preset voice asset, so consider this appended to any previous related comments. Really? Affirmative.
Oh my god, man. Okay, Paiwan. You see? The only reason people don't understand your art is because your style is too new and unique. So don't worry about it. They'll get in... Uh, they'll get it in the future for sure. My brain just like... Uh. Thank you, Seymour Paimon. I was afraid that... God. God, like, because like, oh, there was like, those were like... Those were like preset lines. And then I'm like, wait, so those were lies before? <sighs> Got me on the first half, not gonna lie. See, even Seymour says so. You gotta believe in yourself and believe in us too. We understand your paintings and they are truly beautiful. Seymour, in that case, thank you for all your help for... Uh, I mean, in restoring my lost relay module. This way, I will be able to better fulfill my mission. Protect my master. Hey, Paimon, my master? You mean Mimir? Is that why you suddenly activated to protect her when she was in danger? Uh oh Negative. I am infinitely grateful to her for taking care of me during my hibernation. However, she is not my master. My master is... What? Elaine? Is? Oh, of course they're gonna blow balls like this. Oh, I hate it so much. I apologize. Some of my memories have suffered light damage. Inference caused by previous damage. Unable to locate data related to master. Reason for previous emergency activation is unknown. That should not have happened. I must schedule logic unit maintenance. Himamir, well, why don't we have something to eat, Seymour? You've never eaten anything before. Maybe you'll figure something out once you have had your fill. Okay, Paimon. Uh, not every problem can be solved by eating, you know. Just most of them. I don't even have like a... Like a counter for Paimon's comment. I was about to say like, hey, you always eat... You always want to eat all the time. Okay, Seymour. Estimated data, da uh, da data damage high. Attempting global search for relevant Im information. Searching last recorded segment. Failure, critical damage, uh, data damage. Search procedure has been forcefully terminated. Hi, Mon. Um, are you really okay? It feels like you're getting worse somehow. Seymour. Thank you for your concern, Miss Paima, but do not worry. I was merely running a self-diagnostic. I can confirm that everything is operating normal. <laughs> <gasps> Wait. I might be crazy. I just like realize something because we're like uh, around Elinas right now, right? <sighs> what if it's What if it's like a uh, like the father she mentioned? What if it's Oh god, what if it's the... What if it's Elias, I mean, like... His remains, like his spirit somehow around here. And then it's like trying to communicate with us. But then there's like an, a quake this time. I'm just like going overboard with the freaking theories. Like, I misread the freaking artifact. I thought like Wanderer's Room. Oh, okay, Wanderer's Room, Golden Room, wow, 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 whatever. Uh, but I'm just like... I don't know, man. Like, doing this quest like is like making my brain so hyperactive right now. I can't even. It was accompanied by a quake this time. See more warning. Extreme increase in environmental contamination detected. Prayer safety. Please leave this place to avoid irreversible damage. Paimon, what kind of contamina uh, contamination are you talking about? What's going on? <gasps> what? Is it the... Is it the Primus? Kimamir, stop, Paimon. Father says it's dangerous. Hurry! I'm on fa father again. What? What danger? What do you have to hurry and do? Imagine if Kanotila can somehow see this father. Can she? The mirror. Scattered millicenes. Danger. There's no time to explain. Please help. Okay, Paimon. Whatever the case, sub, Paimon has a real bad feeling about the uh, about the quake just now. Maybe it has something to do with that. What Mimir was talking about. Let's get going. Wait, I didn't check Golden Troop because I was like, <laughs> I was so embarrassed at myself, and then just like, okay, I want to embarrass myself further. Nothing but a hound. What? Okay, so wait, hold up. Let me check Golden Troop. Mm. 
Oh, wait. No, no materials. Uh, equipments? Is it? Uh... Oh, near the bottom, found an artifact. Okay. Oh, right! Oh my god, this is... Uh... This is for Rina's, right? What the hell was I thinking? Okay, thank you. So, let's go... What the... F oh, R2, L2. Okay, let's just start from the flower. Mm, okay. Okay, in the solemn silence of sea depths, the towering city of the glorious kingdom once stood. And there, like the sad ghost of a mighty ancient dream, there stands a faded golden castle. The majestic opera of that golden era has ended, and its harmonious, uh, harmonious united music no longer echoes. Upon the wreckage of ambition and betrayal, the people of bygone times built a realm anew. Woe, woe to the perfect order that has once again been trampled by barbarity. The weak and the ben uh, benighted have overtaken the empire's ancient lands. The spirits and the springs, the springs and the chevaliers. The ravings of children have replaced the epic poems. Slipshod ditties have supplanted music. The eternal majesty was ruined by a moment of God's king's madness, and the resurgent savages scorned its memory. Must great realms be reclaimed by savagery in the end? In the end, shall folly and ignorance prevail over civilian and reason? Upon the golden theater in that faded castle, thus did musicians who had lost their score cry lamentation for a past day would have never returned. And the silent famished golems uh, listen, waiting to hunt and devour the innocent souls. When the great golden symphony plays once more, the golden troop will receive the rightful rewards on, uh, to the true and loyal. When the perfect order separates humanity into master and servant, prosperity and beauty shall make the kingdom glorious once more. Ab abide until that day, abide until that day. When every member of the Golden Troop shall win the whole future as their prize, oh god, the prophecy. So the song of fate once, well, uh, once wound through the waterways, spreading the harmonious melody of civilization and order. Wherever the notes fell, brutality was replaced by enlightenment, and in the end, disordered primordial land had all but seemed completely transformed. The mighty sea wind crawled across and the rootless uh, water lilies floated along with it. In a tribal dwelling as short-lived as seagrass, a young musician met a warrior. Amidst the poems of conquest that are as many as the stars themselves, the song is not that noteworthy. But the waves bore witness to the friendship between the warriors and as foretold their end. So musician and warrior. The young musician, uh, the young musician had yet to be rid of the vulgar passions of the barbarians and became fast friends with the servant, one of the conquered. The servant's name no one remembers but in latter days, the moniker Cassiodor would become famous the world over. Later, the young warrior could follow the youthful musician to Golden Capitolium, the high city in the Golden Capital. There, they completed the rigorous courses and trials and were elevated by the Golden God King to become prideful masters. Pride blooms upon the breast of the civil, uh, citizens of the glorious kingdom as a flower. I mean, as a golden flower. No more poverty or savagery shall there be beneath the god king's sweeping gaze pride is the shield of the realm's honor and it is the spear tipped with auric radiance it defends the god king's unsurpassed authority only under the command of such authority can be and can order be born and where order reigns art and beauty can bloom free in the beautiful golden land weakness folly and savagery will never be accepted or be or defended such things may submit or be destroyed my friend, my brother, do not hanker for that impoverished past and let not your mind linger on the false, lowly dignity of uh, those peoples of the bygone times. You have forsaken that simple body and feeble spirit and you have become as pure as steel. Why lament the little things so? My friend, my brother, listen to that unchanging melody, the clockwork rhythm of your innermost heart. Thus does the golden king whisper to you. The glorious kingdom has eyes only for the perfect world of the future, and this future will, for the people of bygone times, play the final song for their inevitable destruction. Damn, what Kanotila sees like those forests, at the, uh, like a castle and such. 
But then we see the ruins. God. Okay, when the sea breeze ebbed, the pink glow of dust suffused the skies. The seabirds never tarry where the thousand masts are anchored, leaving only scattered feathers in their wake. The once harmonious and magnificent symphony had its closing moment, just as no empire may rule in peace forever. As the waters expanded, power brought not only progress and order, but arrogance and violence and exploitation also. Hmm. In the, distance, uh, in, this, in the distant city of the people of bygone times, in the valley of the hidden exiles, even at the foot of the Mount Capitolium, the noble musicians who tuned the strains and the armory of iron in glimmering mail came to take everything from the people. Those who were there, I mean those who were yet at Concord and the mighty who had yet to have a drop of water taken from them banded together, swearing to resist the last. It is as I feared, and it is as I mourn, my brother. While you sang on high, you should have heard the voices of my lowly also. Not all would willingly uh, see their homes and nature stolen from them. Not all can accept our melody. You once called them the people of bygone times, brother, but even those who pledge loyalty to the past have determination and dignity that cannot be lightly ignored. Yeah, some things can never change. We only thought to conquer and dominate others, but how could the glory of our radiant kingdom? Weakness, weakness, that craven compassion of yours darkens your mind. It has made your heart soft and it has become an exposed weak spot in your back. Should barbarism and ignorance yet linger in Fontaine, poisoning any of its waters, we shall exterminate them. Poisoning the water. If the savages should wish to join our majestic golden order, then we shall accept them, just as our glorious lord accepted us. But since Bane Dragon Scylla destroyed our towers and slaughtered our musicians, the envenomed feral tribes are no longer worth saving or accepting. And since they are unworthy... They must be purged from the soil and the waters, just as we purge pestilence and wildfires from the land. It was at this very moment that the Golden Era suddenly ceased, plunging down into ceaseless war and rebellion. The throne chamber was filled with cries of conquest and destruction, and the agony of the barbarian tribes and the Golden King awoke, startled. Okay, let me drink for a while. Yeah, super long text. Okay, three more to go. So first is Variation Shedding Prelude. The sea breeze at dawn, rapturous and free, sings this ancient hymn. Time flowed forward no longer, but returned to the past with the singer. Along the waters it flowed, passing the gilded domes of the glorious kingdom. On the soft summer wind, uh, it passed through the green ma manor ringed by towering walls. Whether aristoca uh, aristocrats in their light ships or barbarians brought as captives, all were intoxicated by the music of a beautiful age immersed in the memories. For this was the golden world of abundance, an era of righteous, glorious king. I came from a puny realm on a lone isle. I was born in a hut and I grew up in a village built of reeds and grass. When the warriors in their bright mail came to my home, they announced the new of con and the news of conquest. I was but a mere youth and I na naively followed these towering demigods to the capital. It was by dint of my agile fingers and bright voice that I evaded the fate of bondage. Only after the God King recognized me did I first witness the might of the civilization and order. Let my flesh and bone then be utterly changed. Let my name and tribe be forsaken. The world shall know only the name of Bothius. Bothius? And thus the child born of barbarism moved by the golden palace and became a servant of a majestic authority. Like one newborn, he worked to abandon the ancient savage customs and devoured new knowledge. All he did, he did to transform himself into a person of true honor and glory into a part of its great, uh, this great civilization. For nothing else did he toil, for this was the golden world of abundance, an era of righteous, glorious king and throne. Okay, hold up, let me drink again. Golden Knight's Bustle. Oh, okay. The peaceful sea surged, sending the ship sliding between the silent manor and the temple. Under the pale moonlight, the golden dome that had seemed so glorious in the daytime lost its luster. The god king awoke with a start from its majestic dream. The clear starlight had fled. Violence and yeah, he woke up startled, basically, right from before. Violence and estrangement form a darkness deeper than darkness. Okay, shrouding the great dome. In terror and remorse, he summoned to him his most loyal guards and most attuned musicians, and he gave them his final orders, intending to bring peace back to the fractured lands. Yet, just as the flood uh, unleashed cannot be held back, the deeply ingrained arrogance and prejudice could not be reversed in the night and crushed the harmosts and the rulers. 
All the noble sacrifices, all the unselfish plans, all fell to ruin at the hands of the wicked, and all came crashing down in the end. Was it the rubric enemies of the fell dragon prince? Or the god king determined to the last to save the empire? They were swept away by an inexor inexorable, inexorable storm. Even the luxurious palace and the jade green manor were consigned to destruction together. Without the gil uh, guiding golden song, the once noble people of the glorious kingdom transform into disfigured golems. Damn. Okay, when the final cacophony of the golden knight faded to calm, the harmos both years lay amidst the rubble. Only the rubble heard his in insinate mumblings and only the debris recorded uh, the scene of treachery. <laughs> Have I ever seen the word Bothia somewhere? In a moment of madness, he betrayed us all. Order will not easily change, nor will human regrets. So this one is the last one. The head. I mean the headpiece reward. In the solemn silence of the sea depths, the towering city of the glorious kingdom once stood. And there, like the sad ghost of a mighty ancient dream, there stands a faded golden castle. The majestic opera of that golden era has ended, and this harmonious united music no longer echoes. Upon the wreckage of ambition and betrayal, the people of bygone times built a new realm. Woe, woe to the perfect order, and that once again been trampled by the barbarity. The weak and the benighted have, have overtaken the empire's ancient lands. Uh, the springs and the springs and the springs and the uh, chevaliers. Wait, did I already read this one? I did. Wait, I read the, I read the freaking headpiece first. Mm. Cassidor Capitolium. One, two, three. Prelude. Wait, okay, uh... Wait, did I read this one? Wait, what? I read from the... Oh my god, stupid. I should have pressed R2, L2. Yeah, because I read from... Wow, now I am confused. Yeah, I did read this one, the Cassiodor, Pride Blooms. My friend, my brother, yeah. Wow. Wow, okay. Okay, let me just like read it then to the end. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway since I'm like binging all of this. Uh, okay. Started from his dream. Oh, wait, no, no, this is the, uh, this is the one. Woe to the perfect order the one, uh, that has once again been troubled by barbarity. The weak and the benighted have overtaken the empire's ancient lands. Okay, the spirits and the springs, the springs and the chevaliers. You already read this one. Mm, okay. Slipshot deities have supplanted music. The eternal majesty was ruined by the moment of the god, king's madness, and the resurgent savages scorn its memory. Must great realms be reclaimed by savagery in the end? In the end, shall folly and ignorance prevail over civilization and reason? Upon the Golden Theater is that faded castle, thus the musicians who had lost their score cry lamentation for a past that would never return, and the silent famished golems listen, waiting to hunt and devour the innocent souls. Yeah, when the great Golden Symphony plays once more, the Golden Troop will receive the rightful reward own to the royal... A true and ro uh, royal... A uh, loyal, my god! <laughs> okay, when the perfect order separates humanity into master and servant, prosperity and beauty shall make the kingdom glorious once more. But until that day, but until that day. I actually read from the headpiece first. That was weird. Variation. Shedding. Yeah, to be honest, at least this is also like the first time when I read the other artifact. Like, doesn't quite make sense to me yet. But then, if after all of this quest, like, uh, we're already done with all the world quests, and then I'm gonna be like, Oh, wait. Wait. But yeah, damn, golden troop. Like, you did that to yourself. 
Okay, all the melusine. Oh, yeah. Wait, so they must hear okay, never mind. I'm just I'm not I'm not gonna question I'm gonna question. I'm just gonna go where I needed to go. But yo man, yo. Yo. But also I feel like I need to calm down. Maybe after this after uh Mamir's quest, yeah. Finally can end the stream because there's like so much to to absorb right now. Like even my brain is like actually going overdrive right now. To the point I'm like, oh, yeah, my brain, <laughs> my brain need to take like uh need need to take like a uh, like some rest. Oh, okay. Wait, a very bright place. All oh, right, yeah. Wait, what? Is it because of the quake? So this place is open now? I didn't even see a chest. I didn't even see the chest. What? Oh, this is new. This one was like, wait, this... I, I don't think I've seen this, like, this area, this lighting before in this place. Nice, there's a waypoint now. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I do feel burpy. Maybe because I talk too much. Oh, this is like this is warm. Let me activate the waypoint first. Uh oh, nice. Oh, doggo! Let's take a picture. Yes, let's take a picture. Wait, where's Doggo? I wanna I wanna see more. Man, not gonna lie, the moment we see more was like a, oh, this is just like a pre-recorded uh voice asset, so yeah, I'm not actually telling the truth about your paintings and stuff. But then he told like uh, oh yeah. I mean I did like a uh, saw like couple thousands of uh, artworks but it's just that Mimir's one is like uh, undetected okay uh medicine inside let's go check sub yo melusi village is not safe oh my god um okay so many things what? Yo, this is oh oh hell no oh hell no this is like this is there's so many essence oh yeah essence is also a good word the red essence or pain <laughs> uh, pain but okay. Paimon, um, there really is nothing here. You sure this is the place? Mimir, it, it should be. Father couldn't be wrong. Paimon, still, Paimon didn't expect that Seymour could dive. He was built for it. Affirmative, I am equipped with the latest multi-use diving unit with which I may always accompany my master and those composed of pure water. The... Huh? Mimir, what are you doing here? Ah, <gasps> Kleisty. Paimon, whoa, where did you come from? Behind the rock. Kleisty, sorry. Did I scare you? Those monsters kind of just came jumping out of those glowing circles, so I hid in the cleft of the rocks. Paimon, it's all good as long as you're okay. Are you alone? Kleisty, no, there's a friend of mine who's been trapped over there. <gasps> no! Kleisty, that child's name is Puka. Tall one. Can I please ask you to help rescue her? Yeah, leave it to us. No, no worries. Paimon, yeah, let's go. You find the trap medicine. Yeah, stinky. I was about to say manta ray? Stingray? I wouldn't feel you wouldn't feel your tummy. Oh, it's okay. We're we're friends. Uh, yes? Yeah, I just wanna read out the dialogues. 
could get caught in seagrass. Let's find some way to get rid of the seagrass. Oh god. Oops. Oh, so close. Oh, okay, I thought those were the ones that you need to like hit them at the same time. Glasty, thank you, tall person. Thank you, good hearted specter. Man, I just called <laughs> I, I just called Paimon a specter earlier with Kanota uh, Kanotila. Okay, Paimon. Hang on a sec. We are calling a specter. Paimon's Paimon and this is up. Anyway, what was all that just now? Why are you two in a place like this? Puka. Oh, Puka is cute! Puka! I don't know what happened earlier either. The ground suddenly started to shake and those scary scary monsters started to show up. <gasps> Why is the Puka and I were here to pick up those beautiful stones. We've been here many times and this never happened. No we have ever seen those frightening creatures. So I've been wanting to ask this but why is Mamir here? Oh Mamir, Mamir brought us here. Glasty, huh? But how did you know we were here? Mamir, father told me. He told me that you were in danger and that I should ask Sab and Paimon to save you. Puka, father? Oh. You also just know about this. Ah, uh, I see. So it was father who asked you to come and save us. Thank you. Paimon. Ah, uh, so you know who father is, Glysty? Um, no. Oh yeah, she's only like playing along. Just don't want to be rude. Paimon. Huh? Glysty. Still, Mamir always talks to herself about how she's able to speak to father. I've always supposed that that's her imaginary friend. She's largely alone otherwise. Yeah, she she does, she does just don't, don't want to be rude. Puka, I don't know what's going on, but thank you all the same. Mamir, don't thank me. I didn't do anything. Father's the one who told me what to do. Hey, Seymour. My apologies interrupting Miss Mamir, Miss Puka. Considering our surroundings, I suggest that we leave this place post haste to avoid further attacks. Puka... <gasps> Another drug appeared. Wait, underwater? Glasty. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Underwater doggos? They would never. Okay. Calm down, Puka. This is the robotic dog Mamir picked up before, right? Glasty. Hmm. It couldn't move before, though. Though. Uh, I mean, it could move before, though. Could it? Seymour. A keen observation, Miss Glasty. Regardless, my logic circuits recommend that we not Larry. I mean, we. That we not Terry. Please allow me to escort you to a safe location. The contamination index here has exceeded the threshold of human tolerance. Contamination index? The the essence. Could that be related to the hallucinations I saw earlier? Okay, Puka. Uh, a safe place? So do, you, so do we just need to go back home? Paimon. Yep. Paimon doesn't know what Asimo means by this contamination index stuff, but we might get attacked again if we stay here. So let's get you all home first. Home safe first. Okay, Glysty. Got it. Thank you, Miss Paimon. You've, ha you've got a good heart. Paimon. <laughs> Alright, let's go! Oh god, what if it's... Man, this, this questline is, is driving me nuts. No cap. Oh, head to the... Oh. Oh, 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 I was... Oh, okay, I was supposed to go in further. Okay, my bad. Oh, at least we... At least I got the, the waypoints! Okay, at least... Okay, let me check my... Uh, my overall assessment. Oh, still, oh, yeah, it's still 84. Makes sense. Because it's not a statue. But at least, hey, got waypoints. Oh, I, I'm also tied up with the Court of Fontaine region. Nice, 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 nice. But okay, what is up with this? Purple. More abyss gunk. Contamination index. Ayo, what? What? Is this just like a... Oh! Oh, okay, no, 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 I'm gonna do this later. Okay, let's just go here. I was like... How could I not want to check that, that big shell? <laughs> Okay, no. More new location! Wait, does it go back to... <gasps> it does. Ah, 
Oh. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have taken that silly again. Let me. Can I go back? Well, I can't. Okay, damn. <laughs> oh, but this music, I love this. I was like, okay, hell nah, no, 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 silly this time. I'm gonna do it in my, in, uh, I mean, later on. Well, that screwed up because I forgot they usually do this type of thing. <laughs> But yeah, for real though, whenever I'm like doing work or like a uh, drawing or whichever activities that I was in, uh, that I'm invested in at the moment, uh, yeah, I would like listen to Fontaine OST for real. <laughs> There'll be a world quest for that one later on, so you'll be back there eventually. <laughs> Oh, so there was a village here too, huh? Oh, but they're just like chilling in the water. Puka. Yes, this place was closer to the ore veins, so... Okay, Glysty. As for me, I'm here because it makes it easier to care for the injured animals in the... Oh, such a sweetheart! Injured animals in the area. Anyway, we should be safe once we reach home. Thank you, Sab and Paimon. Thank you all as well, Mamir. If it wasn't for you, we might have never made it back. Let's have tea next time uh, when we get the chance. Mamir, um, oh, awkward bean. Paimon, yeah. Oh, come on now. Not, now's not the time to be shy. Mamir, I'm not shy. I'm just, what? Did father to told you something? Glysty, oh, never mind. I understand. In that case, we'll go back first. Thank you for escorting us, Sab and Paimon. Paimon, see you. Stay safe. <laughs> Glysty just like <laughs> she's just like a crab side walking but I don't know the crab doesn't do like side swimming or something if I remember correctly they just like flap their like very hind legs like those uh those paddles but yeah they're they're paddling okay Paimon uh well guess our rescue mission's done and dusted eh Kimamir thank you for your help and being willing to trust me Otherwise, I wouldn't have known what to do when I faced uh, when faced with those monsters. But yeah, that area is dangerous. High danger alert. Seymour. Affirmative. If not for this lady here, I would not have been able to eliminate those life forms so quickly. Seymour. However, hypotheticals generated from previous data indicate that my sweeper mode would have neutralized the threat posed by those hostile life forms, albeit requiring a longer period of time. Okay, Paimon. <laughs> Uh, Sab and Paimon are well-seasoned adventurers, you know. Still, what are these things doing inside Elena's? And they appeared alongside the quake too. Yeah, what is happening right now? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Least favorite monster, but yeah, they appeared alongside the quake. Mamir, I wonder how father is doing. Paimon, speaking of that, Paimon thought that father was a secret only the Millicents knew about. Paimon didn't think that the other Millicents hadn't heard of him either. Yeah, Mimir. That's right. No one can hear his voice. Just like how no one can understand the painting's contents. They would think that I was talking to myself whenever I spoke to father. But in truth, I, I, I was actually talking to him. But yeah, Paimon. That's understandable. That means that the voice I heard then was... Yeah, Paimon. Well, now that we've seen you repair Seymour and take us to help Puka and such, Paimon's sure that your father must be a decent person. Mimir, absolutely. He's the best in the world. Yeah, he is trying to tell a message. Whoa, everything's shaking again. Are there like new pathways again? It seems to happen whenever there's the quake. Those monsters, they've appeared er elsewhere. Oh no. Huh? Mimir, this time they've showed up where we were collecting paints previously. Oh god. You mean the place with the large house and the shipwreck? Wait, yeah, talking back about the shipwreck, is that the thing that we saw with the true sight? Half a ship? I need to go back to the place again. Okay, it's a long way there from here. Y yes, I know. Oh, what should we do if we don't make it in time? I bet there's a shortcut now. See more. There is no need to take the long way. We can ascend directly from here. 
Kimimir. Eh? But there's... There should be no path up there. Or are you gonna make a path? I've just completed a full scan of the surrounding areas. We need only penetrate the layers of rock above us to reach Mercy Village directly. That will allow us to reach our destination in good time, of course. Why go back? So, like, boringly, where we can just go gago and make a freaking hole. Okay, Paimon, it's not that simple, you know. What do you mean it only penetrates the layers of rock above us? How do we do that? Maybe he has built-in missiles. I detect a lack of faith in my functionalities, Miss Paimon. Concern is unnecessary. My most advanced mining module can penetrate rock layers of this thickness. Noble and lovely Lady Sub, I ask you to take me to the waters up above. I cannot maintain diving unit operation while my mining module is active. Uh, I mean, is active. Paimon, well, I guess you can do that too, huh? Yeah, like mechs, they can do anything. If they set their minds into it. So yo, we're making a shortcut? Oh, Hydroclus. Hi. God, I'm so happy though getting to like unlock. Ah! You just smashed that to pieces! Uh, you're pretty strong, aren't you, Seymour? Actually, not the time to worry about that. Yeah, get back, get back! Let's go, let's go. Oh! No wonder! Yeah, because, oh god, I was like, I was going crazy because that one Hydroculus, so oh, it's there, under there, oh, it makes sense. But hey, at least get to, like, unlock all of this, like, uh, hidden areas of, uh, Elena's or Mercy Village. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh dear god. A hiss? Wait, what? A hiss? Is it a medicine? Wait, wait what? <gasps> Doggo! Doggo has bombs! Wait, are you tra- Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Can you solve the puzzle? Oh! Wait, hold up, hold up. Let me- let me use Farina spells. Let me use Farina spells. Do it! So close! Oh, okay, I had to do it anyway. Okay, the prismatic uh, resonance shatters the ore and Millicent unexpectedly falls out. You rush over to help her up, and fortunately, she doesn't appear to be injured. Wait, she's in the. She got caught? Are you okay? Verda, ah, Mamir, what are you doing here? And you are. Paimon. Paimon's Paimon, and she's sub. Mamir brought us here. Verda. Ah, is that so? Thank you all. My name is Verda, but call me V. I'm an apprentice agent of the Marishus Phantom. Apprentice agent Marishus Phantom? Still, um, I didn't think I would get into this mess. How embarrassing. Paimon. An apprentice agent? Oh, so you're with the authorities in Fontaine! Exactly! Uh, oh, it's a self-proclaimed title at the moment. One day though, I'll be a proper agent just like Sadil. Wait, so you can give yourself that title? Hey, Paimon. Anyway, what happened just now? Why did you end up hiding inside a rock? Wait, did I do something like that? I don't remember. Wait, what? I just remember falling down while fleeing, but nothing else after that. What? That was father protecting you. <gasps> For real though, for real. Is it Elena's? Is his spirit still like protecting them? Father? Paimon. Uh, never mind that for now. Even Sub and Paimon don't know what's that about. More importantly, are there any other Melusines trapped here? Okay, Verda. I didn't see anyone else. I was doing some special training alone here after all. But I did catch a sight of some humans I've no way. They're back. Might have been four of them, Jacob and the gang. Humans you've never seen before. What? Paimon, wait a sec. Did you just go Did you come across some purple guy and the three people in red scarves? That's right. Are they your friends? No. Uh, how should we explain this? 
they cannot be trusted. They're intruders. Huh? So that what actually happened? Brida, now that I think about it, if they were behaving very suspiciously, I still, I guess I still have a lot to learn. Where is Sedal? Uh, where Sedal in my shoes? Okay, did you see which way they went? The better father than the one coming soon. Controversial. <laughs> oh, Brida. Yes, they were heading that way. Okay, Paimon. All right then, let's go after them. Sub. Yeah, for real. Let's go. Sis, why are these th things still chasing us? Where's Jacob? Wait, can he fend them off? Because they keep telling, uh, they keep mentioning that Jacob is like strong now, like he can beat those uh, the enemies up. Do I look like I know you numbskull? It's just bad luck. Ugh, come on. Are they seriously this uh, still coming? <gasps> ah, it's those suspicious people. Stop! Don't run. Hi, on. Be careful. Those things behind them are. We found again. I guess, but, uh, you're. Please help. We'll pay you. I swear. Bro. Uh oh. All those monsters are coming this way. Careful, son. Ex excess hostile reactions detected. Switching to purification mode for your own safety, Miss Mamir. Please keep a certain distance. <gasps> Yo, they are cooking right now. <gasps> now protect Miss Mamir. Leave that to me. Oh, sorry. Oh god, I was still into it. He's only take pics. We have more friends. More allies. I can't hold on. Then. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, bro. It's okay. We help you. Couldn't die in a place like this. Man, even like the uh, Seymour is doing pretty good with his bombs. Man, the last time we saw like NPCs actually fighting was during the Sumeru quests too. Iris, save at last. Whoa. Hey, hey, what are you? What are you doing? Brida. Arresting the masterminds behind the summoning of these creatures. What else? <gasps> Jacob. It didn't even occur to me. Like, I didn't even think. Like, how does the Rip Hounds keep appearing out of nowhere? And then the summoning circle. So the ones outside in Elena's, in the area of Elena's, is it Jacob's doing too? Wait, really? Cake, cake, cake house. Wait, wait. We didn't do anything. We were just being chased by those monsters. Honest. Paimon, what's going on? Tell us everything. Also, what about that purple guy? Where's Jacob? Brida, that's right. Confess. Eris, ugh, whatever. Now that it's come to this, we might as well come clean. Just our luck, seriously. We should never have taken this job. That madman got us, bring, got us to bring him those red stones. You know, those you gathered previously. He'd said they'd be important. Paimon, important for what? Illegal summoning. Iris, for whatever the heck he was going to do with them. He didn't even tell us anything. Just get me the oars by Al Amar. We're mercs, not miners. And we did it for him, alright. For half a day we worked. At the end of it, he didn't even pay us when we gave him his damn oars. Oh god. Here it goes. He even started saying some weird stuff. We hadn't even caught what he said before he took the fragments and left. Dropping us like a sack of potatoes with the useless. And I guess old ways are the best. And no... And no pay either. Oh god, the old ways. Like the golden troop mentioned. I was going to get even with that scoundrel, but he did some hand sign and blabbered out. Something in a language I didn't know. That's when those monsters appear- oh, And they chased us all the way here, why that scout- <gasps> Wait, so does that mean- The one that in Sumeru, was that his doing? I mean, they did do like a expedition there. Did he summon the monsters at the other locations? Iris, what? What other locations are you talking about? Mamir, the same monsters appeared in areas around the village and they're attacking Melisins whenever, whenever they find them. Iris, wait. 
Did something like that happen? I didn't know, I swear. I mean, yeah, yeah, to be fair, they're just like mercenaries. They didn't know. I mean, they only do it for the money. After leaving you, you, I mean, after leaving your place, that Jacob guy led us to the intersection up ahead. We didn't really delay. Paimon. So basically, he never told you anything except that you should go steal the paintings? Never trust a client like that. Ugh, don't even bring it up. Never mind telling us anything. That charlatan didn't even pay us our deposit. Paimon. Why'd you work so hard for someone who doesn't even pay a deposit? I mean, I mean, if... <laughs> to be fair, if their circumstances were like... If they were desperate... It do be like that. Oh my god. <laughs> but beer... <laughs> Is it because you thought he was handsome? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Iris? Oh. So do you like purple? Do you, boss? Iris, what in the world are you talking about, you idiot? Of course not. How's that guy handsome anyway? Also, what kind of reason, reason is like, I like purple? Huh. Well, he sure looked like he was in the Mora. I hope that a little extra enthusiasm might get him to part with more of it. So I decided to waive his deposit. Paimon. And that's what you call a self-inflicted wound. Oh my god. <laughs> How did it happen? How did it turn out like this? Okay, ugh. Anyway. Looks like we won't be able to get anything useful from these guys. How should we deal with them now? Burda. Huh. Don't worry. Leave it to me. I'm not an official agent yet, but I can escort them back to the village and hand them over to the sea dial. No problem. Iris. Oh, wait just a moment. Aren't we the victims still? I mean, this is Fontaine, y'all. They have their own set of rules. Seymour. You. You ransacked my house. You hurt Seymour. And still you claim to be the victims? Burda. Hmm. That's right. Wait, wait, what? Whose house did they ransack? Paimon, stop! That's not the main point. Yeah, I mean, because Verda is like trying to do her job, okay? Exactly. To think that you'd even do something like that. <laughs> You're incorrigible. Come with me now, and don't you dare resist. I hope you have other backups, though. I mean, I, 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 I'm just like worried about you. Okay, uh, Iris. Wait, wait. You're going after that guy, aren't you? We know where he's gone. Listen, he's headed towards the place where the giant rock is hanging. You know, over that way, if you give chase now, you can still catch him. <gasps> Yo, wait, hold up. Is that cocoon thing like... Is it like Durian? Is it like Dragon's Is it like Durian's heart? What you mean? It's a warm place that... <gasps> Is it warm because the it's like the main heart? Like the heart is beating? It's a warm place that makes people at ease. Even so, we won't let you off this easy. Iris. Hey, even mercenaries know how to be picky about our employers. That self-serving monster summoning fraudster is no employer of mine. No matter how much he's offering. Not that he even paid us the deposit in the first place, I mean. Ah! Every oh, Paimon. <gasps> Everything's shaking again. Oh my god, Dia. I'm just like... I'm just like... I'm just like so excited for this, holy shit. Okay, Kupat. Hey sis, do you think this earthquake could be? Is he summoning those three found just to like... To be able to get the, the main heart or something? Iris. Crap, if more of those monsters show up... Hey Shorty, you wanted to arrest us, right? Quick, do it now. We surrender unconditionally. Man, for... Yeah, I mean the first time they were like... Yeah, they were like super annoying. But seeing them now, it's just like... I don't know. Like a like a light... Like a light gag. I mean, yeah. I appreciate the levity of the situation. But okay, Verda. Huh. That's more like it. Go reform yourself with the Fortress of Meropite and learn to be useful to society. Paimon. Well, I guess we leave them to you. We'll get to the bottom of the quakes. Okay, Verda. Hmm. Alright, Mercs. Don't get any funny ideas or the Maison Gardeners are gonna show you what for. After disarming the mercenaries and tying their hands, Verda escorts them away. Okay, that's good, at least. Okay, Paimon. So, uh, what are we supposed to do now? Father? I to check if they were ever seen. Ooh, that would be interesting. Like, continu continuity. Some people are there after World Quest. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, gotta reform yourself. Gotta contribute to society. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Amir? Because you kept the thing! Because you kept the token! Is that why? The token! Even though I don't know what it is! Oh, it's not that, it's father! Okay, what? 
It hurts now. Why are you doing that? I heard it too. Oh god, I don't like this. You look just as horrible, sub. You heard something? What did you hear? I'm fine, but... We're out of time. Let's go. So we gotta hurry to the place where we collected the pins previously? Amir. Yes, please, sub. Paimon, we, we have to get over there. Paimon, even if you say that, shouldn't you rest for a bit? You look like you're hurting all over. Amir. Yes, it hurts. I've never experienced anything like this before. Is it because you gave away the token? But I must go. Father must be suffering far more than I am. Please, sub and Paimon, please take me there. To the place where we gathered high purity ores earlier. Paimon. Okay, let's go. There should be a shortcut we can take. God, I didn't like this. Red flags again. Blue longing and heart moon. <gasps> you, Linmer, dear robotic dog. Where does this feel like the climax, bro? Find Jacob, that bastard. What? Can I take a pic? <gasps> I can. Or should I just like stand still? But standing still is boring though. Oh god, imagine like this filter effect, like if you use your burst or something, but no, we don't have time for this. I'm just gonna take yeah, I'm just gonna take this as it is like this. Just the basic uh, keepsake of like, yeah. We're helping out Mimir right now. This is uh, the world quest right now. So can't save it much longer. Yeah, just like a thinking pose like this. I just don't want that pink per uh, portal to be there in the in the shot. But okay, let's let's uh, let's avoid this crisis right now ASAP. So okay, blue longing of heart and moon. I mean, we don't want- we don't want father to suffer, okay? I understand. So let's just, like, deal with this ASAP. Paimon, wait, what's wrong? Why can't we continue on? Mere strange. It's like- it seems like something's blocking the- <gasps> Is Jacob sealing that place? I mean, this is the shortcut, right? Paimon, ugh, what do we do? Wait, we could use Seymour to break the wall down, but can we? The currents over there. Wh where currents? Which- which currents? Namir, that's right. Swim over there because father's blood is already. Blood? Namir? Are you okay? What blood? We cannot delay any further. Let's swim from over there. No! I feel like because she gave her token to see more. Lip, and then she's like, I don't know, like, does the Melissa have like a tolerance? The lifespan? I guess it's just their lifespan. I mean, shut up, game. I know it's shallow, but God, 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 let's go, let's go. Oh, okay, this is also nice. Yeah, traversing in like a opposite direction, really. <gasps> wait, wait, okay, wait, hold up. Oh, you were right because yeah, this one. This one pushes us away because I do remember like there's like certain uh, air pockets, uh, canals that they're like pushing you away so you can't go inside. <gasps> oh my god, I just realized. Because the head is here and then... So is this the heart? A very warm place? Yo, it didn't even occur to me. I was like, okay, this is like sealed with Paimon, huh? What? Yo, this feels like dragon spine all over again. Finding lore about Durin. Oh! Okay, go, go, go. Up, 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 up. 
Okay, wait, let me heal up just in case. We're gonna be fighting. I don't wanna be dumb and then just like, uh, got yeeted off. <gasps> what? You're a lector? No, no. Oh, what happened to that street chain stone over all of a sudden? Yo, I thought it was crazy. I thought, I thought like the heart, like the heartbeat sound actually like uh, resonates in my, in my eardrums. I mean, there's like heartbeats, but I was crazy. I was still just like excited. My brain go oh, haywiring. Paimon, look at that color. Doesn't it basically look like, like a heart? And then it's intact! That's right, this is the original form of the heart. Jacob, you're... from the abyss? Wait, that's... you're Jacob! Oh my god, we're like super up close. Mimir, what are you doing? Like, wow, they even like the color scheme for him is like purple, right? And then, boom! Lecter. Or the Baptist. Is it the Baptist? The boss? Jacob gathering paint, as you can see. God, he is definitely not human, of course. Ha, huh, paint. What an interesting way to describe this filth. And to think that anyone would set it upon canvas. Are you telling me you, you want to start shit talking about Mamir right now over my dead body? Mamir. What? Jacob, still, your arrival here was quite unexpected. I could have sworn I sealed all the entrances. Oh god. Did I slip up somewhere? Paimon, you. You're, the you're a member of the Abyss Order, aren't you? I don't think so, because this is like their own thing, or is it? Paimon, wait. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And where's the where there's evil, there's you guys, huh? So he is on his, on his own, the Abyss Order. Oh, please do not lump me in with those benighted primitives. They are no different from those oppressors. The power they seek is but a tool that only a few can use. What we search for is true equality, the liberation of the will. Just as my friend said, those who lack weakness of consciousness shall not be subdued, either by gods or death. The note, right? Please remember what that someone did to Jacob with the blood, right? He despised it, right? Stop your prattling. If you are with the Abyss Warrior, how do you explain the magic he used earlier? Oh my god, the bombshell. Holy shit. I merely used the power of the Abyss to reverse the crystallization process, that's all. He is built different. In any case, I had not expected to see its heart wither to such an extent after a mere few hundred years. As such, it, it needed to be restarted for me to obtain sufficient blood. Sufficient blood? Yes, a rather inelegant method of doing things, you might think. I mean, oh god. Sumeru again, holy shit. Alas, there is no other way. I, too, initially believed that I could obtain enough congealed blood from Miss Mimir through peaceful means. This would have allowed me uh, allowed the plan to go through without alerting the Mergishu's hunters. Alas, that backfired. Too bad, I suppose. Paimon, wait. Didn't you previously say that you wanted paint? What's this congealed blood you're blabbering about? Explain. Huh? Wait a moment. Huh. <laughs> This is more interesting than I thought, so you don't actually know what those paints really are or the power they contain? Wait, they don't even like- even I was like weirded out like us farming those ores. I see, I see. It seems I spoke too much. What are you doing right now, game? My head hurts. How terribly unexpected. You're meaning to tell me that they didn't even like bat an eye of what they were uh, mining? Still, I fail to understand. Why would you want to get close to Miss Mamir if you don't understand the value of those paints? Huh, don't 
bring us down to the level of sneaky scheming schemers like yourself. Besides, you summoned the monsters earlier, didn't you? What did you do that for? My... Uh, why did you have to attack the other Melusines? As a distraction. Attack them? I had... I hardly have the time for such frivolous pursuits. Well, in theory, the arrays I activated in those ruins to reverse the crystallization would indeed have temporarily opened the way into the realm of the beasts. I suppose that's how the monsters you mentioned were attracted here. Like flies to a festering meat on the road. Like a moth to a flame. As for those melusines, well, an unrelated matter, I fear. Let's not discuss them. You. Jacob, compared to that, Miss Sub, do indulge my curiosity. What do you think of the original sights here, now that you've seen them? Look at your feet. Blood flowing right river, fertilizing the very dust of the earth with their filthy fat. Wait, hold up. Is this the true Melusi? I mean, Elena's. I mean, the Melusi village, like. Because the heart. Oh god, I'm just going crazy. Because the heart was, like, sealed, so. It's just, like, so weird to me, too. Because we were, like, farming those, uh, those chunks, those red chunks. But Paimon and Lumin didn't even, like, uh, bat an eye on it. Just, like, uh, yeah, we just, like, we should help, uh, Mimir. And then Jacob throwing this bombshell of like, oh, I see, I see, like, we, we, we see things differently. Like, is this like a reversal right now? Are we seeing things differently than the Melusines when we're here? God, I'm just like, my brain can't even right now. Like, how long has I been streaming? Nearly three hours. <laughs> 12 a.m. brain be what? Oh, uh, I need to have like a one moment where I sit down and then just like analyze all the things right now. Okay, look at your feet, blood flowing like a river, fertilizing the very dust of the earth with their filthy f fat. If I told you that a greater disaster than that will come one day, how would you react? Your notes earlier? I mean, the, the enigmatic notes, pages? Paimon. Huh? What are you talking about? Blood, fat? Hasn't this place only turned just a little bit red? Negative. The blood has already risen over Miss Sub's ankle. The local contamination index is now over 10 times the human body's endurance threshold. Man, everyone has like different like wavelengths right now. Seymour, I recommend that all present leave this area for your own safety and to prevent the following. Allergies, confusion, white matter distortion, mental deterioration, and... What death? What is going on? Jacob, I see. That's how far it go. It's gone, hmm? Maybe I don't want to take a screenshot. It's like a thumbnail change or something. How sad. If you're not, I will liberate you. What? The moment foretold by... World Formula. There is little time left. They really want this prophecy to happen. The true nature revealed in the end. <laughs> If we not help, I have so many questions running in my head right now. Like, does, does our temperament change because we're at, we're like inside here? Is the game bamboozling us too? Melu Melusine see things differently, but because we're here, so we also th see things differently? Oh my god, man, my head hurts. Jacob, fascinating. I thought that you were only able to reach this place purely through luck, but it appears as if that was not, uh, that was not all. Indulge my curiosity, Miss Sub. Could you tell me who you are exactly? Holy crap, that's not your concern. Not going to answer. Well, that's fine. It was just a mad curiosity of mine after all. In any case, I haven't any further time to waste here. The appointed time is coming and I have enough blood to use. Any further delay may invite unwanted attention. Oh my god. We're not gonna let you get away. What time are you talking about? Jacob, and that is none of your concern. It has nothing to do with you after all. Anyway. Oh, maybe this is a good screenshot too. Paimon, what is this? You despicable... 
What if you then to sub? Wait, am I being scanned right now or like being caged in? Jacob, I wouldn't use that word. This is a matter of utility, not mortality. You are indeed very strong, Miss Sub, but I wouldn't say the same for the others. <gasps> no! Ah, where did these monsters come from this time? Apologies, Jacob, but I fear I cannot let you do this. Wait, what? Jacob in gold, what? Jacob in gold, full name. Miss Mamir, Miss Paimon, please get behind me. My duty is to defend. All attempts to harm you will not succeed. Yo, is he more like a failsafe, like a security failsafe for when Jacob... I don't know, because he was like experimented on... If his humanity like uh, dwindled away or something. Oh god, my head definitely hurts now. I'm just spouting nonsense. I'm just like spouting things out of the blue. Because he did say this is Elaine's inventions, Jacob. Such arrogance, you piece of soulless scrap. Oh my god. You were unable to defend Mary. You were unable to defend Mary Anne. Then all you will do today is confront that incompetence once more. <gasps> is he just like trying to make up for what he did in the past? Does he see something? Like Mary Ann in. Oh my god, now my brain hurts even further. Oh my god, but it's so good, man. It's so good. It makes my gears turning. Mary Ann? Oh god. Giga braining right now? Is your memory triggering right now? Jacob, and should you survive this battle, the giant revived beast will crush and digest you all. Well then, farewell. <gasps> No! We gotta help! Paimon! <gasps> They're coming this way! You better give me a cutscene. Oh, oh. Wait, what? 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 No! Father! Are you gonna help us? Oh! Oh! <gasps> <gasps> what? You feel right? <gasps> oh! Oh! Hold up! Now it makes sense! Now it makes sense! <gasps> oh my god! Okay, okay. I have so many thoughts right now. Okay, maybe I should save it after this quest. Oh my god! Now it makes sense. Holy shit, Dia. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! I feel bad for, for... For talking shit about them! I feel bad! Oh my god! It makes total sense! Paimon, hell, guess we're finally safe, huh? Still, what was that with that round thing? It was helping us? Okay. Okay, hold up. Maybe I should talk about it right now or else I'm gonna forget about it. I remember when we were trying to find those chunks. Because Mamir says like, oh, my friends and such. But then the... Wait, what's that called again? The Primus? I guess they thought we were like intruders. And then, of course, they wanted to protect, uh, protect my memory because, yeah, I don't know, maybe because they thought, I mean, yeah, maybe because father thought that we were, like, uh, hostiles. That, and then, because I went treasure hunting, uh, chest hunting, uh, treasure chest hunting, and then those seals, and then there's those doggos, but then at the same time, I mean, after after you defeat those Rift Hounds, right? And then those Primus were just like chilling near the seals. And then it just dawned to me. It just dawned to me. They're just like protecting. Told you they were good boys. I know. I, I take it back. I talk shit about them. 
I'm the evil guy right now. Like the whole realization of like what I do remember. Because I, I yeah, like I, I think I remember I said something like, oh yeah, because she perceived different things, I didn't even think like beyond that. Like yeah, she she may see like, oh, they're like friends, but in actuality it was like it was like father, it was like I I'm assuming Elena's like protecting them. Oh, oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. <laughs> this is just so good, man. I am again well fed. God, thank God I already finished HSR for this. This is this is worth it. Okay, okay, moving on. Okay, okay. Okay, still, what was was what was with that round thing? It was helping us. Okay, another anecdote. I will not slander them anymore. Like holy crap, I will not slander them anymore. Like that one, uh, that one domain. Uh, was it the artifact domain or a talent book domain? Oh, I think it was a talent book, where there's those uh primus. No. No more slandering, not gonna do that anymore. Full on respect. They were just doing their job. That's all. Okay, moving on. Paimon, Namir, are you okay? Yes, father. Paimon, huh? Namir, eh? Huh? Here? Paimon, uh oh! Paimon thought you were talking to us. It's that sound again. Namir, I understand. Since this is your will, it will be done. Wait, what? What will? Sab, Paimon, could you both strike a pose? I'm going to... No. 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 Why? Why is this? This is so sudden. This is like... This is like a red flag. I'm going to start drawing. Why? Why? Is it because you gave the token? Oh god. It's, things are not even happening, but tears are like starting to well up in my eyes. Paimon, wait a moment. Paimon hasn't mentally prepared herself or figured out what pose to strike actually. Wait. Why are we doing this here and now? Oh my god, my voice is gonna crack, I swear! <laughs> Amir, I don't know how to explain, but I think Seymour can help. Seymour, logic module, calculating, attempting to rationalize reason for question, results, insufficient data, cannot answer. Because it's beyond your computation. My logic module concludes that your decision is far from logical, Miss Mamir. I'm on seriously, Seymour, what are you doing? And also, why did you push the problem to him, Mamir? Seymour, my, prim my primary design goal is to now sorting data fragments. Paimon, uh, Seymour, are you okay? Oh boy, looks like he's hanged. Oh no. Mimir. Yeah, sorry Paimon, but no more time to explain. If we don't hurry, it'll be too late. Don't you do this to me. <laughs> don't you do this to me. Because she did say she wanted to draw, us, draw a picture of us, but why, why now? This is to... Paimon. Well, sure. Okay. This this doesn't quite feel right, but Paimon trusts you. I have faith in you too, Mimir. <laughs> no. <I'm laughs> no, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I know you won't do anything harm harmless to harm us on purpose. Don't do this to me. I mean, because the token thing just like hangs in my head now. Because it's... Uh, I guess there is a life force or something. Uh, uh, Paimon hasn't decided what pro what pose to strike yet. Any thoughts, Sub? Oh my god, why is it like the uh, strike and all goes just as planned pose? Why? What is this weird tonal change? <laughs> why? Strike a come on, you lot pose. Strike a confident pose. What do I want? All goes just as planned. Because I'm so emotionally invested on this, I don't even have time for like stupid jokes. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna strike a confident pose. Yeah. Yep, yep, that's the kind of confidence you should have in a situation like this. Yeah, despite all of, despite all the things that we went through. 
What do you think? Will, will holding this pose do? Yep, you look great. Don't you dare, Mamir. No, then leave the rest to me. Don't you dare... <laughs> Don't you dare pull this shit on me! Mamir takes a deep breath, almost as if encouraging herself, and with a few wags of her short little tail, she gets to work without another word. Your passion and the looks she gives her are resolute and <laughs> earnest. Oh god, I'm already... I'm already starting crying. Solemn, some might even say, not long after her work is done. Mamir, it's done. It's done. Mamir. Wow, that was super quick. What's up? Let's have a look, shall we? What? Nice to meet you. What? Wait, is it because she used the paint for the canvas? <laughs> oh god, oh god, what is this? Let me heal. Can I go back here? I feel like I cannot go back here. Let's, let's just take a pic. <laughs> no, don't do this to me. I hate this. I don't like this. Just because the token thing just like really, really, really leaves a strong note to me. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to be here anymore. <sighs> okay, sure. Hide character. Yes. Uh, do I want a background blur? Oh, that's too much. I mean, ooh, I do want the... Yeah, like a blur on the traveler though. Oh, let me see. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Oh my god. It's so crazy, like everything makes sense now. Oh god. And I was like, wait. Even those seals from outside. I think it was like around here. And I was like, yeah, this these areas. And I was like, wait. Okay, I already beat the rear hounds. But why are those like breaches are there now chilling? Yeah, they have their reasons. Oh god, okay. This feels so Aranara though. Clear that poison. Oh yes, sure, 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 yes. Prisms to clear them out. Okay, hold up. I'm coming. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think we cannot go back here. Oh my god, there's a lot of uh, corruption here. Okay, one down. Two. Uh, uh, sorry. It's so hard to, like, uh, target them. Oh my god. Okay. Oops. Overshot it. Okay, cool. Uh. <gasps> Wait, it's purple now? Uh, yeah, so far you can, unless I've been blind, lol. Oh, I want to take a pic! Yo, this is crazy. Thank god I took a pic earlier. Because now it's like purple. Uh, okay, no traveler, yes. But, uh, yeah, because the because the waypoint uh, points us to the cliff up above, I don't want to take a pick, but I fear that if I go close enough, it's going to activate. So, let me try. Uh, 
Oh god, are we really like meeting a uh, father right now? Oh yeah, this view is nice. Yes, yes, yes. Oh god, but it's a stupid waypoint though. Savoring everything, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, something like this, yeah. And then background blur. And then the one without Lumine. And then without the background blur. It's yeah, just like a scenic aesthetic pick. Yeah. Okay. I'm satisfied. Okay, let's go. God. Oh. <laughs> Oh god, the last time I was this excited is during uh, Jack's questline too. Dirge of Bilkis and then the RNR of course. But damn, this is just like, I don't know how many percent. The Narcissus Cruise questline is like, yeah. The RNR type of thing. Oh yeah, I cannot. <gasps> Are you? You're finally here. I've always wanted to meet you and talk to you, Sub. You know me? Oh, take a pic, of course. Yes, I've been watching you all this time. Elinas! Is it you? Or should I say, uh... Sensing you? I felt your presence ever since that child of mine who loves your art brought you inside my body. Oh, no! Don't make me cry! I've been watching you all this time. What should I say? Sensing you. I felt your presence ever since that child of mine who loves art brought you inside my body. It was like a warm light running... I mean, it was like a warm light was running to and fro within my organs and blood vessels. Elena's... Oh my god! Like, we can still talk to him! Elena's like, yeah, Durin, bye-bye. And then, what's that called again in... Oh god, in Azuma. That, uh, that A, uh, that A annihilated. Okay, Elinas. Yes, that's my name. Beautiful, isn't it? I love it. Yeah, I love it. But yeah, why did you appear in the form of a melusine? Oh, Elinas. Uh, why? Well, I find that form to be very beautiful. Don't you think, think so too, Sub? Oh, yeah, it is. Maybe I should make a melusine avatar for real, for real, for me. Elena's. I love them very much for they are one and all my lovely children. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't remind me of Rukadevata. With the Aranaras, no. <laughs> In here, I can decide my own appearance. Also, of course, I chose the look I love the most. Why do you give me Rukadevata vibes, man? Come on. <laughs> the medicine are your children. My god. My god, I don't even know how to feel. Elena's. That's right. That happened a long time ago, not long after I first experienced death, I think. Oh my god, he even, he even has like angel wings. Oh, many people. Many, many people, a spirit of the primordial waters and many metal animals came into my body. Spirit of primordial waters and many metal animals came into my body. <gasps> the Bex? Like the one girl that pop up? Oh my god, dear, holy shit. Oh my god, I knew you were gonna enjoy this world quest. Yes, yes. I was waiting for you for so long. I'm so sorry. I slept out on it. I mean, I've been holding out on it. What the hell? What the fuck me? What the hell? Okay, Elena's. Okay, okay. I thought that they, like those two other people, were here to explore and gather my blood. I was originally just happy to have people here, but they chose to fight each other in the end instead. Oh my god, Elena's. But of course, I was dead at that point. Oh, I, I was too weak to do anything beyond watching them in silence and feeling the wounds they left inside my body. No, <laughs> father, no! In the end, someone triggered an explosion that caused a terrible shockwave. Many people died, and those male animals also died. The survivors left, and everything was very quiet once more. Oh my god. A lot of sharp shards pierced my body from the explosion's impact, but later, tiny life emerged from those wounds and from my broken flesh. Oh, is it the melu? Is it? I was so overjoyed, for they were beautiful and intelligent. And when I realized that, I mean, 
Also, that was when I realized that I could do more than destroy. I could bring beautiful new life in this. Don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't be Ruka Devata. Don't, don't pull a Ruka Devata on me right now. So I spoke to them and I told them of many things. I taught them how to build a home for themselves so that they might grow up well. Then there was happiness and liveliness everywhere. Later, they gradually became unable to hear my voice. That's fine though. Just as mother once said farewell to me, all children must grow up and leave their parents. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear god. Helena's only that child who loves painting still speaks to me. And she even brought, me, brought her friends. That's how I came to meet you. <laughs> I'm truly happy that's the case. So you're Mimir's father. That's right. Still, you truly are special. It was only when... Oh, we're sitting down now! It was only when the situation was past salvaging that I realized how my blood and po was poisonous to humans. Oh my god, this is like a benevolent one though. Oh yeah, but corrupted, right? Durin, Durin was corrupted. <laughs> That's why I wish Albedo will visit this place one day. He has more dead siblings. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so very true. Okay, Elena's. But when you came into contact with my blood, not only did you not get poisoned, but instead you slowly become linked to my and my daughter's consciousness, and you began to see and sense many things. Oh my god. God bless us. You are the second person I have met who did not fear my blood. Uh, if only there were more people like you. Is it our brother? Who was the other person? I mean, no, that's impossible. Oh, wait. <gasps> Oh yeah, that guy. Ah, so you don't know each other? But I saw you saying so many things to one another. I refer to the person who made my heart start beating again. Jacob. A long, long time ago, he and someone else came into my body to collect my blood. Absorbing my blood would really raise my spirits. At that time, my children were not yet born and I felt rather lonely as I lay here. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> As such, I was very pleased to meet them, and I was very pleased to have helped him out. He must have tried to restart my heart to thank me for helping him out using my blood. But I'm afraid I can accept this, accept his kindness. As such, I thank you for stopping him. And me. Wait, why? What? Well, if I were to be revived, my heart would beat, and my blood would surge, and my internal organs would come to life again. What would happen to my children then? They and their beautiful little houses would be crushed and digested. Oh my god. This is selfless. I might look like this now, but my body is in truth very big and frightening. Oh my god. I can only imagine like Elena's is a big sweetheart right now. Like, like kind of like a pep. But just a total sweetheart right now. In the beginning, my siblings and I took leave for, of our mother and came to play on the surface. Oh. But, but I realized that at the... Uh, I mean, but I realized at last that the things I found fun and joyous were terrifying to others. Oh, I mean, they were just playing around. It was too late by then and I was filled with grief and regret. Oh, you didn't know. That's why I asked Mamir to use my blood to create a painting and give it to you. That way I get a chance to thank you in person. Like, don't make me cry. <laughs> don't make me cry. <laughs> thank you, Sa, for stopping my heart. So long as I live, I will bring grief to others. And I did wish to see that happen ever again. <laughs> You're very welcome. I mean, I did it to survive too. I did it to stop Jacob as well. I see. Anyway, this is a rare opportunity. I haven't been this clear-minded in a very long time. Why don't we chat about some other things? Is there anything else you'd like to talk about, Sub? Oh my god, he's just, he's just so sweet. <laughs> Tell me about your origins. Okay, sure. My mother is the reason I exist. My mother is the most wonderful person in this world. She gave me my name, and it is a lovely name. Before I was born, I floated in the cosmic darkness. It was cold there and lonely. I was so sad, and then I would cry often. But later, I heard mother's voice. 
Oh my god, I'm still devastated about the story for Durin who thought he was dancing with the Valin. Yeah. <laughs> she wished for me to be born into a beautiful world, to give me life, to give me a strong and healthy body that could walk the world, to grant me a beautiful name. She wanted to give me many siblings, wanted me to meet many friends, wanted me to see the beautiful sights beyond that cosmic darkness. She did not deceive me and I was very happy. My elder siblings treated me well and later many younger ones came along and I treated them just as my elder siblings treated me. <laughs> later we left the world beneath the earth. I felt the wind brushing against my skin, the warmth of the sun, water is icy and warm. Life is wonderful and it was wonderful that I was able to witness this world. Oh my god. <laughs> Only later did I discover that I was different from the life in this world. The things that brought me happiness, the things that interested me. They were frightening and terribly hurtful to those of this world. I mean, you didn't know. Eventually, I fell here and died. That sudden yet gladdened me. I treasured the life I was given my mother, but my life would bring everyone such pain. How <laughs> to see that? It was better this way. Later, just as mother gave me life, I gave my life, I, I gave my children life, that they may walk upon this world. It makes me very proud and very happy, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I just need some time to calm down, and I don't know if I can... If I can push through this. Like, uh, the dialogues, man, they're killing me. <laughs> Elinas, is there anything else you'd like to know? <laughs> About that breach your premise from earlier? <laughs> Uh, well, I saw that you were trapped and thought, if this goes on, I will be revived and you will all die. My strength began to return and so I thought, why don't I use one of my cells to attack the thing trapping you? That way you'd be able to move. That was one of your cells? That's right, they can help to drive harmful things away from my body and protect my children, so yeah, like an immune system. <laughs> However, they aren't as smart as my children, so they will attack you too. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I mean... <laughs> that's what I said. I take it back. It was just like a self-defense. It was their instincts. I mean, they are like white blood cells. Still, I'm, I'm glad to have helped out. <laughs> but that's it, right? Nothing else? But man... Oh god, tell me about Jacob. Oh god, I'm just like wiping the tears from my eyes because I'm my eyes are burning right now, but in the best way possible. Helenas. <laughs> that person from before, you mean? I fear I know little about him. He's not like you. Even after drinking my blood, he cannot speak to me as you do. Yes, that is like... <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a bit, uh... <laughs> eccentric. Weird. In the beginning, he came with someone else to search for the blood within my body. At that time, I could feel that they were different. <laughs> there is something within him, a bit of the dark, cold cosmos's power. I mean, yeah, we see him. He, he looks like the Baptist. And aha, I thought. Uh, so my blood will do him good. Wonderful. Later, he would come often to collect my blood all the way up till there was a great battle involving many people here. Him included. He didn't come back again after that. <laughs> It can be the Cataclysm War, right? To be honest, I was worried that he might have died. Imagine how happy I was to see him return, alive and well, so tall and strong. <laughs> He's too kind! Elinas is so sweet! Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? So, like, he doesn't see the negativity of it all, like, even like his mere existence, thinking like, Oh, but my existence will cause the, the others, like, great suffering. <laughs> So I'd rather just like stay dead for the greater good. I I can't man, I'm weak. I need to go, Paimon and Mamir will worry. That's true. <laughs> well, I'm almost out of time too. There are a lot of things I'd love to talk to you about, but the life I received this time is also is almost spent. Could you do me a favor though, sub? What do you need? Anything! I uh, I do anything. Could you tell Mamir what to say? Oh my god, don't don't pull a Furina folklore's moment on me. Like Furina telling folklore's like thank you. <laughs> Even just the word thank you. I broke. <laughs> thank you, Furina. <laughs> How about this then? Your paintings are very beautiful. I love you. I'm so very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Again, I can't with this type of things, man. Because it's hit, it's hit so hard. Like, when would you ever hear, hear someone like saying like they're proud of you? Or like your parents or something. Or someone or your friends or something. <laughs> Alright, please get along with your sisters. They love you very much as well. Thanks a bunch, sub. I've got it. Oh man, I should have I should have screenshotted that. Let, let me just record everything. I don't care. I don't I don't care. Full video. Let's go one hour. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> I've got it. Alright then. Thank you. Honestly, it was great meeting you. Oh my god. They pull a Jizuru on me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was great meeting you. Someday I'll hope that I'll be able to traverse this world without fear of causing harm or death to others. <laughs> when the time comes, I'll be sure to show you what I really look like. God, I hope so. I hope to God. I hope to God we will. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, oh my god. It feels like they're just Bilkis all over again, like the Aranaras all over again. Like, what? What's with the Royal Quest, man? They're built different. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so good, though. I love this. I, I just love being unapologetically emotional. I can't. I'm just like this, okay? I'm just like this. I will be. I will be apologetic about it. Paimon. <laughs> okay, sorry, let me drink. <laughs> I wanna come down. <laughs> I wanna come down from this high. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, like literally, my face is so wet. I mean, if you can't even tell how hard I'm crying right now, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, Paimon. Hey, sub. Are you alright? You've been staring at the painting this whole time. Right, because she painted and then we can... Uh, yeah, like he's... Uh, <laughs> she can talk to us. Hey, Paimon. Seriously, you were just like Seymour. He just said he would be searching for data and since then he's just not moved at all. <laughs> oh, your paintings... Your paintings are very beautiful. I love you and I'm so very proud of you. Sub, you, I, I, you, you. Hey, mom, wait just a minute. Where did that all come from? Are you okay? I'm fine, don't worry. My eyes are a little dry from all that staring. No, I'm fine, don't worry. Someone asked me to pass their words on you, Mimir. <laughs> oh my god. Mimir, I see. Thank you. Please get along with your sisters. They love you very much. Oh my god. Now I see why. <laughs> I see why Noble has also like. Uh, also treats the Melusines well. <gasps> For all those people. Who see Melusines differently. Let me tell you something. Okay. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna go barge in. I'm just gonna search for your home. I'm gonna go barge in. I'm just gonna arrest you on the spot. <laughs> but okay. The love. I mean, they love you all very much. God, I'm so emotional right now. I'm so full. I am so full right now. I am well fed. 1 a.m. brain worth. <laughs> Mimir, I... Come on. I've always gotten along well with everyone. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, but because you're an awkward bean, you're just an introvert shy bean. But since father said so, I got it. Thank you, sub. Oh, it's sealed again. <laughs> Uh, Paimon. Uh, Paimon didn't notice this before, but when did that thing over there turn back to stone? The shaking from before seems to be stopped too. Paimon. Wait, were you in such a hurry to paint first because... Wait, Paimon got it. People really call... Uh, I mean, people call really good paintings absorbing, don't they? So you painted all that in order to absorb sub, right? I mean, theoretically. I mean, <laughs> rhetorically, I guess, yes. Metaphorically? But okay, Paimon. Um, but that doesn't make sense. What happened, really? I'll explain it later. 
the problem here seems to have been resolved at least. Yeah, we're safe for now, as in the middle scenes, but oh boy, the nurses and crews, oof. Paimon. Hmm, alright then, but you better uh, explain later. Amir. Yes, Sap Paimon, what do you think of this painting? Um, well, please feel free to critique it. I wanna see it, I wanna see it, I wanna see it! I didn't have much time and I wasn't my best self, so I'm not very confident about it. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Anything you produce, baby girl, I will approve. I will appraise. Okay, Mimir. Ah, that feels like an excuse. I've got to stop doing that. Just be brave of your art. Show your art. Okay, Mimir. So, uh, what do you think? I absolutely love it. I, I, I mean, it's even cooler than your real Paimon. I absolutely love it. Hands down. Paimon, um, which part of... It, do you like? Um, Paimon can't understand it at all. Mimir. <gasps> That's wonderful. Paimon. Uh, Paimon doesn't know what to say about your art other than it looks amazing. Huh. Is this what they call an artistic baptism of fire? Wait, what? Okay. I'm glad you liked it either way. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. I'm not a very good speaker, unlike you, Paimon, but when I'm with you, I'm very happy. That's why I want to give you something that makes you happy, too. Preliminary memory fragment sorting is complete. Paimon, whoa, you're back, Seymour. Oh, yeah, that took him a while. Seymour, I may now answer previously unanswerable questions as well. <gasps> Did you access hidden memories? I previously unanswerable questions. Which, which questions were those? <gasps> okay. The one about my master that Miss Paimon asked, as well as my aforementioned purpose. I am prototype for ACV07, designed by the company and protect my master, Miss Mary Ann. But I'm assuming designed by Elaine. Okay, Mary Ann. I keep Mary, Mary Ann, Mary Ann. <laughs> Potato, potato. Okay, Paimon. Huh, Paimon's sure she's heard that name somewhere. Okay, Seymour. Affirmative. Miss Mary Ann was my master and my directive was to accompany her on behalf and ensure that she would smile happily. You can't be Mori, right? I mean, Seymour, wait, what? My brain. I have not been able to fulfill the duty for clockwork cycles due to the lack of a relay module. 1 over 7 times 10, sir. Yeah, in truth, I cannot ascertain Miss Marianne's present location either. This should never happen. My logic unit requires immediate repair. As such, if you do not mind, allow me to depart for now. Oh, my standard deduction module has already calculated the most likely location where I may collect information and I must go there. So he's leading to the next quest. I'm assuming. Uh, wait, Seymour, are you, le are you leaving? Oh my god, the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going crazy over this. But yo, I need to give my brain some rest though, and then really digest everything that has transpired in this stream. Okay, Seymour. Affirmative. I thank you for your care thus far, Miss Mimir. But I have a duty that I must fulfill. Mimir, did then I'll come too. Seymour, negative. Ladus danger level high. For your safety, I must refuse your proposal, Miss Mimir. But I will promise to return and express formal gratitude to you once I find my master. Okay, unfortunately, some of my memories remain damaged, so I do not presently know where the Narcissus Cruise Ordo that I must reach is precisely. <gasps> we know where that is. As such, my search will inevitably take a great deal of time. For that, you have my apologies in advance. But it's just so sweet though that Seymour still considers like, yeah, wanting to protect, wanting to be there for Mimir. I see, I understand. There's something you must do, and so you have to leave, but you'll come back to find me, won't you, Seymour? Won't you? I hope so. I can't live over Elena's. Seymour. Affirmative. I mean, affirmative. Amir. Alright then. Be careful, Seymour. You have to come back, alright? My token, the symbol of my life, is with you, so don't go breaking down someplace where I can find you. <laughs> They really purposely do this. Just to like remind us. This is also like red flags for me. I don't like it. Can I get off from this right now? Seymour, you have my word, Miss Mamir. I will fulfill my mission and return to your uh, spatial coordinates. <laughs> no. No. Mamir. 
okay uh got it got it uh anyway i've suddenly got a bout of inspiration so i'm going to go paint now don't forget to come back and see me when you finish your work okay you have a deal yeah we'll take care of seymour for you for now yeah you yeah we better we better her life force is with him Mimir. she doesn't even want to look at us she just want to put a brave face all right i understand sup paimon seymour you all stay safe all right i'll make a move first why does she why does she not look at us Mimir. yeah because uh, yeah yeah because seymour like goes so there's no one else to console to <laughs> oh my god okay um so uh where are we going next uh seymour mentioned this place called the narcissan cruise ordo right uh yeah i think i know where to find the place yeah we know seymour hmm Pemon. yeah Pemon thinks we've already been there imagine if you haven't been there how does the dialogue end up the way is uh, i mean the way in is pretty mysterious though i wonder if you'll be able to get in there i mean we went through the book but let's just go anyway once everything's settled we'll bring you back to see mamir if it's settled <gasps> if it's settled properly yo that's a oh mamir's painting i want to see it i want to see it okay hold up hold up hold up hold the hell up Oh my god, Dia, this was what, like a wild ride. I swear. I swear to god. I swear to god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've been holding out on this for so long. I haven't felt like this since the last time. I mean, yeah, the recent one was like the Fontaine Archon quest. But then this is the world quest and... Yes. It's just so good. It's just so good. I mean... How many percentage though until we can finish in our season cruise? Because for me, this is like a this this narcissism cruise thing going on is like a big big, like a grapevine of world quests. Because I'm assuming it also involves this research institute, but this one though unfinished comedy, I'm not sure. Darcy can help, and then continuing this quest will temporarily suspend some other quest, and it feels like this is like super long. But I don't care. I don't care any of that because all the lore that I'm getting right now, getting to know Elena's for what, for what it is. Uh. Oh really? Unfinished comedy next? <laughs> so oh yeah. So oh wait. What about yeah? I, for, I nearly forgot the enigmatic one. Uh, where was it? Oh, but that was done, right? Because we managed to get three, was it? It just irks me because it it was like placed around down here. But now it's gone because we did manage to give like three pages. Hmm. So unfinished comedy. Okay, gotcha. Wait, okay, let me check the map again. Oh yeah, there's more portals! Cool! Cool, cool, cool. A very bright place. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. I need to like, uh, I, need, I need to like sit back and like, uh, reassess the lore again. Yeah, because the thing, let's read, okay, let's just like take a while, take some time to like check the notes again. Was it this one? The Fontaine Research Institute isn't really... I mean, it does talk a bit about it, but not really. Oh, okay. Caverna <laughs> is supposed to possess in properties. Uh... Yeah, this is bit to deduce their wor world formula. <clears throat> Sometimes, guys, uh, uh, all my teeth have come in. I'm an adult now. Third tooth, Elaine, vice director, she will definitely return. Uh, 
Are they talking about Mary Ann? Like, she's amazing. I mean, vice director. Agricultural machine. Your elemental force. Character in the Hydro Slam, perhaps? He shouldn't die. Preserve Jacob's life. Lost consciousness. Power can be classified. The fake journal. Wait, where should it still be effective for now? You can obtain some of the formula. Keep up with the rules. Supplement his nutritional intake. Where was where was that one again that mentioned about the blood? Now I'm just because I, I feel I just feel like I I'm just like maybe because I superimpose my brain like okay Ren's investigation notes has all the has all the like the breadcrumbs here. Uh, must check the calculations again once more. Ah, uh, okay. Like yeah, again. I mean, I've been streaming for like four hours, so my brain is just like. It's a bit foggy right now, to be honest. And then, and then me bawling out also like uh, adding more to the to the brain fogging that I'm experiencing right now. It's just like God, God, man, God. All the realization that hits, and then the references. The references. If you did a, another world quest, should be oh, should be the book with that other melusine. Oh, the photo is oh, okay. Wait, the, the blood should be the book with that other melusine. Oh, the uh, the animated page one. Yeah, let me go back there real quick. Oh, yeah, book of revealing. Yeah, let me check back again about the blood. Thank god you mentioned about that. Wait, is it read or decipher page? Uh oh, okay. Okay, mm, yeah, I'm just like skimming through right now. Okay, golden troop. Decide for any information. Uh. To drop Seymour there. Oh, okay. But you said it's best for me to continue with the uh, comedy, right? Okay, okay, where is it? What, which chapter was it? Oh god, this is what I hate. My brain right now. Uh, page 2. The pollution of the land and water wrought by the giant bees and uh, seems to have been mostly purified and diluted. However, when it comes to illness itself, even though it does seem to be a total loss. Cordon of the area. Okay, nevertheless, it was quite easy to sneak in. It felt rather strange slipping into the creature's mouth and it reminded me of the events of the, some of the stories I once read. They have no substantive evidence. I still sense some sort of will from it. Jacob did too. There were no signs of decay in the flesh. He said his body was hardening and it was forming... Okay, now it makes sense. Forming a protective membrane. Given its current immobilized state, it looks like a self-defense mechanism to safeguard its internal organs. Hence, the breaches. Okay, but it does make sense with such a wellspring of vitality. Okay, may be used to enhance Jacob's strength by following the same principle. However, at this stage, there's no need to subject Jacob to such risks. Okay, uh, Institute of Natural Philosophy, specific research, uh... Okay, return, quite brave, but idiot. The day of Kalevi's seal incomplete, Jacob's minor adverse reaction. Okay, primarily vomiting, recovered quickly and hasn't shown other symptoms in the short term. Remain stable. Completely trust me. The latest role in the Institute of Natural Philosophy, fit right with the sharp mind. The brightest minds of container gathered here, Mary on. 
Jacob was crying throughout most of it. Okay, I didn't tell them about Jacob. Uncle Gulutin, who, who was with them, is part of the Marisan Gardenage. He still can be trusted. Okay, is it the third one? Uh, okay. Okay, the tests of Jacob's strength continue. Yeah, the flesh and blood of the great beast is being used as nutrition. Ah, okay, yeah, it is the third one. Yeah, Jacob seems to have gotten used to it, so there's nothing to worry about. Adverse reaction being caused by Jacob's feeling of disgust. Yeah, like he said, like the uh, because he despised it. Uh, it's a relief uh, to know that his physical condition hasn't been harmed. Jacob still eats, yeah, but out of necessity. Because he's not human anymore. Okay, uh... The, the gem was similar to the flesh of and blood of Elena's. Yeah, but yeah, Jacob seemed quite uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, like it... Like reading it for the first time, I'm just like, oh, okay. But then reading it for the second time, now it makes sense. Yeah, because sometimes like... There are certain points I do remember, but then certain points I it just like overshot it over my uh, overshot from my uh, from my thoughts. Uh, okay, my God, I'm just like I'm just like the God again, Genshin, crazy, so crazy with the lore. I just can't. I mean, oh my God, my cat, and I'm 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 trying to give my thoughts, and then my cat just like pop in. Why? Why must you do this to me? I'm, I'm trying to give my thoughts. Like, how long have I been streaming? Well, let me check real quick. My god, he's so loud. Kitty cat's so loud. Oh, four hours? That didn't felt so long. Oh god, this is just like the r and Oh my god, you. You. <laughs> you. Kitty cat. Oi. Kitty cat, okay. I'm sorry, I need to put our cat into my parents' room because he is obstructing, obstructing my thoughts right now. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh, but the in binoculars comment I did. I think it was for a HSR event. Oh, when I mentioned that. Oh, okay. Ooh. I don't know why my brain was like uh, thinking about uh <laughs> like the like a uh, freaking Genshin stream. <laughs> but yeah, okay. No cap. Best. I really had fun with today's stream like Hey. One thing, I progress to uh, the Melusine uh, world quest. And then a bit of the, I guess, yeah. Okay, now season cruise was before. But yeah, there's like so many things to uh, to reconnect again. Like freaking chains. Yes, I'm using a Kingdom Hearts chain of memories. <laughs> Cringe a metaphor right now. Yeah, we have to like... Uh, uh, piece up those chains together again. Yeah, it's just... Oh my god. How? How, man? How? Why? Why? I was like, the moment... The moment that Mamir was like, Oh, let me... I want to do a painting. But that was like a very, like, unexpected time to do that. And I was just like, worried. And then because in the back of my mind... Wait, that token. Is it because you gave that token? And then you're like... <laughs> your life force is just like running out. But then... Yeah, it's just like Elena's just like signaling her to like paint real quick so it uh <gasps> Oh yeah, talking about the painting, let's go, let's go! The furniture, let me go back to my world. Uh, I mean sorry, teapot. Yeah, so that uh he can communicate with us. And then Elena's is just a it's just a sweetheart. I can't, it's just a sweetheart. Such a good such a good dragon. Yeah, imagine if the Valen, Durin and him I mean Elena's. Why do I keep calling them like him, my god. Yeah, yeah, playing together. Wait, are is the furniture? Uh, I mean, uh, is the furniture like uh? Wait, hold up. Wait, wall decor. Is it a wall decor? 
<sighs> it is okay wait um i guess let me put it mm, where's the corridor like this is like the place where usually it has like a lot of uh yeah i just want to see it up close a lot of uh load i guess i can put you a bit on the left oh i can't okay, i guess up here then oh wait no it's red now oh maybe because all oh, right i put this <laughs> i put this memento from uh from roses and muscles maybe i should remove it for now yeah okay make space yes okay let's see it Maybe I should change like a... Oh! Oh wait, hello? Oh, hold to leave. I keep forgetting. Because it's so weird now. Usually, back then... <laughs> back then, you only need to press circle to go back. But then, I guess because they added a lot of uh, gimmicks... <laughs> Uh, new mechanics, so yeah, you just have to hold to exit. Man, interesting. I guess because the red is like a, yeah, because of like Elena's seeing all the red. But yeah, abstract art like, it depends on the on a person's per, uh, perceive uh, how per uh, how a person perceives things. <laughs> Oh, but okay. Oh my god. I can't even like... <laughs> ah. Again, very satisfying stream. Really happy I, I get the time to like uh, stream the uh, the world quest today. Uh, I guess I can like chill around here. And now I don't have to feel bad leaving Mamir there for like a long time holding out on her before. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, um... Oh my god, our cat is like... Why is he so being annoying right now? Let me let me grab him again. Like, I don't want him to bother my... My parents. Oh my god. Oh my god, you... Oh, you, you rascal. How dare you. Okay, let me try... Let me try and wrap up what happened. Uh, because... God. Because of the... The revelation towards the end, like, really makes me, like... <laughs> Wait, what what happened on the, like the first two hours again? <laughs> oh yeah, because we started helping out the Melusines, right? And then Kanotilla, oh god, I'm sorry if I butchered the names, like Kanotilla, like like what? Seeing us in a different light and then even mentioning Paimon like a rainbow balloon while we're the one who's like gonna gobble up the whole world or something like that. Oh you want oh I can drop him right now. Okay, wait. So just dropping him, right? I, I just thought that what if it's like ac activating the next one or something? <laughs> okay, uh Yeah, hold up. Yeah, we just helped a bunch of uh our friends, our Melusines, and yeah, our first introduction with Jacob. Which then of course it's like a it was like a trap. Okay, and then uh, what else? Yeah, helping to find parts. And then somehow I got like extra parts too, which was weird. I have like five. Five or four earlier. Or three. And then because we helped the other and then talk talk to Serena. Was it Serena? And then yeah, there's like so many things happen though. Uh yeah, we helped those other Melusine. Oh yeah, and then the girl the Pushineer. Man, what's her name again? I'm I'm sorry again. As I said, I'm so bad with names. I do only remember like a potioner assistant. Uh. Yeah, sometimes the names are like a hit or miss. Sometimes I can remember. Oh yeah, the flower girl too. The flower melusine, and then the enigmatic page, and then. Uh, oh right, we went to that other weird place. I mean, in the enigmatic uh, book. I mean, the book of revealing, which Kenta Nila commented of like she sees like a more peaceful uh environment than us super weird oh and then after that we continue on with like mamir's uh mamir's uh quest line 
Yeah, and then those weird fountains popping around. Yeah, this was when the Jacob shenanigans ensued. Okay. What are you doing now? Because if it activates the next quest, they do it the next reset. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Okay, I do that now. So I just like teleport to the Ordo, right? Mmm. Uh, okay, wait. Uh. Okay, this one, right? Oh, okay, sorry. So just go inside here. Just how we dropped off the... Uh... Oh... Oh yeah! On! They're both here! Hmm. Okay, I guess that's fine now, right, dear? Yes, after doing unfinished business, though, I think. Been a while, Amal. Oh, it's fine, though. Hmm, okay. So, what you recommend after this? I'm doing the unfinished comedy, then? Yeah? Yeah, because God, even it even highlights like containing this quest will temporarily suspend some other quests. So this is going to be long, I'm assuming. The final question: Timor's lost data has been retrieved, but the scattered fragments must be put together as soon as possible. So I just leave him there, but don't talk to him, right? Yeah, because yeah, I didn't even realize it's nearly like five hours. But man, I I was like so into the. Into the world building, into the lore, knowing about Jacob, what's going on, about Elena's. Oh god, it's just like Elena's is just a sweetheart. For real, for real. Okay, uh, because I haven't done my commissions. Oops. Yeah, because as I said, I was like going out with my... <laughs> uh, I was going out with my sis today. So I actually arrived at home, I was actually resting around. Just like, yeah, I just wanted like a... Uh, have enough energy to stream tonight. Oh, you could just do it the next time if your uh... oh, if your brain is this fried. Is it like a, is it long then? Because I I was uh, I I'm actually worried if I talk to him, it's gonna lead to the quest. So should I just talk to him then? I mean, sure. If it's just like normal talking. <laughs> like how we talk to Ad, right? Because they just claim those, uh... Just claim those comms from the journal if it's not achievement related. Oh wait, what? <laughs> uh, just claim those comms from the journal if it's not achievement related. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, I, uh, you mean the thing. Oops, okay, yeah. Let, let me... Okay, yeah, let me just check again. What, what are my, uh, comms again? Sumeru. But I did keep getting the... Okay, Swift Slayer, Emergency, Touring Light Show, yeah, useless. But I keep getting the one in... Uh, what's that called again? Or like the Whooper Flower thing. Like the one here. Like Flower Grow or something. Uh, what? What happened? Was I supposed to walk over there like that? What does that mean? Wait, are we just like... Wait, hold up, are we? Are we like recruiting people? And then I guess this one, the final one, and then it leads to like a... Cause it's like oddly wants to strike on midnight or something. Well, stop your FP team before claiming them though. Okay, I will. Yeah, I'm like so close with... I don't know, not that really close because they're still level 8. Yeah. Gaming and Xianyun. Okay, so... <laughs> nice. 
thank you <laughs> yeah it's so much easier like this it's just that every time i'm just so like so used to oh wait what i'm so used to just do commissions as usual wait claim rewards what rewards oh i see okay later then okay, let me change back to for continuity's sake with lunine okay i guess let me let me just talk to uh seymour and then we end the stream Paimon. So this is a Narcissus and Cruise Ordo. Recording this location and data regarding it, uh, it have been recorded in my storage unit. Okay, Paimon. We've been here before. The Mary Ann you're looking for probably isn't here. Paimon. But we still might... I mean, we might still find some clues uh, that we didn't before. Okay, Paimon. Did you remember anything useful upon arriving here, Seymour? Okay, Seymour. Negative. The newly recorded information is pending a... a is pending further analysis and organization. No effective conclusion possible at present. Keep okay, Paimon. Huh, then uh, are we gonna have to wait for a long time until... Seymour. Affirmative. Record space col uh, collation starting. Total time required unknown. Interactive functions will cease temporarily while this is ongoing. Paimon. Wait, hold on a second first. Hey, okay, Seymour. Roger. Interrupting space collation process. What instructions, Miss Sub? Miss Sub. Paimon. Paimon. Come to think of it, we don't know a lot about you either, Seymour. Paimon <laughs> keeps getting surprised about anything related to the order after we completed. Uh, anything is just so stupidly funny. I know, right? But I guess it's because, yeah. These, like, uh, different types of questline that suddenly becomes like a combination to, like, the whole Nessus and Cruise uh, questline. I, I guess that's why. They just, like, wanna, don't know how to, like, really, like, uh, uh, how to say just like man i can't find the words but they just like want to do this just to be safe just in case you did the other quest and then like oh so this is an access increase or though something like that i don't know i'm just like i don't know how to explain it my brain is fried like you said <laughs> okay paimon all we know is that your master is in the mirror but is someone named mary on mori are you mori actually seymour Affirmative, Miss Mary Ann is my master. According to my standard deduction module, the odds of finding clues as to her whereabouts are high. Okay, we know you said that before too, but if it felt like there were some more basic questions we hadn't answered yet, now seemed like a good time, right? If you could tell us a bit more about yourself and Mary Ann, we might be able to better help you. Seymour, of course, Sky Miss. I keep Paimon. Uh, so Sab, what would you like to ask? It's funnier for me because I did them one after another, so her being surprised is so dumb. <laughs> Understandable. Okay, tell us about yourself, Seymour. I am prototype AC, okay. The company, yes. We already established that. Didn't get a word of that. Okay, Seymour. Is my creator. I'm assuming it's Elaine. I'm equipped with the most advanced optics, memory storage unit, logic unit, and various functioning modules from the Fontaine Institute of Natural Philosophy. <laughs> Uh, that was clear as mud, but it sure sounds impressive. The more impressive the equipment, the harder it might be to fix once it's broken. I mean, thankfully we were able to fix him. Okay, Seymour. Note, regular record space collation can decrease the frequency of such issues effectively. Okay, Paimon. So basically, before you've done your collation thing, there's some stuff that you can't tell us even if you knew, right? Okay, Seymour. Affirmative, more precisely. Redacted. Seymour, information regarding or can be extracted using or Wait, is it this is this regarding from the enigmatic pages? Or that Renee's note? This allows me to keep a log of Miss Marianne's daily life and also act as an agent's assistant. Are you serious? The important bits got all got cut off. What's an agent's assistant? An agent refers to a member of the Mauritius Phantom who undertakes investigations. In this context, assistant refers to Seymour. Wait, so Mary Ann was a Mary Shoes Phantom agent? <gasps> Affirmative. Paimon, wait, if that's who she is, wouldn't looking for official records help us to find her faster? Why do we need to come here? Okay, Seymour. Miss Mary Ann's role as an agent, agent was not publicized. Uh, publicized. Additionally, the case she investigated has to do with 
Oh my god, it is we're from the direction of Ah, uh, Seymour, you're breaking down again, aren't you? Seymour, note, regular record space collision can decrease the frequency of such issues effectively. Come on, let's just ask a different question, shall we? Mary on. So much mysteries now, I can't, I can't, but my brain can't even. Tell me about the nurses in Cruz Ordo. Can we really find clues about Marianne's whereabouts here? We've never been here before, right? So why do you think we'll find clues here? You can see more. My latest records indicate that the last records before meeting with Mamir were those of myself executing a specific process. This process was the capture of fugitive elements from the Nazis and Cruz Ordo. Miss Marianne was also executing. <gasps> so they were like... I was about to say like double agent, like... There was a reason she joined this, but also at the same time, they knew what they were doing. I mean, like, illegal stuff going on, that's why. And then, the person was the capture of fugitive elements of the Nurses and Cruz Ordo. So they knew something, I mean, someone was doing, like, really, really shady things. As a companion and guard, I followed her and... To Elena's. There we encountered members of the Nurses and Cruz Ordo, including Jacob Ingwald, a core member of the said Ordo. So he was a member? And Mary Ann was pursuing him? Affirmative. I'm on. Well, guess there really was something, uh, was some relation here. Ah, we should have captured Jacob and questioned him. Tama wonders if we'll come back here, if we ever meet again. We're gonna have questions for him. He doesn't seem like the sort who'll simply answer questions if asked. Yes. You remember what happened earlier, Paimon? If all else fails, we can just, you know, go good cop and bad cop on him, as if that would work. There's gotta be some way, or else we'll stop waiting for Seymour to recall stuff. Oh, we were literally here an hour ago, Paimon. I wonder why you think it's so familiar, Paimon. It's not like we said her name like <laughs> 120, 234 times by one Mary Ann already, Paimon. Oh my god, I can see the uh, the hilarity of it. I'm gonna case Seymour. Uh, you mean when I complete my record space collation, Miss Paimon? Okay, Paimon. Those things are basically the same. Okay, last one. Tell me about your latest records. Seymour. A fierce battle against the members of the Order broke out within Elinas. Okay, that's what happened. My storage unit encountered an error due to massive trauma. So that's why the mechs were there. Were they, they were actually mining those ores, right? We must follow the Ordo's plans. To that end, Jacob Ingold must be stopped. Due to... To Miss Mary Ann. You'd best take a break. Yeah, Seymour. Your words are most considerate. Paimon. Seems like we're gonna have to wait for you to do that collation thing, Seymour. Well, whatever the case, Jacob was trying to do something bad inside Elena's while you and Marianne were trying to stop him, right? Affirmative. Your summary is overly simplistic, perhaps, but it is basically the truth, Miss Paimon. I just realized that, like, he's the first character to, like, call <laughs> Paimon, like, Miss Paimon. Okay, Paimon. If only we have this information. Putting Marianne might be somewhat difficult. Paimon, doesn't seem like we've got other options beyond waiting for you to do that record collation of yours, Seymour. Seymour, affirmative. My calculations indicate that this is the approach with the highest success rate. Okay, but it'll take a lot of time, right? If you wish, I can estimate the amount of time required, processing time required, unknown. Okay, Paimon, yeah, no need for his estimation stuff then. Well, Paimon's done asking Seymour questions now, but boy has she still got some for you. Sab, you promised you'd explain, didn't you? I didn't stash any snacks away without your knowledge. It wasn't a good time to have this conversation earlier. Okay, Paimon. But there's no one to disturb us now, and Seymour's, well, a related party, right? No time like the present, then. You and Paimon tell Seymour about the conversation you had previously with Elena's. Huh, so that's the thing that happened. Paimon thought you'd gotten sick or something when you started saying all that weird stuff. Okay, Paimon. Well, it's good to know that you're fine. By the way, Seymour, leaving you here to perform your record collision wouldn't be a problem, wouldn't it? <gasps> An! Oh, she popped here now! Hello! Oh, is it gonna trigger you, your memory? Paimon. <gasps> Anne, you're awake! Uh, oh, good morning, Paimon. Night sub. Hey, yeah, Paimon. Oh my god! This is just like immediate, like, continuing! I love it. Okay. Oh yes, let Paimon introduce you. This is Ahn, an Oceanid and a friend of ours. 
Um, this is... Um, I know. You're the silly dog, Seymour. Yo... Huh? Seymour, I like the relevant data. I do not believe we have the, we have had this honor of meeting Ocean and Anne. Anne, I've never met you before either, but I was sure of it the moment I saw you. You must be Seymour. It's just so weird to be like Mary Anne and then the, I mean, uh, this Ocean name is Anne. He pine one. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, this must be no. I don't know either. I feel strange. Are you like a byproduct of Mary? Uh, because I recall, yeah, yeah, like right, Oceanid. They don't like reproduce or something, but they can like multiply or what something. And then I guess this is just like a remnant of like Mary Anne's uh, memories or something. I feel strange. See more. No, regular record space collision can decrease the frequency of such issues, issues uh, effectively. Anyway, let's bring you up to speed. Yo, we are like recruiting. A team. Okay, Anne. So see more is searching for Mary Anne. Oh my god, Paimon. Are you, are you kidding me? Oh my god, Dia. I feel like I can see that you're laughing at this. Okay. <gasps> no wonder that name felt familiar. The person Seymour mentioned and is looking for is also named Mary Ann. <laughs> what is this? Dora the Explorer? Seymour. Note. Regular record space collision can decrease the frequency of such issues effectively. Paimon. Hey. Ugh. Paimon ha Paimon's had it with you, you silly dog. Um, according to what Seymour said before, they can't be the same Mary Ann, right? The timing. Seymour, based on your statement, may I deduce that you have met someone named Mary Ann in the past or perhaps read or heard about such a person from sources apart from myself? Paimon, well, that was her name, that's for sure. You know what? Uh, you know what? Let's do it like this. We can call the Mary Ann in the Anapausis Mary Ann 1. Oh my god, don't do this. And the one you're looking for, Seymour, can be Mary Ann 2. Uh... Seymour, negative. The Miss Mary Ann I am searching for is of a higher sequ uh, sequential priority. To prevent confusion, we should be Mary Ann 1 instead. Oh my god, these guys. At this point of time, I really do want to cook her up as emergency food to recover my brain cells, you and me both. I mean, I'm already like nearly brain dead right now after all the high we experienced uh, during this crazy awesome stream. And now, Paimon has reduced me to this. Okay, Ann. Huh? Why don't you look at it this way, Seymour? Two is bigger than one. Doesn't it make it pretty good? <laughs> Somewhat bonding. Cute. Seymour, your claim. Sorting data fragments. Oh my god. I. It just occurred to me. Seymour is basically like Svarog. Calculating any possibilities. Okay, uh. Looks like he's stopped functioning again. Okay, Ann. Huh. <laughs> Silly dog. Okay, Paimon. Oh, Paimon didn't think you had any mean bones in you, Aunt, but you sure do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Aunt. I don't know why, but I suddenly felt compelled to do that. <gasps> Are your memories like... Like, yeah, she's more... She's more outspoken now, like... Yeah, before she was like lacking in confidence and stuff. This is like chain of memories, man. See more. Primal preliminary data fragment sorting complete. For the following 15 reasons, Ocean and I assess that your pers perspective is illogical. Okay. First of all, firstly. Okay, Anne. All right, all right. That stuff doesn't matter. Come. Good doggy. Sit. Oh my god. Hey, let me take a screenshot of this. Understood. Oh my god. Don't you feel weird, Seymour? You just like listen to Ann? Why? <laughs> if you said we be able to improve photo taking stability, right? I just took a screenshot! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is too precious. Thank god you told me to talk to them. To talk to Seymour. Oh my god, he's sitting again! Seymour. Yes, do you need to take a photo, Ocean and Ann? I am equipped with the most advanced optics from the Fontaine Institute of Natural Philosophy. I can. Ann. Oh, there's no need, but thank you. 
I would take more. Hey, Seymour, understood. <laughs> he's just so cute. He just like sat down and then sit up again. I mean, stand up again. I'm on. Wow, Seymour's getting played left and right over here. Let's call a quick halt, please. Oh, do you want to go to the end of pauses, Seymour? Yeah, that way you can meet the Mary Ann and see... Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that way you can meet the ma that Mary Ann and see if she's the one you're looking for or not. On. Uh, what do you say makes sense, Paimon? Seymour, affirmative, a reasonable suggestion. Okay, Paimon. Well then, let's go! Okay, um, actually, next up, Paimon, I don't think we'll need to trouble you this time. Uh, I can show Seymour the way. Yo! Are you sure you'll be fine? Yeah, just double checking on. Yes, I know Seymour is very reliable. Like, what? Triggering? Are you actually Mary Ann? But just like, like, yeah, your, your memories and stuff, like, a remnants of your memories. Because, yes, we all know before this, all of Fontanians are like Oceanians, right? Okay, Paimon. That's right, let's meet up here later, shall we? But oh my god, it was a cute interaction though. Like Seymour just like sitting down. <laughs> so precious. But bro, oh my god, man. Oh my god. Oh, I just feel bad, but damn. Okay, hold up. Let me check. Let me check. Because I wanna I wanna I wanna think about my schedule for next week. Okay, I know, I know HSR has a new update, but no, I feel like I want to fully commit myself to uh, to the Nurses and Cruise Ordo questline right now because my god, the amount of food I was given throughout the stream is just so amazing and then realizing what actually happened and then connecting of the previous event is just like, I've never felt like this high in a while. It's so cool. Okay, Alchemical Ascension. So, technically 14. I mean, 2 weeks. 15 days. So, yeah. I feel like next week I'm gonna do... Go crazy. Full on Genshin. But I do feel like... Maybe I do just wanna stream it on Fridays. Like, especially on the weekends. Because if I stream it on the weekdays, I'm gonna be super invested. And I won't be stopped playing or streaming. I can assure that. If I am so focused into like... A, if I'm... If something really piqued my interest, I would be like... Hyper-focusing... I just like want to see all of the things throughout until the end. So yeah, let's just put a pause on our adventure right now. And yeah, I feel like it's just right to for me to continue on the days where I can actually, uh, you know, like fully focusing on the the quest lines. Yeah, let me just go here. Let me get close to Elena's. Oh, maybe go here as close as possible. God, dear. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you so much for like hand holding me too. Oh wait. I don't wanna go straight to the enemy though. Oh my god, Elena's. I can only imagine that even though your your skeleton is like scary. But you're just a sweet, sweet child. I can't believe they pulled a Ruka Devat on me on that. Okay, like all of the Chizuru and stuff. Folklores. Oh I can't man, it's just so good. But yeah, okay, let's just like end the stream now. Uh, it's just so good. I mean, you guys already like stayed here with me for those who are lurking. Yes, again, I don't mind, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction though. It's just like so crazy. Damn, it's been a while. Like, yeah, this is what I like about Genshin though. Like, it's just so crazy. How they like develop their craft, especially, uh, lore, I mean, world building wise. <laughs> just so neat i mean yeah like the uh i mean like the archon quest i like the yeah the usual big story stuff but the world uh the side quests though like ever since i think yeah even in azuma i mean there was a yeah with those puzzles that that was neat but then when sumeru like uh started god the emotional all of the emotional turmoil I experienced, but like in the best way. Oh, it was so good. It was so nice. It was so refreshing too, to be honest. Like, goddamn. I just can't, man. They really amped up like how they like constructed uh, the the world quests uh, particularly. <sighs> so, okay, honestly, again, time is weird. I didn't believe I... I couldn't believe I just came for like 5 hours, but even at this time, I'm not like feeling tired. Like, again, all the revelations, the lore drops. It's just so crazy. So I'm really like looking forward to stream more of this next week. 
yeah, hopefully like on Friday, Saturday. I mean, yeah, Friday is fine. Because I can wake up, <laughs> I can wake up late. Oh, but yeah, but this, it is still past me, but yeah, technically I can still wake up late. <laughs> for the for sahur so yeah oh okay let's just yeah put pause for now uh i'm gonna stream it uh, next friday hopefully or if oh uh, yeah if it's like if i do my job well depending though because i have another deadline maybe thursday uh <laughs> i mean yeah i can promise you but i'll try my best though it depends on my schedule as well and I, uh, as I mentioned at the earlier parts of my stream, I also feel like I want to stream more different games. I think I want to continue with like Bayonetta 2, really enough, because it's just like a, a short game, but just like, I mean... Do you play Bayonetta for the plot or you just want to play it for fun, you know? So yeah, I just feel like I uh, just want to play a stream like since, uh, like laid-back games. Like, yeah, maybe Bayonetta, even like Kingdom Hearts 3 is like looming over my mind. I feel like, no, I don't want to play all the other Kingdom Hearts games. I feel like I just want to play Kingdom Hearts 3. And I don't know, maybe even Zelda Tears of the Kingdom because I haven't started playing that game. I bought it like last year. I haven't started it. Even Bayonetta, I bought like three years ago, was it, when it debuted? I haven't even played as well, but yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna think that for another time but yeah that's all we for today so as always thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all the likes for all the comments and thank you guys for staying with me until the end and then seeing me unapologetically cry but in the best way possible so yeah looking forward to the next Nashes and Cruise Ordo uh, quest line so yeah that's all for me so goodbye and have a nice day and hope you guys have a good night rest too and for you guys who are watching on the other side of the world I hope you guys have a nice bright day ahead and finally don't forget to take care of yourselves always so I'm gonna boop -dee boop in the week Two, one, and two. Bye bye. Take care. And yes, thankfully, <laughs> my tears have already dried up. But yeah, Elena's is such a, she's such, such a good dragon, such a good dragon. But yeah, okay. Good night, guys. Thanks again. Boop. <laughs>